Okay. So let's just uh, do a little test. Okay, same thing, I think. Just get a bit closer to the mic. Okay, no, that is yeah, waiting for me. Okay, so I I'm streaming the OTK event. I have no idea what this is, by the way. Uh, I just know it's like a game expo, and it's for indie developers mostly, I think. This is their first time doing an expo, so we're gonna see some cool games announced. I'm pretty sure there is 30 games to be announced all together. All together, 30 games, which is kind of nuts, not gonna lie. And I, since each trailer is roughly two minutes, that means this event should be like, what, like an hour? Maybe? Mass probably sucks, but you know, I like to assume roughly that. Uh, I kind of wish I charged my phone beforehand, because my phone's like almost dead and I need that to look at the, the chat. Because I completely forgot this event was happening, not gonna lie. Uh, it was mostly last second I remembered. So, I have no idea what is happening right now. Hello everybody! I'm on the combo. So, I'm going to take a quick look-see. Because apparently Admin Gold is supposed to be streaming this. And I'm, it's supposed to be at 7pm. Oh wait, hold on. Maybe I'm a dumbass I didn't actually read. Hold on. I'm pretty sure uh, it was GM. I'm pretty sure it's my time zone it was at 7pm. Imagine if it wasn't, that'd be kind of not. Uh. Oh, it's actually gonna start in seven seconds, I think. Literally. literally. Uh. Okay. I'm gonna refresh Trish. Well, I'm, I, th I think it's live in Trish. Yep, Asmund Gold, he's streaming. Oh! Everyone, it's here. Okay. So, oh, well, maybe if you actually clicked on the thing. Well, I think I forgot to uh, actually enable that on my OBS. Maybe I'm a bit stupid. Uh, the mission. Yeah, you know, there you go. Sorry, guys, I'm a bit of a dumbass. Okay, uh, I love so, OTK Game Expo. Hello, Lutz. OTK uh, Game Expo is happening. New games are going to be announced. Let's go. Gaming time. I realize my Spotify is still on. My Jesus Christ. Spotify, nobody wants you. No one, no one wants you right now. Having like a stroke on everything. So I know it doesn't work. Okay, so game expo. Games to be announced. Uh as I said, I think they are all in the game. So uh a lot of these games won't be mega hype. But hey, there might be something that interests us. I wanna check it out. So if you don't know what OTK is, OTK are like the biggest I guess streaming group on Twitch, like the biggest Twitch group, and uh, that's that's all I know. Now I just want to see if this audio is good for the for thing. Okay, it sounds okay. I don't think I'm too loud. I don't think it's too loud. I think we're like literally perfect synchronized audio. I hope. So, there is a, I was doing some research on Twitter, there is a, I think it was a 30,000, wait, was it 30,000 or 50,000? I think it was $50,000 as a prize for the most liked game, and they give it to them, for help, you know, to help with development and stuff. So that's kind of cool, don't you all agree? 
I think that's pretty sick. Now, if I knew they were going to have a timer on this, I probably would have streamed a lot later. In fact, I probably would have... Actually, no, I might have streamed earlier, played a couple of games, you know, played a little bit of Street Fighter, and all that. And then when the timer went down, I would have went into this, but uh, I wasn't expecting this to go too fast. And I... I uh, yeah, I was not expecting the event. Because I literally forgot this was happening. Even though I was hyped about it all day, but my brain forgot about it last second. So I stream it, thinking I'm gonna miss it. And there's a 16 minute timer. Uh. So what I can do is charge my phone. When that's happening. All I have to do is occasionally look at the phone. So, usually on these type of things, I'll make predictions on what's going to show up, but since it's mostly indie developers, uh, I don't think any sequels to any games are coming, so I can't really think of anything right now. I, I think it's all going to be like new original games popping out. Oh god, I sponsored by Mountain Dew Game Fuel. I'm cringe. I f I'm feeling mega cringe today, I don't know why. I'm also very tired, because I was in a lot of work today, and my brain is pretty much dead. So forgive me if this 15 minute timer cringe fest is awkward. I mean, I guess what I could do because it wouldn't take me 15 minutes to do a couple of things. Surely. Surely. I mean, that depends. Nah, 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 I think I'll... I think, I think we could just wait for 14 minutes. How's chat doing? How's everyone doing today? Anything exciting happening? Assuming not, because if you're following me, you're most likely a gamer who does nothing else in their life other than play video games and watch Twitch. Nothing exciting. Oh, I know what I can do. Hold on. You guys can't really see it. Somebody really ducked off on your screen. Uh, sorry about that. Ah, one button. I'm scrolling through Discord right now. Oh, you know what I should do? I wonder there's a monkey here. I might actually join the color monkey. Yeah, I'll, I'll text monkey, see if he wants to get in the call. Because I, I like watching these type of fans, but watching them alone... I don't usually do that. And I'm not funny by myself. I need somebody to bounce off, you know? It's just... How it is. Uh, let's see, smooth monkey. Monkey! There you go, tax monkey now. The monkey hits me with the, sorry I can't, I'm gonna go sicko. Who will join me on this? Ted said he couldn't, because I asked him uh, right before I actually started the drink. Oh, monkey's gonna be calling a couple of minutes. Let's flip and go. This cat, this song's kind of bopping. It's a nice sweet, device. it's a nice wee song to listen to. Now, I don't know who's going to show up at this event, I mean like the hosts and all. I know Asmin Gold is just streaming it, but I don't, I don't know if he's actually showing up in it. Because uh, I actually don't know who's members of OTK are, I don't know all the members, I only know some of them. Oh, I know where I can put this. 
That's how we do it. Boop. Come on, man. Just hold in this places. Uh, I'm blind. Yes. Yeah, see, this is big green right now. Anywhere else? I don't think so. Yo, JC! How you doing? How you doing, JC? Welcome. But I didn't see the, the, the chat there because I was, I was scrolling through uh, Discord. Yeah, fans gonna start in 11 minutes. Monkey better get in here now. I need him. I need my man. Now, a part of me thinks this is gonna be not. But then the other part of me, because it is mostly indie developers, thinks the games are gonna be like mid. And then the Summer Game Fest is gonna pop up. The Summer Game Fest last year was not that good, in my opinion. There were some good games, the rest was mm, okay. Which is why, if this event doesn't have all the good games, Summer Game Fest, and Summer Game Fest is happening tomorrow, so I am going to be streaming that. Well, I would like to stream it anyways. Because knowing me, with uh, the work I've been doing recently, mixed up in with my laziness, and how much of a dumbass I am, the chance of me not streaming it, you know, is possible. But I would like to stream the game first of all, because Jeff Keighley, oh! Okay, nine minutes. Uh, here, I'm gonna see a monkey. Oh, yeah. There's a monkey on Discord now. He's not online. Monkey, hurry up, you got nine minutes. There you go. Let's just tell him to speed up. Oh, you know who I could have got? You know what? No, time. No, probably time zones probably wouldn't work. I was gonna say I could have got DNA actually, but DNA probably wouldn't understand a single thing that's happened. Now I'm at the point where I don't know what to say because nothing interesting is happening. Still nine minutes. I pretty much talked about everything I need to talk about. I mean, nah, 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 I was gonna say I could give some naughty news hint for next, for this month's uh, naughty news, but I nah. can't say anything, gotta be a secret. I'm planning on a lot of stuff though, it's gonna be crazy. Naughty news this month, it's gonna be nuts. For example, the place I'm recording in, it's gonna be different, you could say. The scenery is not gonna be the same scenery. I can't really say what that means because I'm, I'm not going to give it away. But you could, I'm not in my regular studio. Let's just say that. And by regular studio, I mean a literal JPEG image that I found at Google. So, you know, going to be in a different place. Actually, I wonder, there might be some interesting stuff on Twitter about this. I, I only saw, like, one of the Twitter posts. Haven't actually, uh, been looking through the OTK Twitter. But they could have, like, eased some of the things showing up here. That'd be a fun thing to do during the seven minutes. You know, look at what's happening. I guess we could do that. But how to do that? I'm so low in this chair. So, can this chair go any higher? It cannot. I'm thinking of getting a new gaming, uh, gaming chair because the level on this is broken off a bit because my dad broke it. And not only that, uh, the chair is like, it's, it's literally it's broken. The arm piece is like about to fall off. I mean, I care for this, this one's good, but the one on the right's falling off. Level is like pretty much broken. 
I'm, I might get a new one. Um, a better one, probably. Because this one, this one's okay. The chair is alright. Have you seen a new game by the Guns Go um, Canoli guys? No, I, I haven't. Uh, I mean, maybe I have, and I just don't remember. But I don't think I have. I don't think I have. No. What is it? What is it? Don't the only uh, the only things I've seen recently is the Sonic Central, where they showed Sonic Frontiers, which looks oh uh, okay, doesn't look too good. Uh, and then I also saw Call of Duty Modern, uh, Modern Warfare 2. Not gonna lie, Modern Warfare 2 actually kind of looks hype. Because there's no way Call of Duty can mess... Uh, sorry, there's no way Activision can mess up Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 1 was so good. So mess up the second game. You would have to have some issues, Activision. Similar, but it's in the 40k setting. Interesting, interesting. No, I don't I don't think I've seen it. I don't think I have seen it. Uh like as I said, the only thing that I've been seeing recently is the uh PlayStation State of Play. Uh which happened Did that happen this month? I actually can't remember. I think it happened this month, yeah. Yes, PlayStation State of Play where they showed Street Fighter 6. Oh my god! I actually can't wait for Street Fighter 6. It's so good. Oh wait a minute. No, wait, never mind. I'm, I'm, I'm having a, I'm having, I'm, my brain is like having a seizure. Uh, yeah, send me the link. Why not? Send me the link. But yeah, I, I've only seen Street Fighter Six. I've only, uh, I've seen Resident Evil Four remake. That's also looking very good. That's hype. Uh, there's uh, another game called Something Dome, Skater Dome, something like that. Looks alright. Okay, here, I'll actually, I'll, I'll watch it, I'll watch it right now. We got nothing else to be watching. I'll watch that right now, actually. You know what, I'll watch it right now. Uh. Oh. But anyway, what is this? I don't think that's a very good idea. Call Weezer's Groovy Nightmare. I got trolled in a way. Oh, wrong one. I was gonna say that is the wrong link. Hello, anyone that's joining, by the way. Uh, we are gonna watch the OTK gaming event, gaming uh, expo. Wait, does the music go off? Oh, but I thought because I muted it. Uh. Oh, well, the moment I unmute this on. And like okay, uh, uh Warhammer forty thousand shooters blood and teeth. The old trailer. When did this come out? Oh sort of June, okay. Uh just seeing if I clicked on the right button. I did. Okay. Let's have a little look at this. Okay, not too. Okay, it looks interesting. Okay, the gameplay looks very chaotic, but I guess, uh, I, I guess that is Warhammer for you. Okay. It doesn't look too bad. Although, is it my type of thing though? I don't know if I'll get that or not, honestly. Although, it doesn't look too bad. 2022 on everything, pretty much. Okay. It looks like a fun. It looks like a fun game to play when you're bored. But depending on the pricing, I don't I don't know if I'm buying that chief. I prefer the uh the the three D Warhammer games.
I'm passing every one button in a rhythm way. Oh, the demo is out on Steam. Oh, well, I'll try that demo out later then. Is Monkey on Discord yet? Hold on a minute. Sorry, I keep looking at the mic, by the way. Oh, he is. Whoopsies, that's my bad. You guys can't be looking on my Discord. I'm gonna give away my details. Let's go. What's up, dude? What, what's up, dude? Hold on. I'm gonna reconnect on my laptop. It was fucking around for some reason. Okay. You're back. How does monkey sound, everyone? There we go. Yo, what is that audio change? Oh, I went to oh. my laptop for this. There you go. No, okay. Now I was gonna say your audio is super low for a second. Uh, um, I tried joining on a on the laptop before, but wasn't like connecting, so I went into my phone for a bit, and then I tried to get my laptop. Okay. So I'll be putting on full screen once the fantastic actually starts, by the way, people. I just paused the stream, so now I'm going to have to restart my... Oh yeah, um... What should I watch this on? Should I watch it on your Twitch, or should I watch it on, like, a YouTube? W watch it on Asmin Gold's Twitch. Alright. Because he's the one that's streaming it, and... You'll be like... You you'll be like 10 seconds behind me. Uh... You're actually very loud for once. Usually your audio is mega low when I stream. You're a bit louder than the stream itself, but you don't talk that much anyway. So. Oh, full screen time. Oh, Asmin well, Gold is well, here. Well, <laughs> it's finally time. <laughs> Sup, y'all? It's me. It's your boy Asmongold, and I'd like to welcome all of you to the OTK Games Expo live from the We Pay We Play, excuse me, We Play Studio. We have a lot of games to look at, over 40 today, and there are gonna be a bunch of different games. Over 40? I'm pretty sure he said 40 and now the first thing that I want to do is I want to show you all what we're gonna be doing and what's to come with this show and exactly how things are gonna be broken down. Because obviously we're gonna have the trailers, we're gonna go through yes. all that stuff. Like, but like on top trailers. of that, we're actually gonna be doing interviews with some of these developers live here in the studio. Oh, <laughs> and on top of that, we're even gonna be playing some games on top of it. So I am very, very excited. I hope they did all that after the trailers, because I don't I don't wanna watch the awesome full thing I, I just kind of want to see the trailers and then and be so done with guys, it. I want to say a oh, yeah. huge thank you to everybody who's made this possible. Hello Ben. This is a tremendous Sorry, I'm trying my phone so I can't see. And it wouldn't be possible without you all. So uh no Ben, so I never yeah, asked for that. People, Did you go yeah. to or the people I'm What's he say? Today. He's talking about uh extra small condom here going to oh. the entire expo right now. And so we got oh, Tectone, I watched Tectone. The Genshin Impact Legend. I watched Tectone. And then we got, oh man. Why is he that? He's so Shlatt, odd. The Minecraft Master. Oh my, uh, he's cut off his finger. Is that okay? I don't know. Okay, all Whoa, right, these streamers. do we have? And oh, there he is. The classic I've seen him. God, S Fan TV. And he's going to be helping us, giving us a little bit of commentary and all that as well. And who else do we have? And, oh, look at that. We've got Rich Campbell. Who could have guessed that? And that's good. Way. Yeah. Hi, Rich. How you doing? He's he's happy. He's so happy now, monkey. to be here. Thanks for being here, Rich. Yeah, okay. What, he'll, be, he'll be okay. What and do we, you think this is going to be like? Do you think the games um, here are going to be okay, fire, or do you think so they're yeah, going to be mid? Um, we've got, uh, got, uh, it really depends. Because they're all indie developers, well. just a reminder. And, uh, uh, okay, alright, who else do we have? Let's go ahead and move up a little bit forward, and, uh... What, the, what the hell are y'all doing? Quit talking, we're going into the show! And then, oh, we've got Amaru, obviously, of course. And we're going to be getting everybody up here and talking about... I only know, like, all together, two of these people. Their feedback, two or three of these people. I don't, I don't really watch OTK that much. That much. But that is not uh, the only group of people that we have. We also have an expert variety. Soil comes and he goes, I'm part of OTK now, guys. Right? Some of the best <laughs> and most experienced variety games. Oh, Max says Soil actually joined OTK. To give you their insight on these games and tell you which ones are great and which ones are even better. So anyway, over to the variety gamers. Thank you so much, Zach. It is me, NMPL. Oh. Well. Here with the variety gaming panel. Hey, let's see. Okay, so the problem's there. Some of the best games. And he's like the only ever. one I know there. 
on the planet. Everyone knows. I only know Soda Poppin because of Ted. Ted's addicted to him. One, all this sort of stuff. And let's go to Chance. How are you? Hi, uh, Soda Poppin. Chance here. Uh, Twelve-time rank one, multi-rank one overall gamer extraordinaire, popularizer of Among Us, veteran, fifteen years. Oh my God, he plays Among Us. People. Um, <laughs> here to really kind of bring my <laughs> insight and talk about some of these games and some of the great things about them. And now, uh, what I want to know. Is how long this defense gonna be? Uh, hi everybody. I'm so yeah. my apotomy did kind of think it was a little bit of talking and then straight to the Kratos, but I guess it is an expo, so shouldn't have expected that. And absolutely rolled soda pop in at Warcraft 3 soccer, um, which I won a Nobel Peace Prize for. Bruce? See, all that sounds good, but to me it just sounds like baloney. Pro Telltale Gamer here, Bruce, drop him off. Um, Pro Telltale Gamer? I'm here to give my insight on some of these games. I heard we got a great list, so I'm ready. I'm excited. Back to Nick. All right. I'm actually a huge game, game was just announced. Gamers here to give some of the best like, not even indie game, just a random huge ass game so, uh, was just announced. That'd be kind of nuts. You, right, thanks a lot, Nick. And I can't wait I don't think anything too big is going to be shown. Incredible and very insightful commentary they're going to be providing. Ted was today. supposed to be a monkey. But not also, you. Ted was supposed to be a monkey. Jesus. Call? What do you mean, call? Are be I'm in a call of monkey. You said you weren't going to be here. $50, what are you doing? Of developmental God, Ted's driving me nuts. Of these developers and to try to help Wait, Ted, do you want to call that badly? A reality. Do you so want to call that badly? This is gonna work is you all are gonna vote Monkey, invite him to the server. Invite him to the uh, server that one. Wait, right. we're about to invite you to a cringe server, server but it's the only way I don't want to leave the stream. Place is gonna be getting two we're going to invite you to a Dragon Ball server. Have fun with that, Ted. getting a Razer PC powered by Intel to help finish their development of the game and in some cases take their game development to the next level. So Huge shout out to them, and honestly, guys, I am just amazed to be here. What's up, dude? And there is one up, more dad? person and one more guy who's gonna be helping oh, me do all I this. And I'd like to. Yo, also uh, wait. To one of I don't even know if I have you at max volume. Um, very, very long time. It's gonna help me. I'm going to have to do this anyways. Oh my god. And, um, I'm amazed to be here as well, and I'm sure. I do have you at max volume, so I just did that for no reason. When you're done, done stream, but today you know, we're that only just beginning. And when I look around at this arena. I, I, it's crazy. Wow. We started off with small us? webcam shows, and when you're on the big stage, you get kind of nervous you're not funny. that you might slip. But luckily, yeah, I'm not. I never. I need other people to put my comedy. The non-slip grip on my Mountain Dew game. My mouse keeps having a stroke. You guys can grab one right now for 10% off if you use. Stop. OK. I'm not even touching the mouse. This keeps doing that. Day one, and it really helped us get here to the big stage. Well, it keeps doing it. You're here to the stage. Day one spot. The first category. Stop moving by yourself. Up into genres throughout the entire. My desk. Day. It's my, my desk is actually that like slippery and sweaty. It moves on its own. Very used to. It's none other. Then action. <laughs> Drives me nuts. Oh, here you go. We're finally going to get some loose head and monkey. Maybe not. <laughs> to kick everything off for the action games, it should be something very interesting for all of you. As oh, that's kind of, that's kind of embarrassing. Used to watching bottom feeders talk, kind of but weird, now though. we're gonna watch bottom feeders fight. It's Prima Studios' brand new game, Knights of the Deep. Knights of the what? Knights of the Deep. Deep. Uh, <laughs> <was this>? uh, <laughs> so Ted, you said this is gonna be better than Summer Game Fest. Are you sure about that? Oh yeah, I'm sure. Bro, these are all indie games. Don't get me wrong, there is a few indie games that are like actually better than big, like triple A games, but some are just so ugly and oh, bad. Alright, I'm not gonna lie. This is actually gonna be quite fucking fun. No, it looks fun. No, it, I, no, like, I, I, generally, it does look kind of funny to play with like basement gang, but. Other than like two videos, what can you do with this game? <laughs> what can you do with this game? <laughs> Although, oh, you know what this reminds me of? You can literally snipe as a crab, but more do you want in life? Do, do you remember that game, like Party Animals or whatever, that still isn't out on Steam? That's like, that's like that. It's like basically Gang Beast, but with animals. Wait, I actually like this. You actually yeah, like this? Yeah, anyway. Yeah. Ted, you like every game. <laughs> Okay, no, no, this game's okay. It's not like, like, it's not amazing. It's okay. It's, it looks good. It looks good. I'll suddenly try it out. Depends how much it is. Ember Frost. Wow. 
Uh, honestly, I'm pretty excited to play that game, and yeah, I think that you're so it looks like interesting. The, it looks uh, fun. Crabs, the bottom feeders, I think will fit right. Okay. The reason why I think that Summer Game Pass might be better, one, it'll have like, less games. Cause and have really? Jeff Kelly, wow. that all right. No, oh, makes it better. As Ben Gold said, it's over 40, and, uh, yeah, even though the trailer said 30. So I've been lied to. But there's gonna be more games, so I'll give it that. But well, all of them are indie games, and, which kind of you can either get hit or miss for that. I, Summer Game Fest is big games, which, like depending on like your genre of liking, thing. a lot of them are going to be big hits. But it's In fairness, also a lot of big games. Ridiculous oh, shit. Level, and I think it's amazing. Yeah, that's, that's, well, well, I mean, no, it depends on what is shown. I, I, I don't think they're all indie. I don't want to hear what the variety gamers are. Because I was looking at the critter and it said over 30 games and they're going to be indie titles. On, but I didn't really specify, I just said they're right, going to be indie, so that maybe that some of them might not be. This is the perfect uh, group of people to talk about Knights of the Deep. Uh, three of us have, have had plenty of crabs in our life. We've had them as pets, we eat them, we love them. Yummy. Um, we love just everything about fighting. Now, and, um, why is it called Knights of the Deep when you know, there's no knights? That game, uh, that game actually looks really fun. You know, it looks goofy, I, I don't know. it looks ridiculous. Do you mean called Crabs of the Deep? Crabs. I wonder if it's like, um, like, like crab game, like with just, oh, yeah. the, you know, how everyone's just showing. Of it being crab. Now, Ted, I was doing research. Yeah. Also lobster. Whatever game gets the most, like, votes, like, whichever one stations. people like the most, will get $50,000. Or $30,000, uh, so it was one of those two. I would have to completely agree yeah. with you on that so, it looks let's say like that game got it. They're gonna have a lot of money to spend to make that game look even better. So there is a chance that game could be nuts. And, uh... I tell you what, I would likely roll each and every single one of you at that game. Oh, no, I'm beating Ted's ass on you, 100%. What do you think? I don't think that's true at all. Bro. I'm monkeys. I'm beating monkeys ass too. Tell you what I think about no. the game. I love the creative. It's a fighting game, Ted. Game. You know what I'm like with fighting really games. Good job we'll collaborate in your ass. Yeah, like you're doing gang beasts. Little, 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 little noobs. Little, little kids. I like it. Oh. Yeah. It's a pretty good no. game. Which, which, which no, crab I, do you guys prefer? You would not beat me. Yeah, it would be you so like easy. No, it oh. You actually are not that good at games. So, that's just my... I'm um, just All like right. 10. Awesome. Thank you so much for your insight, guys. And uh, back good to one. you, Rich. <laughs> Thank you so much, Nick. It was great to listen that's to you. That's very game, Guys on the panel and you. But, everybody, if you want to check out Knights of the Deep, you can add it to your else. Steam wish list right now. And also, if it's a game that you think you like, you can do this throughout the day. You can hop in Discord, and you can react in the Discord to the games that you like, and that's actually going to help them win the grants, which Asmin mentioned a little bit earlier. Keep that in your mind as we jump into the next game. Next it's game? from Neo Interactive, and it's called Samurai Zero. Wait, Neo Interactive? That sounds familiar. No, it does. No, I thought that. I thought that somewhere. Surely. <laughs> Why is the quality so low? Check your thing on right. Twitch. Check the quality on Twitch. Even in the darkness of night, the moon. Go to 1080. The limit nation. Wait, this also looks pretty good. It looks fun. It does. Not gonna lie, I'm not the biggest fan of the HUD. The what? The HUD. You know, the health and the you know the menu. Yeah, the, yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought you said HUD at first. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> the HUD. The HUD. All right, I love how that one looks, but I'm very excited because Asma okay. is with the lead producer of the game right now, Ethos, so we can find out more about everything Samurai Zero. I'm white Hey, what's going on, man? How you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I mean, the trailer looks Wait. pretty cool. It's an interesting, uh, interesting idea. Well, what, what is? This I swear I've heard of about? Ethos before. Sure. Yeah. So. Um, thanks so I don't take a photo of him, but I thought of Neo into that. Multiplayer game, multiplayer PvP focused game. Hmm. Uh, it's a third person. We're hmm. labeling it 
uh, technically a tactical action hack and slash oh, no, game, mine. but that's so too nice. much, so we just say, okay, whatever, we're just gonna call it a fighting game. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, and so it has this really cool layer where basically the world takes place in this science fantasy universe called uh, Edo, which is basically inspired by uh, Japanese Age of the Samurai with a little mix of little sci-fi and cyberpunk. I think that, yeah, that's badass, man. Oh, yeah, the, the behind entire... Them. Uh, uh, that is. Like oh my god, it's Luffy! It's Luffy from One Piece. Why don't you decide to go? Because most fighting games are all in 2D. And uh, what made you want to go with 3D in this game? Wait, <laughs> well, <laughs> he's the uh, Steam the thing, the uh, Steam Deck. I swear, that's the Steam Deck. So we wanted to mix it up and try something. Oh my god, that is that is the Steam Deck. What the freak? That's like the first time I've ever seen it. That's not even that's not even fully out to the public yet. I don't think that's like pre-order. Like you can pre-order. Wait, seeing the right, yeah, blue book. Uh, it looks a bit like Shenron from Dragon Ball Z. Maybe I'm tripping. It looks like the dragon, you know, from Dragon Ball. I don't think it's Dragon Ball book. It just looks like him. And we do this thanks to using the PC as our main platform. We actually have a lot. Oh, give me a Steam Deck now. Give me. It's a really unique, different take for uh, fighting games. I, I actually really want a Steam Deck. Case, not gonna lie. I'm not gonna get it for Christmas. I don't want to waste, like, you know, because really realistically, I don't want it that yeah, much. I, I what else would you be getting for Christmas? Nothing. I don't want. I actually, really, I actually don't want anything this year. I don't really like, care for the uh, Steam Deck. But... No, I didn't care for this first, but then I realized how I could play pretty much all my PC games in my hands. Like, I could, I could like, play Elden Ring outside. That's like some Nintendo Switch crap, but at a higher level. And since I'm a big fan of the Nintendo Switch, I play my games all the time, both inside and outside. I'm actually playing big, like, PC games outside. That'd be kind of nuts. Later, uh, uh, next early next month, and then also later. This Although year, I don't want to spend to like tons really of money on it, obviously, but it is a lot of money. That sounds awesome, man. Yeah, I've I haven't really played a fighting game like this pretty much ever before, so I'm really. I've had a couple, I think. Goes and uh, thanks a lot for coming on, and uh, really look forward to see where the game goes. Oh no, thank you. Thanks for the opportunity. Appreciate it. I play a lot of fighting games. And uh, if any of you guys want to add Samurai Zero to your Steam wishes, you can go ahead and do that now. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna. Why are you laughing? Game. Yeah, let's hop right into it. The it's next so one dumb. is coming from South I'm Games, waiting for this and this game is called... Escalante. Okay, Ben, that's fine. That's fine, Ben boy. Wait, what's going on? Nothing's happened. Oh, you mean an Aspen Gold chat? Yes. Yeah, what's happened to his chat? Everyone's being dumb. No, what are they? I can't look at the chats. What are they saying? They're like, no, they're just spamming really dumb emotes. Oh. Oh, what is this? This is a top-down shooting game? Hmm. Not gonna lie. Other than the, the fairy feud games, top down games, I don't know what it is. I, mean, I just you don't really I, like top down games. Yeah, right? I just can't play them. I don't know what it is. I think the only top down games I can see myself playing is obviously Lost Ark and League of Legends. But the only thing just... is, Lost Ark and League of Legends, I won't play unless I have somebody else on with me. I like the soundtrack. Oh no, the soundtrack sounds nice. <clears throat> um. This is it's like the type of game I can imagine you play and you don't really, you have nothing really to play. Yeah, I mean. yeah. Actually, I do remember one top down game I remember playing a lot. This is, not, you two have probably never heard this game in your life. It's the Ghostbusters Xbox 360 game. <laughs> yeah. It is a top well, down it. Ghostbusters game. It's so yeah. good. The Ghostbusters game was like one of the first games I've ever played. It was nuts. Junior, oh, that's actually very soon. Oh, Really yeah, that's very close. If it's not much, I'd probably get it. If it's, if it's free, I'll get it. That was the no, first I, I that we actually got to look at today that had a release date attached to it. If you missed it, it's coming out June 23rd, so you can jump in and play. And if you want to right now, if you oh, want we can to download the demo. Miss the date. I'm terrible with calendars as well. You can add it to your Steam wish list. There is a demo. And you can check out an early download demo. So that's for S Proxy. You can hop on Steam and check okay, that out. Okay, you can right try it out for free. Take a look at our first racing game of the day. Oh, racing game, let's go! Gray Studios, and it's Mario Kart 9, okay. <laughs> uh, it's my freaking mic. Why is it like that? Yo, actually, this kind of looks kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it actually looks right. Like... I love racing games. If you know me, you know I love racing games. Oh, the Rainbow Road tactic, launching yourself. <laughs> Yo, the, you know what this kind of looks like? Like the way the cars drift. It reminds me of the Sonic racing games because the way they drift in that. 
This, and then, this reminds me of like League as well. Three. This reminds me of Oh, that was satisfying. You see that when they like yeah. went on the wall? That was And look the way they oh, yeah. jump and like float, it's like Rocket League as well. I like it, yeah. It's like if the Sonic this... racing games had a baby with Rocket League. This reminds me of um what's that game I used to play on my phone all the time? You know the the Rider? Alright, that one got yeah, my blood pumping yeah. a little bit. You can Rider. add it. Yeah, I play I I still play Rider. <laughs> I don't play that anymore. One more game left in this category. This one's yeah, really nice game's cool. If it's cheap, I'll get it. Yeah, I, it seems pretty cool. I found this one on Asman's wish list. He tends to like the uh furrier protagonist. It's gory. Anyway. Bodily carnage. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear my dad's watching. I can hear his PV in the background. You, you, can, you don't hear it on your mic. Oh no, I know. You won't hear them, it's the same. I can hear it, it's not. What's this? Uh, <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we haven't seen much? We haven't seen much? Okay, four ways. Out. No, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Inspirational quote 542, not found. Uh. What's that? Okay, no, I don't like this. I don't like this. The, the, like, the getting up of the chair animation didn't look too clean to me. I know it's an indie game, but it, I don't know why. That just threw me off. With a swearing. Oh! Huh. Damn, his head is big. And the big ass head. Hot figure, have an eye. What is this? What is happening? Yo, why is that? Whoa, okay. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute, boys. Hold on. I'm no furry, but this game is looking kind of nice. God, forget what I said about a crap animation. So why did it suddenly just get. Oh, oh wow. Wait, I like this fight. That's nice. Like, some of the animations are odd, but that was pretty cool, though. Like when you're not fighting, the animations are odd. Yeah. Ah, get a Q off code. Okay, honestly, it looked true, cool, but I don't think it'll, it'll be a game I'll actually play. It'll be a game, at best, I'll probably watch someone else play. I don't think I'll actually play it myself. POV, the average green leaf viewer. Man, that uh, uh, little guy's what? really not kitten around. A kitten? But we <laughs> had in cat, action. Yeah. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> we had monsters, we had cats doing whatever Gory was doing oh. there. We had samurais, we had racing games, we had just about everything. Asmin, what'd you think of the action section? Honestly, man, like I've seen that trailer like three or four times now. And I think every single time I like it even more. It's like the fact that they had an actual, like a, a they have a track, like a song for it on top of that. It's just really, really cool. And obviously, guys, we've got two other gaming experts, gaming wizards here. We've got I'm gonna soda pop in. Schlatt. Hello. Schlatt, what'd you think of it? You know what, Esmond? I am super happy we're finally getting a game that kind of was shaky. Crabs and lobsters, so I can stop doing it in real life. <laughs> Miss Kip, what do you think? Uh, well, honestly, that quote that's that so that was so awkward. Yeah, I yeah. That. <laughs> <laughs> what was this? Super unique game. I think that's. Really I think he meant that. Though. I love Wait. the dubstep that they it's, played. Yeah, sort of happens to your favorite streamer, isn't it? Yeah. It, the and then, me what about Miss Kip? Who doodled that in like six I've watched Miss Kip quite a bit. Not too much though. A reality. It became a reality. Yeah, like after they got watching a little bit too much. Invasion, Actually, the only one I've seen stream out of everyone here yep, and now that they've game. shown is Hectone and Asman. I've no, I've Dash, seen like, every oh, single right, person. Like, that is I know everyone. So here. I've only watched Asman, like Gold, it. and Hectone. Like that like car game looks nice. There were like yeah, it does look pretty nice. Like this reminded me of like the old school essence of like F Zero or something. And I think it's actually, you know, it kind yeah, it kind of is like F Zero. A bit. Yeah, Not too much. Reminds me a lot of, uh, oh, multiplayer! Uh, multiplayer! Uh, that is multiplayer! Oh. Of those like old school GameCube games. Well, I, mean, I, I like to assume so. It's a fucking racing game. I feel like where I could just get lost for a few hours. Sit there and just drive around the track, super colorful, and just enjoy the music. It's very nice. It's what I like about it is it definitely controller game. those games where you oh, you know, controller one hundred percent. Very, very casually, you can just kind of like zen out on your. But I like the I like how the flying also, works. It is very walkable. Yeah. I'm sure there's gonna be some crazy tracks. I feel like that would be quite hard to like, master. Oh, look! Honestly, 
Oh, you Probably can make your own. One. You know what I feel like with the lobsters when it comes to that. That's kind of nuts. You know what must have happened, but that you know boss, what they got? I perfectly they got... iframed through every single attack that that boss did. Why is that been on my screen? I, uh, I avoided every Why? single thing perfectly. You what did? the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> why, 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 why is that been on my screen right it's, now? It's because it's because they're wait, talking about the lobster game. Life. Oh. <laughs> What is going what on? Is this fuck? still your favorite game? I hate this. this is game. not. Is this the lobster game? Uh, no, it's is not. The they don't have yeah, guns this in this, this game. One. Looks worse. Uh, bro, this guy's got a sniper rifle in his mouth. <laughs> okay, so I can see where the inspiration came Jesus from. Jesus yeah. Christ! So is this? Wow. Okay. You can hear it echoing yeah. from the expo <laughs> stage. <laughs> <laughs> it's really real, real funny, guys, right? Uh huh. Who's last? Yeah, it's real funny. Oh this my probably god. Has a million on YouTube. Somebody's getting banned after this. Oh, after yeah, this way. game is, uh, honestly, I absolutely love this game. I think it is very funny. And oh, it's very Smash Bros. like uh, as well, the way you get launched off the wing. Developers always try to make things fun and interesting. Their trailer was fun. I like the little, the, the trumpet. Oh, it's multiplayer? Uh, oh, well, it's head. You know obviously, it's multiplayer. Okay. Lobsters at, like, no. The seafood restaurants. Where are they? Shut up. Where do they take the lobsters? <laughs> oh, green lobster. I know who I'm meaning. Don't they go in the ocean? No. They have them in crane machines. Wait, They've what? Into... Oh, yeah. You, you haven't you seen like the lobsters? A toy and they that actually doesn't look that bad now when I'm actually looking at properly in place. Looks okay. Never That's really good. So, like, Where they, they have lobsters in a crane that game underwater? It grabs up the crawly Yes, and then you put them in the box. No, if you win the lobster at the seafood What are they talking about? You eat it. I'm trying to look at the gameplay and all I can hear is, now, like, now imagine, I don't even know. the life oh of, of that kind of crustacean, who's been submerged in a little toy box. Oh my. crane poking at him every day. That's who I think is in this game. I think they, they took him right from the crane game. No, you know what it is? So they get taken from the crane Sorry, I'm about to talk about the Summer Game Fest here real quick. But the Summer, the summer Game Fest community is so toxic. Like, if you look at the live chat, no matter... They could show, like, literally the best games of all time, and you still have... Mid best, mid best, and people are so toxic in the chat. It's gross. Yep, and you know what that game reminds me a lot of? Uh, What's that? Crabs fighting crabs reminds me a lot of when Rich did a subathon in my closet. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Um, yeah, uh, I, I, uh. <laughs> oh, I know, way. Monkey, you still here? I don't know if Rich is crying or what. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, let, let's go to you. Rich and we'll uh, move on. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for having Thank us. You, Absolutely. What a, what a time of memories that was. Uh, it was like a whole new realm of reality being in Ms. Kiff's closet for that subathon. And this next genre huh? brings you to new realities as well. Kind of like being in Ms. Kiff's closet. But why did you talk about Ms. Kiff's closet? It's time for an adventure. Oh, yeah, he left in this closet for a bit. Adventure games? Okay, okay. Well, to see some interesting games, I think. Folks, I adventure games have a huge legacy. When the whole thing goes great, it's going to nut everywhere. The first oh, you know when the oh. categories, it's like, the, so this one's on. red. Yes. It's going to be like, imagine there's like a fighters and it's green. Oh, like, actually, then in that case, I that would probably come. Yes. Actually, this kind of looks, oh. wait, no, wait, go back to yeah, the, no, I'm not... no, go back to the pixel one. I actually really like that. I like the little pixel design. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of cool. That is Wait, auto. Is oh, it's an auto adventure game. Oh, this could be like. If anyone knows me in real life, you know how much I love art. Ted, his Ted, Ted can back me up on that. I love art so much. Yeah. This game could be awesome. Like actually. Oh, I don't know. Was that just the stream or is that the trailer? But it was a little bit delayed. There, there's like lag. Uh, so this. This actually kind of looks nice. It it looks both simple, but also but, like yeah. not simple. But, yeah. I really like that pixel one though. I actually can't get over that. Because I wonder if it changes like art style in different like like levels, I guess. Uh, yeah, I think that's it that's probably how it'll go. Yeah. That boss looks interesting. I'm assuming it's boss, or that boss also looks interesting. Wait, this actually looks kind of like really good. But an indie game, that is shockingly like nice looking. I think I prefer. I'm not gonna lie. I think I prefer indie games. Really? 
Yeah, I've always. Don't, don't get me wrong. Some of my favorite games out there are indie titles, well, but, no, but there is a lot of good like games I play that are AAA and stuff like that. Today, and also it's an right. open world game, which I did not mention before we dove in. If it looks cool to you, oh good demo, news, you can let's go! Early. You can download the demo right now on Steam. You can also I'm downloading the demo after this. For when it comes out, I just want to remind everybody at home any of these games that you like you can hop into the discord you can react to the games that you like the most and it's going to give them a chance to win that grant that asmin's going to be awarding at the i can't want to win that ground not gonna lie so far so far and in, uh, auto of the the uh, knights of the deep pc powered by i want one another win so far the winners will be getting as well to continue developing their games and any that was the crab one which they do yeah make. but let's hop and the, the what's the called one, one it was is neo dash yeah neo dash neo, i would like neo dash to win but i think it looks Really good as it is already. So strategically thinking, we should get the money here. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean. What's this? Oh, I like Yo, these other games. The anime, yeah, I know. I thought that you do like these other games. Uh, you, you know, what kind of reminds me of. Well, have you played Hollow Knight yet, Ted? Yes. Yeah. It is very Hollow Knight like. I. I yeah, oh, I that see. is very Hollow Knight. This is very Hollow Knight. Yeah, you can. It's got its uh. Actually, I really liked Hollow Knight. I didn't. I never finished it, but I really liked it. So I might actually play this. I actually might play this. Oh, and you can cast. Oh, was that a was that a Samus reference? Was that a Metroid reference? I was gone. Oh. I I need it. I want that. That's cool. Why are these indie games actually kind of popping off? Huh? It's gonna be better than a. No, don't say it. Don't say it. I can't. I can't hear that. I can't hear this. It's gonna be better than Deadfest. No. <laughs> <laughs> to play today i love but people are so toxic though like they could show spider-man free at some game fast people still be like this game sucks <laughs> like they troll they troll it's from stroll art studios and it's called the only time people are happy is when jeff Keighley's face is on the screen that's like she wants people to stop trolling yeah that's the only reason that you watch it today i hello jeff Keighley. okay don't get me wrong i do like the pixel art style but it, like you, it's one of these games you can tell instantly that I won't like it. I won't like this. I won't. I will not enjoy this. If I wanted to play a game like this, I would hop into the Terraria or Minecraft. Although I do like those costumes. Costumes are pretty cool. What are you thinking about this one, Ted? Ted? Nah. Oh, that's nah, so Monkey, what are you thinking? Reminds me of Enter the Gungeon. Oh, actually, yes, you're right. It Last, is yeah. very Enter the Gungeon like. Which I, oh, I still haven't completed that game either. That, oh, that wish though. Oh. Golly, golly. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You know, maybe this game is <laughs> yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe this game is in my wish list right now. <laughs> Hello, the stone. You know, it doesn't look that bad, but I don't think it's a game for me. See him. Wait, was yep. five people Rocks. watching that? And Below worried. the Stone is one of those games where I know Asmin pretty well. This is the type of art style that I think really resonates with us. Yeah, Anytime that you get it is a nice art style. game with that pixel art, it kind of brings you back. You start to remember some of the memories. So for Below the Stone, you can actually already add it to your Steam wish list. Okay, so no demo though. That art style. I know I want to learn a little bit more. Luckily, Asmin is going to be talking to the lead artist, Mike Stolart, right now. Yo, if this actually ends up being really yeah, I mean, good, you're definitely right. I see that they might do this every year. I go right back Think about it. I know they will do it every year. Running through, like, Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past, or something like that. I absolutely love it. And thank you so much, Mike, for coming. I like to add 50 games to my wish list and only buy one of them. This happens to every year. This happens to every year. What's the game development? I think um, that car one might be one of the ones. So. And the crab. The, the crab and car game. If they're cheap. Yeah. I could possibly buy both of them. Uh, like both of them. You know, we started. Um, you know, myself. Please, no, uh, I'm gonna get tons of money I, I didn't in October because I was in my birthday. But I was kind of just going. For spoken comes out in October, possible, and for spoken right? looks like uh, one yeah. amazing yeah. ass game. I, uh, I want to get it, but it's sixty-seven pounds. Uh, kind of inviting. A couple, oh. like I started with just my art, right? And inviting. And I'm, pro I'm probably only gonna get it like hundred um, quid, so. Um, Andrew being. I might have enough money for like one of the indie games. And he, um, you know, we worked on Below the Stone for a while. Uh, we needed a composer for a Kickstarter later on. 
Um, so we ended up picking up a composer, Karim. Um, and, you know, we actually failed our first Kickstarter. Um, and what I learned, yeah, what I learned though, right, is just putting yourself out there, like, is a huge win, right? It's not yeah. about, like, the money in Kickstarter. It's, it's really about, like, people who are fans of that make your game a success, right? And we ended up getting, like, hundreds of new fans from this Kickstarter. Um, and eventually publishers even started contacting us. Um, in fact, uh, kind of a funny story with our publisher. Um, you know, our relationship, uh, I started by blocking them. Um, Bo, I know way. <laughs> block uh, yeah, the block. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> yeah, very smart move by me. But, um, you know, I started by, um, you know, originally, um, you know, they contacted me. I accidentally, like, you know, I didn't know who they were. I blocked them. Then uh, they contacted me again, blocked them again. And then I was like, <laughs> and then they found my Facebook out of nowhere, right? Oh and my God, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I was like, whoa, 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 Facebook? All right, maybe they have something to say. Yeah. So then, um, you know, I realized these guys were serious about our game and they saw what we were trying to make was as important as how we thought of it as, right? Um, and then we realized like, you know, this is a, kind of like a perfect fit for us. Well, um, I, I can't get over what you just and, you know, The memory of what this really Ted said to me hit me in the face right now. Asmin Gold is going to be you and Dotty Yearsley. He actually is, you can see it, can't you? <laughs> he, has my, he has my facial structure. Okay, don't you see it? He has my facial structure, why? No way. Oh yeah, I see it. What if I grew the beard out, would I look like him? If I grew yes. my beard out like that, would I look like him? And the hair? I mean, like, I genuinely yeah. think you look know, like identical. And these guys are great, too. Well, I need to put my phone up right now. I nah, I don't look like, that close to them. I have no. the jawline. I, mean, <laughs> yeah. I have the jawline. I have the jawline. No, have the jawline. You know, these guys are really no, cool, no. you know, and then... I think it's actually it really down. similar. Yeah, it, I, I, I bet it seems like it has. Obviously, it has. It so, didn't even ask you to talk this game, it, it's like a... Uh, it's got like the pixel art a little bit to it, but it's also got a roguelike element. How does this Just game play? Just me there. <laughs> so, uh, where we, where we kind of separate ourselves from other roguelikes oh, yeah. is we actually make it so like okay, crafting yeah. and yeah. equipping gear is actually like important to your character. There's actually like a long-term progression, whereas other roguelikes, what they do is kind of like you go down until it's almost like a Diablo-esque. Well, Asmongo like, looks so die, serious right now. And then you start over. Then you go down, die, and start yeah. over. It looks like he's ready for business. And, like, that's like super repetitive in roguelikes. So the yes. way we do it is we make it yes. so... Every time you descend, I like how the uh, even though it's like an indie game, I like how he already has like a logo of his game behind his wall or something. I think that's pretty cool. Gear to progress further in Not as cool. Although I don't know how you would get that custom down, made. Right? Like, so every time you go, no, it's probably quite easy. That stuff I just, that just let you go to someone. Right? So, uh, so it's yeah, so quite it's easy. Like a twist but... on like how normally roguelikes do it. What are those in the back? Are those like little mini posters or like what are they? So if you die, you lose the stuff. And. Yeah, you Shout out to the Dr. Pepper on the right side of the screen. Oh my yeah, God. you would be that type that's, of guy. But so I'm not that type of guy, though. So you can spend like hours crafting all this gear, right? Yeah. You're wearing it. You decide to take on the boss. And then you realize like, oh, I don't know how this guy works. And then you like, you start learning the pattern. You're like, oh shit, I, you know. In the way the doors are closed properly. Give me a second. <laughs> it's okay. But, uh, yeah. But anyway, yeah, you know, um. So, uh, yeah, it's like every time you go down, it's like kind of like a new adventure. We have 50 biomes we're planning. Wow. Um, we want to make it so, like, every time you go down, like, actually, it's, it's now that because I'm replaying the trailers that game in my head right now, okay. it does not look like a bad game. No, it looks pretty good. One of the best looking so far. It's just not for me. Oh, yeah. But I wouldn't mind playing it at someone's house. Like, if my cousin owned it, I'd be like, sure, let's play it. Looks epic. That is, but it's also, like, really, really intense. I think back, like, things, like, games I played on that, like, two years ago, I still remember. Although, if it's, like, on Mega Seal on Steam Seal, I ask him buy it. Your project, excuse me, and they want to support it. Where can they go? Well, they can go to belowthestone.com. We got a Discord. I'm going to be sitting in the voice channel after this. You know, this... And um, if you want to, you know, wishlist the stream. Oh, uh, perfect, uh, wish, yeah. <laughs> great. Wishlist, <laughs> wishlist the stream, guys. But also wishlist below the stone um, on Steam. Um, but yeah, I, um, I also um, want to say hi to everyone in chat. You know, I wanted to say hi for a long time, but. Uh, <laughs> All right, yeah. Well, I thanks a lot it. for coming on, man. Yeah, the game looks really cool, exciting, and I like how it's a new take on the whole roguelike thing, especially with a uh, graphic style that I and I think a lot of other people kind of around our age resonate with really well. So oh, thank yeah, you very exactly, much. Yeah. yeah, thank you.
Appreciate yeah. it. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, again, guys, if you want to add uh, below uh, the stone uh, to your Steam wish list, go on ahead. And again, I want to say that whenever we, uh, whenever we're doing these games, make sure that you go on the Discord if you all want to vote on the games that you like the most for this developmental grant money to go to. That's pretty cool. Go ahead and do that, and use the Discord, and you guys can vote whenever you want. But anyway, yeah, it's pretty, we'll we'll get some more pretty games. eye. Yeah, yeah let's look at that. Oh, my phone's 100%. That. I think it's really cool to hear that new take on roguelikes. You know, right, maybe show my phone here and I can see the chat all times. Sometimes, but actually seeing taking a risk, trying to push a little bit further. I'm definitely looking forward to checking that game out. But we have one Come more back. game left in the category. Welcome it's back, from dude. Bedtime Digital Games. Let's take a look. Bedtime Digital? To Creed Valley. Creed Valley. Is my scene in Monsters? Don't check that out. Uh, no, this is my scene of monsters. What the fuck is this? Okay. Interesting. Cause, like, I haven't really, like, mm. seen too many games like this. this isn't going to help anyone. Well, it's unique, but I'm going to say it. I don't think I'm going to get this one. This one. This one's not hitting me. This one's just not doing it for me. Oh, no. Pigment 2. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Is this is that one? Oh, am I tripping? Uh, it could be a second one. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. I dance. <laughs> I dance. I dance with yeah. <laughs> uh, I like that. I like that dude, though. Like that boss looking guy looks kind of cool. Coming soon. At time.com. I thought I will. You can add that to your Steam wish list right now, but let's talk about all the games that we actually saw in this category. I'm gonna throw it up to the second best gamer in OTK, NMP LOL. Ooh, I drink. <laughs> uh, I watched Neck a lot. Uh, okay, Rich, excuse me. Uh, if I'm not the first best, then who's the first best? Sorry, we're getting distracted here. Clearly, I'm the best gamer. Um, we just saw a whole bunch of awesome Oh yeah, they the all love the Warcraft Arno, players. Bio, oh no, I know that. Just, uh, Literally one of them uh, talked about it at the start. Um, I loved them all. Chance, what was your, uh, was that what was your favorite? That's it's like, favorite. I beat this guy in yeah. World of Warcraft well, Soccer. I think it was, those, like you said. Oh, that was sick. Yeah. I was gonna say, yeah. Ardo was my favorite yeah, initially. Perfect, let's do it. I like the, the hack and slash, the colors being splashed around as you're kind of running through. Oh, Otto looks so like nice. It's white and bland, but as your character moves on, it kind of unloads all those beautiful colors. But not also the, the combat. I feel like fluid. I know it Ben doesn't like watching like, big like long really offense like this, but Ben really does like playing a lot of indie games. I feel like these have a fan to be perfect for Ben, really honestly. Show. I like gear. Gear is so satisfying to receive. I don't know. I, are, I, maybe are you going to say Ted? I ain't you. Yeah. I'm torn. You know, I'm... Uh, all the games look really good. Buddha likes these types of games. Yeah, how do you feel about Ardo? Game. No, no so, I'm in the adventure games. Ardo is absolutely beautiful. I love that it's got a riveting soundtrack as well. I'm somebody that, like... I need to oh, that's pretty cool. Damn. That was cool. That Ardo... I, I want to feel uh, like I'm inside that the game. The more I look at it, the more I kind of want it. I want yeah. Oh, did you see that, like, kind of wave effect there? Yeah. Good riveting soundtrack. Hey, yo. Well, as Chance said... And it's, stone, it's sort know, of top track, down, but not exactly top like down. It's like the camera angle like, isn't like a nice, weird about. angle. I don't think <laughs> I know what he was. You're, you're chatting, you know. <laughs> I, I respect it though. I'm more of a like Creed Valley type of guy. Yeah. The so, soundtrack, it sounds like a bedtime story that you never want to end, you know? Really? Some cool shit. So, so Creed Valley, Figment 2, that was, that was your favorite one? I say it's my favorite because of the soundtrack. Like, they, the soundtrack makes you glue your eyes on the screen like it makes you want to pay attention to what's going to happen next so. yeah it was it was cute it was adorable you know figment had some really so we're talking about figment right yeah 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 it had some really cute music you see the little scene where he's walking over the piano this would be one of these games i would watch Chris like the all bosses youtube videos on all yeah, bosses oh all of these games figment well. too yeah you literally don't even know what you a lot of these are adventure games you can't really beat other people in it I feel like y'all gaming time has passed. Everybody at this table is like 40 plus. Bro, no, okay. excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. I am really good at video games. Okay. Like, but no one asked. Green Lane is 50, still game playing video so games. Far, and uh, before open, right? is actually below the stone, like chance and the, pro the progression and just being able to, you know, get gear, craft gear. Um, and then, you know, I just learned. Well, I'm supposed to be watching Harry Potter. You know, How long is this event going to be? You lose, all, you lose it all. 
And that to me is really, really, really good. Yeah. It was interesting to see his take. I don't want to watch. I like. I well, no. It's hard to explain. I promised I would watch Hyper. You know, it's got that Metroid feel that a lot of people tend to love. Say something came up. Look at that. That's boss fights. What do you think of Hyper? Important part of these kind of games. What do you think of Hyper? You're inside some stomach. Play looks fun. Between outside. Super Meat Boy vibes, which is a solid platformer. Although that does look pretty good. Not gonna lie. It does. I saw it close. Split second and said no, like my brain instantly said no to it. But then as the trailer went on, I was like, wait a minute, this is fairy Hollow Knight. It's like a solid game. Yeah, this, this game actually reminds me of uh, an old, old, old school game. Ted, what did you send in the chat? What is that? Oh, you know, never <laughs> I think it's 43 or something. He just proved my point. So, Bruce, how, how do you feel about Biogun there, huh? I the like Biogun looks it. nice. It reminds me of a computer lab game I used to play in fifth grade. So, about 45 years ago? No. Yesterday, it looks like if Friv had like an upgrade. <laughs> yeah. Friv games. Hey, Nick, which game here is more likely to keep you up past 8 p.m.? <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> we're, we're not going to turn this into making fun of me. Okay. I'm 27 years old. Okay. I'm young. Did you die soon? <laughs> Okay. Anyone uh, can. Guys, um, oh. remember, chat, uh, if you guys want to, you guys can vote for your favorite in Discord. Um, right right now, it's OTK Network Discord. Make sure you go in there and vote. Um, yeah, I think, we're, uh, I think we're ready to get a quick sandwich, go to the bathroom. <laughs> no. <good> job, <laughs> nice to uh, be tricky yeah, sandwich. We'll be right back after these uh, commercials. No, nah, commercials. Drop the Browns off at the Super Bowl. <laughs> Yo, the lag. What is that lag in the commercial? <laughs> this is like a porn ad. <laughs> oh, it's state no, of survival. Not. Of course it's state of survival. You know what this game is, Ted? Uh, oh, Jesus Christ, that scared me. This, this, is like a, <laughs> this is like a mobile game that gets like 60 million ad. Wait, is this one of them games where it's like, it's all done in real life, but like, kind of multiple choice? You know what I mean? Yeah. Wait, no, like the uh, golly, I mean, but the plane is like, uh, if I remember correctly, the plane for this game is literally like, like you build, like you build your own like, survival camp, you upgrade, you upgrade, you upgrade, and then you fight zombies. <laughs> but what is this ad? The fact that... They got so many people for this ad though. Props to them for that. Are you serious? They're gonna make an Aiden aside for stuff. I have to say something. The only way no, it actually is like there. porn acting. Oh my god. Step <laughs> bro! Ah. I'm so. Hey, put your hands where I can see them. No. Hey, put your hands where I can see them. Yo, Ted, they should have got me and you for this. We're professional actors. I love the flame effects on that guy, Bonnie. The cameraman's going nuts. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's baseball bat. You know, baseball bat is the best way to go in a zombie pop. Oh, but it actually is that classic text, but all like, see that animation there, for, like the at the end. That's like yeah. the classic mobile game ad. Like, it's one of my favorite types yeah. of games. It's none other than strategy. Oh, oh, strategy games. Oh, okay, no, I, I don't think I'm just gonna be a single game in here that's gonna satisfy me right now. I sa strategy games annoy me. Strategy games. We have because I feel stupid when I play them. Very I feel very dumb. I'm excited to just peel through this category. The first one is unlike anything I've really ever seen before. Asma and I have spent a lot of time talking. Where's the Elmo? Is that Elmo in the top five? Interactive, uh. and it's called Dwarf Romantic. <laughs> oh no, because see Bruce. Do you know who Bruce is? No. Oh, oh, this game's good. Um. Wait, you play this game? Do you know? Yes. Wait, so why did you want to give them the totally out? Unless it's that like might be... a DLC. Oh, I think there's a big big update here, because them... I think it might be an update. Yeah, I've, see, I've seen you play this before. I think there's an update, because see them big, that big building? The tall yeah. one? That's not in that. Oh, and the them trees. Oh, there's a new update anyway. Wait. I, I can this game. Why do you need this to stream game, this? This game's one... Nah, because this game's one of them games where you just kind of play it to chill. No, I mean, I, I mean, like, why do you not stream this event? 
know. I don't know. You could you could have had an excuse to finally stream again, Ted. You haven't streamed in months. I miss my. Oh yeah, you there. see them wipe things. Yeah. You build them, and then you can unlock like new buildings and and uh, terrains and things. How much is this game? Like four quid, I think. Not too bad. I'd say it's worth it. It's already just a nice chill game. I like that. Oh my god, I can look bored. But you actually have to think that, about that it though. That one really relaxing You actually to have to think. I'm very excited to actually <laughs> oh, yeah. it out the first <laughs> time that we that trailer with Asman. He actually turned to me and he went, Wow, dude, look at that tree, dude. Wow. <laughs> it, it was cool. <laughs> it's a cool game. Wow. What can I say? And you That's guys can play thing to do. right wow. now. It's already tree. available on Steam. I mean, so you can go ahead well. and download so it. And the uh, next game that we're going to be taking a look at. We have some surprises Lucian. for this one. Oh. They're actually going to have an exclusive going on for everybody watching the Games Expo. But before we take a look at that, let's take <gasps> a look at the trailer. It's from Phobia, no and way. it's called Destiny's <laughs> no Divide. Destiny's Divide. Divide. A single warrior. Okay, no. Ted, spell. yes, but not for Ooh. me. No, yeah, yeah, you go, oh. You, you and your card game have an hour. I, I, right. I guarantee that's what the Paladin's gonna say something about this. He also really likes card games. Oh, this. Card games turn me down instantly. I, like. I can't. I freaking love Slay the Spire. If, yeah, I, I couldn't think of the name. Terry is a big Slay the Spire player. No, Slay the Spire actually interested me though, because I like the, like, the art style, style, and I also like the animations. But like your generic card, like you just place the card down on the table and it does something. Those card games, oh, do not, like, <laughs> do not like them at all. They're actually. The chat's so mixed on this. You've got some people like happy about it, and then you got some people that like the other half are just like sleeping. No, no, that's fair though, because like it's card game. Yeah, card game. You either get the people that love card games, or you get the people that just love any other type of video game. Uh. So the, yeah, this is definitely a skip for me, but for Ted, I can see Ted playing this. Sleep. I'm sleeping right now. Oh. Edge. <laughs> <laughs> that looks decent. Destinies divide. There better be a fighting game category. I'll actually, I, I think I'll be my favorite part. I think, I oh. think there will be. Oh my god. I think. I think well, that would I be. absolutely love card games. You've probably seen me open packs on just about everybody's stream, but there's something about a card game and actually having the particle effects from a game as well that uh, really gets me excited. And also, I'm excited for the exclusive. That oh, you guys and even the free demo. Okay, I think it was. Visit destiniesdivide.com. And if you play at least one game, you are going to be able to grab a skin that is only available bum, 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 for the next 24 hours. And after, I'm not sure if you've seen this yet. But it actually kind of looks like you in, I don't know, maybe a month or two from now. Are you Minus. fucking kidding me? Well, it looks <laughs> just like you. <laughs> Are... Oh my god. Like, wait, the last time I saw this, I thought he had Wait, hair. Yeah. Wait, uh, actually he does. No, maybe it's live updating. I... I... Okay, okay, okay. I, I swear to God, we, we saw this picture like three days ago. It had hair, and, and now he's completely bald. I think the devs I, are trying to tell you something. I think God is. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Okay, so you, Lee, yes, you can. <laughs> Destiny. Can you uh, get the fish eye Destiny's lens divide, angle, guys? Oh, get it today. Yeah, yeah. Can you get oh. this great skin? Lots of skin on the top of the head. You can check it oh, out. Oh, don't tell me right she wanted down to this cut. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Stuff. I didn't. I didn't even think about it. The only way that you're going to be able to get. I just did what Ted said. So I love my weekend. I love my weekend. The games expo, but we got a little bit more to look at inside of the strategy category. Uh, this one's coming from on. Sunspear Games, and it's called Immortal Gates of Pyre. Of oh, Pyre. Among Us, like, it was five cards. <laughs> yeah. That's definitely intentional, by the way. <laughs> okay, oh my god, it's League of Legends! Oh, yeah. 
Ja. Nah, okay, no, nah. Oh wait, no, this is Lexi. What the fuck? This is just a web of Lexi. What is this? Okay. Okay, okay, it looks a bit more chaotic. But what has happened? Okay, I don't even know. I don't think this is me. This is not me, game. <laughs> Monic Starcraft. League definitely has to be some sort of inspiration though. Sure. Nah, Starcraft. Starcraft. Actually, yeah, maybe. Four strikes coming down through the whole army. It's all bone stalkers, and now they're all dead. One more in the main, and there's no alloy coming in because there's Pete Safari in the back of the base. Oh, it's no, it's no HP. Nothing at all. Oh, Safari. Oh, that's Australian. The Safari just gonna stick it out the last possible moment. Oh my God. And he asks us, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, chill out, oh my god. Not a game for me. Not playing. Getting to take a look at an RTS game definitely gets me very excited. I, I don't think I'd be standing in this arena right now if it wasn't for the RTS genre and everything that it did do for esports. So, getting to look at a game following in that legacy very very inspiring but we also get to talk to the game director Coulter and he is with Asmin right now let's hear about the RTS hey what's going on Coulter how are you doing I'm doing great man. <laughs> can I say he plays uh, Dungeons and Dragons it's good to have you here I mean honestly <laughs> it's been a long time since we had an RTS uh, game yeah probably out. most I mean, likely sure yeah you remember just as well as he I also looks like he plays every, every single, league every of legends year, type new game Empires. Now yeah. there's not a whole lot anymore. So Which I'm not saying it's bad. <laughs> see <laughs> see her line. So we still <laughs> have <laughs> <laughs> yeah. RTS being released happened and it just oh, wow. okay. it basically came down to we absolutely wanted to make a game you could share with your friends. Right, like smashing armies with a friend, seeing stuff blow up in that big spectacle way. That's something we tried wow. to do, but people just kept bouncing off the difficulty curve. I mean Sometimes RTSs are infamous for it, and that's something we set out to solve so that, like, you could share with your friends. I quite like listening the to the devs in this. In a way that you haven't been able to oh, it's nice. It's so nice. Really what it was and it makes about. sense for a game expert. Now we're seeing a renaissance. There are so many RTS games in development, some of them very big titles, and so we are working to read a Yo, you know what I'm actually very hyped for? To so many people who have felt excluded from the genre. I don't know if you've seen the trailer yet, but me and Monkey are pretty hyped for this. For people who want that. League of Legends uh, like fighting you're game. About differentiating yourself from like there? Games yeah. And like you're definitely right. League like, of Legends oh, fighting game. Could be, that yeah, could be decent. And uh, Jinx is, is the playable character. So you know my ass has to play uh, Jinx. Crazy how high this I hacking love Jinx. I don't think Fire is shown, but so Fire might be in a... About a Echo is in it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why is... <laughs> There's a fly. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> it just went right past me. Let's get the life out of me. We're really focused on... Okay. Echo's pretty oh, cool, because Echo is like, I main hit in Dragon Ball Fighters, so Echo's like hit, in the sense that he can like, he can skip time, he can go back in time, I mean hit can't do that, but you know, he can go back in time, he can mess with time in general, he's a pretty cool character, but my main step would be Jinx. And it looks very Street Fighter-like as well, so I like that, it's pretty cool. We got that hardcore delivering experience, with that much, much more fun can jump into it. You only need to know three buttons to play Immortal and have fun. And you're not guy in our class that plays League of Legends like Law. Three buttons, which is just completely yes, yeah. unlike yeah. Before. Uh, yeah, that's definitely a great thing. He's gonna be really into League, like but I'm gonna be game really game into the League fighting game. Seems I'm like, simple. we're gonna have like our own. Just a nerd. The players make them <laughs> we're gonna be into like our own that. little thing. And I yeah. guess I wanna ask, like, so for <laughs> strategy fans, anybody like that, how can they support this project? <laughs> So the thing that they can do is tune into our Discord. We're in closed alpha right now. There are keys going out via the. Imagine a company not using Discord. That'd be not. Via our Twitter, so uh, the Discord should be posted in the uh, chat here. So jump in there, check out what's My going God, on. My God, Lee, you can get and, a free uh, key. Because we're that community-oriented, uh... we really want to get your feedback, your first impressions, and if you get a key, your first experiences. I think that makes a lot of sense, especially since you're a team of modders and everything. So you're very used to kind of taking <laughs> something and then, you know, appreciate. Yo, the modders as well. And so that's yeah. Oh, you can't make any more of this up. You actually can. <laughs> <laughs>
Next. <laughs> the they got the keyblade oh behind them. <laughs> shut <laughs> up! <laughs> oh I didn't ask you to shut up! <laughs> keyblade on the wall and Luigi hat on. Yeah, and there's... Oh, Luigi part of me thing. It's part of my thing, Ted. Stop bullying me. Happen at least. So yeah, guys, join the Discord if you want to be a fan of Immortal. And uh, we'll go on to the next one. Yeah, yeah you talk about all the different subgenres that are going on inside of strategy. We're going to be taking a look right now at a tower defense. Oh, he's still on strategy. Strategy. Spirits of the elements and with tower defense. Rider I freaking love tower defense. Oh, I don't know, Chief. No, <laughs> oh, I looked in the first 10 seconds. Nope, no, thank you. I'm sleeping. Skip. I play this tower defense. Have you heard of it? Uh. Orcs must die. No. It's like it's like a a three D. It's weird. It's like a three D one. It's weird. It was good though. Well. Oh my god! The closest thing I've played to it, like a game like this. It's like that freaking one Roblox you mean by the way. I know the more that one Roblox mini game. I don't know what you're on about. Yeah, you go, yeah, because it's not a big Roblox game. I, mean, like, I, I don't play oh. Roblox. Looking forward to taking That's more fair look enough. at a tower defense as well. God, I, I can love Roblox. Yeah, this mini game monkey plays now. No! Oh, Bro! I think that looks really cool. I will tell you. Yeah. Like, I will. Like, there's not a lot of tower defense games to let you do that unless you go. Like, I will tell you. <laughs> like yeah, I will tell you. Yeah, it's been a little. I bit play a lot more other games than Roblox. Take a deeper look soon. We're gonna get to. I play a lot more of the games. Yeah, yeah, you know. Five. Yes, Persona Five. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I also play Persona Four. Persona I'm, Five. Name Strikers, every Persona game ever. Persona Two. He's like, Persona he's like playing Sonic. Just... Yeah, I, I'd say other games names the two hundred and fifty four. Thank you. Coromon. What is this? This is rip off Pokemon. This <laughs> is rip say. off Pokemon. The sprites look nice, but get off my screen. No, thank you. Not for me. This is Pokemon. This it is actually is. is. It, no way. Wait, it actually is. It's, 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 so, uh, it's, it's fucking Pokemon. Actually. It's, to be honest, they actually no. don't look that bad. No, 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 to look it nice, look no. Bad. The sprites are actually the cleanest sprites I've seen yet, but Wait, this it's is not for me. This is literally Pokemon. Right, okay. Yeah. Right, every um, every creature you see, there's actually a Pokemon that looks exactly like it. But, it doesn't look that bad though. No, here's the thing. Oh, those guys are pretty cool. Oh, I'm assuming the Titans are like the legendaries. Oh, yeah. So, for someone oh, like, he likes it. Nah. <laughs> for someone like me who really likes the classic Pokemon games and not like the newer ones, yeah, a game like that Coromon doesn't seem too bad for me. For but I don't know what it is. A part of me wants to get it because it looks nice, out, but the other part's like it's Rebel Pokemon. <laughs> That's like an instant no for me. It's like it still looks as good. Though. It looks no, it doesn't actually and look really nice. To talk about everything that we saw in strategy. I mean, I'll have oh, have you seen the anime tier list? It was very funny. To be honest, like, I'm really oh. excited for Immortal. Like, I, I think that game looks really cool. Oh my god, it's Tectone! Let's I go! I should watch this. Tectone and Emerald did a, like, tier list. I, the only tier list I saw Tectone do is the anime opening tier list. No, I think he, he did just anime, just like, in general. No, but he did an anime opening thing one time when I was watching it. This guy is, like, the definition of a way, by the way. He plays all the gacha games as well. I know. Anytime he... Anytime Anytime I know Genshin is his main thing. But anytime he plays that, I don't watch it. But if he does anything else, I sh I, I hop in. His streams are fun. The Genshin Impact fandom does not know that each consent is 18 years old. <laughs> Look, I think Tekton has a nice voice. I feel like it's nice to listen to him on stream. I, th I think that's one of the best things about. Oh, his voice is just nice. Games, is that uh. People have like these ideas, and it can be small. It was really funny. So he said he had, he was like really busy, and he couldn't like be anywhere, right? 
it's a massive and then like a few it. days later he was spotted like uh, in the seat at WWE and, uh, <laughs> no <laughs> yeah. way I'll, I'll try to get the clip it was really funny before, and, uh, like he was literally you know where they walk out getting, yeah. he was literally like speed, at like the I, thing I, where like I beside the ring and where they walk out like a really really good seat like he was and like gameplay is super important but like dude I'm going to be an NMP and that dude's been having I would have understood if it was like WWE back in the like, day, you know, back when they had John Cena, The Rock, and all that. Did you a few months ago? Oh my God. Yeah, but WWE now is kind of bad because all the epic wrestlers are gone. Like all of them are retired or passed away. Like none of them. Like all the I cool the ones are gone. And everything like that does really make a big difference. Is that like especially people know like, the rock enough for acting and not with, like having wrestling. the graphics and like right. the explosions. Just I know the rock. For, I know the rock from appealing. wrestling. Like, like, that's how I. That's how I found out about the rock. Pops off. Like, it has that's to be so satisfying. Yeah. That's, that's like, how I found out about the terrain. Good lord. Yeah. I, I think this is really funny because like you probably sat up here like we're talking about like just a certain amount of games strategy games bro you're bringing up all the games oh yeah like, dude, dude, dude i'm getting <laughs> sensory <laughs> overloaded there's been so many bangers yeah, man, yeah. I, so I'm far. I understand that yeah. i feel the same way man like i'm i'm very very excited especially the as i said especially the immortal game right like i see this and it reminds me of like you know starcraft 2 it gives me that same yes. vibe and i am just so excited Wait. to see what? that what? especially like Did you I'm see really uh, curious like, what do your they mean cosplay? about like, making it easier to do, right? Like, what's the mic? Whoa, that, like, I need to see it. Mommy, yo. It's about as well. Yeah, like, with the tower defense, too. Like, I have yeah. no idea how they're going to do What is that? Open lane tower defense? Yeah. I've never seen that. So, so who's this, uh, so, like, um, uh, yeah, who's this, uh, Amory? But, um, I've awesome. done, like, never I seen them before. A bit of the Warcraft, uh, She's like, I'm joking, get chat, chat, I'm joking, chat. As I said, every single time I do it, I just try to make a bunch of units, and then whenever that happens... You are such a liar, you know? Liar, liar, I'm so fire. Yeah, that's the point. Although, send me that, uh, your cosplay, though? Beat my head on the wall until just I break one the Twitter. Room. I think I got like near 100k likes. Some games that just don't let me do that, and uh, I, I'm excited, Pretty especially whenever you have like these more off the wall solutions. Because I, I think really what you know, Tecton, you were saying about like gaming being dead, yeah. right? What does that really mean? It means like well, gaming is never gonna die. Have for, like, yeah. Let's say 15 years for game, yeah. like, tower defense, right? It's something that like. Bro, can't wait to like games connect your like nerves up to the system too, so you actually like feel Maybe, the fucking you know, pain. Don't need to have like established. <laughs> I mean, that's actually. Like, Exists. I mean, exactly. if you just get the VR exactly. strap yeah, thingies, yeah, you feel like the like pain when you get shot in the chest, like, when you get like, shot in the leg, and then which body parts you buy. Although I don't know how realistic it feels, because obviously they cost so much. Is it like those? Th is it like a big like thing you strap around your body? It's literally like a big chest plate, like a big set of armor uh, you put on yourself. It, what it most likely does, it most likely uh, when you get hurt, it, like puts it, pressure gets applied to it and it starts like squeezing your body. Or something like that. For the games that you guys enjoy a lot, we're gonna have the Discord link again in chat. It's on the OTK Network Discord because, as I said before, God damn, well, as well. That is a your Forger cosplay if I've ever Why seen. Why are you one. looking at it? Let's take a little uh, look see. So, uh, oh, Santa, let me check my phone uh, right now. It's not a bad one either. It's a, yeah, no, it's actually yeah, a good cosplay. Right. Yeah. Well, did you just send us? I'm ready. Oh. Yeah, you know, I'm very excited for this next. Where did you send it? Who's been told that oh, it's in the in the the his entire life. The next category. Damn, man, no way. It's time. No way. Damn, wait. Does she even have the red eyes? <laughs> she has the red eyes. Oh my, tripping. Uh, no. no. They're more brown than anything else. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was looking at it in small screen mode. Do, do look at I know they're the same. Work, I just let you on how it lasts. They're even the more same. awkward than my jokes. It's Lock Pickle's new game. Hey, platformer. Some platformer games can be good. Like I like playing like Mario and shit. Wait, what was it? Platformer, like Mario and okay. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. No, this could be good. It could either be very good or easy <laughs> or bad. What is this? No, thank you. Not for me. This is like a uh, cool mask games. <laughs> this reminds me of that. You know that one. Uh, I probably wouldn't know. It, but you know that one free game on the Switch Monkey where you need like you need two players and you play as like one Joy-Con each, and yeah. they, they have like legs and you go on. It reminds me of that. Oh yeah. Reminds me of that. 
You know, remember the that one climbing uh, game. Do you, do you remember the multiplayer aspect of Octodad Dadley's Catch? Oh like, yeah, second of Octodad. Yeah, and the multiplayer was like actually so eids. Oh yeah. I can't even name that climbing game. It's uh, it's like, it's these basically like, like, body like, uh, fucking, oh, I'm having a stroke. Bodybuilders, these bodybuilders stack on top of each other, of games like and the controls are like so aids. Uh, Nothing comes to mind. Like so to see it had like a 3D remake, uh, like a couple of years ago. Right now, so you can see as soon as it is available. Now the next game is unlike anything that we've seen yet today. It's huh? from Biscuit Locker, and it's called the Catbox Paradox. Catbox Paradox. Hey, uh, this soundtrack's kind of like. No, the soundtrack is nice. Hmm. Oh, this game is like a, a rage enticing game. It just is. You can just see it. Yeah. I feel like that's. Like, it looks interesting, but I'm just gonna say. That's probably oh, this... the reason why this game's gonna, probably gonna be like somewhat big, because it's a rage enticing game. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, this game, I can imagine myself getting nuts at this game. It actually looks good, though. This soundtrack is just... <laughs> it's actually... I really like it. <laughs> I'm really cheering for that little guy. When you actually do watch the cat running around, you think about the Schrodinger paradox and how it's both alive and dead at the same time, much like my streaming career. But for this <laughs> one, we actually anyway. do get to hear more about the game's development. This is one of the most heartwarming stories that I actually got to hear leading into the game's expo. Asmin's going to be talking to both of the devs right now. Uh, they're named Mr. Ben and Mr. Bobs, and they actually put this game together at, right around the beginning of COVID as a, a way to kind of stay in touch i don't want to say too much about it i'll let them yo imagine if basement gang had a game expo of the game and hmm? you can imagine if basement gang had the game expo right now <laughs> who would be who would be the guy so if you want to check it out that like walks expo, around in the suit with the ipad and, and announces no, it would games. literally be you oh my god i'm just killing you <laughs> no, no no i'd be i'd be the asman gold i'd be what he's doing i'd be into i'd be talking to the people I think Ethan would be a good person to do that. Like, you stand there and say what games are being announced. But at the same time, I would also like to announce the games, because then I would be like Jeff Keighley. But at the same time, I want to be like Asmin Gold, though, because I like talking to the, you know, to the streamers. And uh, streamers, to the developers. Random JC. Yes. Random would be one of the guests. He'd be like one of the dudes that pop up in the white and makes a joke and then that's it. It's like, uh, either he like advertises his, uh, next album. Bro, so if he did that on a Basement Gang Game Expo, that would actually like, that is a cringe. Uh, <laughs> Random, if we ever become famous enough and that happens, don't do that. <laughs> oh, shoot us. I believe Biden? after that we're going to be getting into the simulation game. So no, no fighting. And see everything that Seer has to say about that. But when we do put our attention back on the platformers, we have a lot of surprises in the final game as well. There's no fighting game category, Ted. I think this is going to be more platformers. Very shortly. No, there is. With Asmongold. So, I can see Asmongold right now. Very excited to get his chance to actually talk about it. Asmin, what did you think about that game? I thought it was cool, man. Like, I gotta go back and watch the trailer so the cat goes black and white back and forth. I think that's pretty... Like, I've never seen something that does that before. And I think it's a it's an interesting game. I think that's one of the uh, one of the most... The, the coolest things about looking at some of these games is, like, taking a completely <coughs> new idea, a completely new perspective on something, and trying something that... Especially, I, I think one aspect of this that's really underplayed is the visual identity of Look it. Look at it, because it looks very appealing. It looks <laughs> huh? like something that you've, you know, you've never really seen something saying? like that before in the same way. Pro Stallers. Obviously, like the graphics. Uh, yeah. Again, it, yeah. Like, uh, I forgot who it was that mentioned this. Uh, it was Bruce talking the two streamers who stalled all the time talk to each other. I, I think I was doing oh, no, 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 no. The biggest stall in ODK would be uh, an And so, yeah, I, I oh, love these God. games. I think they're really Man cool. Managed to stall for an hour every day. That gives you 
a little bit of like kind of a uh, you know back and forth and the uh, the the co-op game jumping around and everything. You like that? Yeah, I mean that's one of those games yeah. where instantly you know you're gonna see. I really wanted to be a fighting game category. Like that's you sad. You even see the people who you know as much as they try, they're not they, they stream, but they're not necessarily good. OTK, at you know, you did it next year. I am currently yeah. better than him. Yeah. category. Well, well, it's not a huge deal. Next time. There is always next time. Ted, I don't think it's time. Just got word that the interview is ready. Asmin, let's actually learn about the game. All right. Yeah, well, my earphones. Yeah, look at that stalling. So, uh, thank you all very much, uh, Mr. Ben and Mr. Bob. <laughs> it's the Discord. <laughs> it's the Discord blur. Uh, it is, yeah. Story of how you became, uh, you know, became friends, and uh, when you guys started making games together. So, how did it all happen? Ah, oh, hi. Uh, yeah, we uh, oh, no. making games when we were children. Um, what actually is the school, that microphone? We made games on the on the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. Is he using uh, like his like? I don't know if he's on a PC or laptop, but is he using well. like his regular microphone so that's built time, into yeah. the thing? Yeah. <laughs> it sounds <laughs> like it. Uh, and then uh, uh, it was a brief hiatus of um, thirty years, I think, and then uh, we thought we'd have a go again. Um, Everyone in that clip we, is balding. Uh, uh, <laughs> Every single one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, oh my god. That is oh, crazy. Is so, 30 years y'all went on hiatus, came back, you make this game, it's on the expo and everything. That is, that that's that's a cool story. I like that a lot. What's the game about? It's like the cat, like, it changes colors? How's yeah, it absolutely. work? Changes so, color? Yeah, absolutely. Bye. So, as you mentioned, it's based on this um, showing his cat paradox about a cat being both simultaneously dead or alive, and we've sort of symbolized that with the black and white colors. Uh, so during the game, you can switch um, using the, the button just to switch between the black cat and the white cat. And as a black cat, you can't touch anything that's white. And as a white cat, you can't touch anything that's black. Although that's quite a, a simple mechanic overall, we've really had fun trying to see sort of where that idea can take us. And, uh, you know, we've hopefully come up with a- Wait, that actually makes the game a little bit more, like, kind of annoying. <laughs> that could um, like- lots of Wait, did you know, well. wait, did you not know from the trailer that Black can touch white and white can touch black. Oh like, like, uh, no, my mind went where, blank. Like, really? It's like, it's it's that's why the cat kept switching, bro. And then whenever you actually <laughs> start playing the game, you just Ooh. get your ass beat. And so I'm, I'm pretty excited to see that, absolutely. And what really was your uh, your goal with making this game? Uh, really just have a, a bit of fun and challenge yourself. A Discord lag? Sort of make something no. like we wanted to make when we were kids. And in that, in that kind of uh, era. Um, but obviously we couldn't. What is happening? And nowadays it's, it's, it's so much easier. Uh, it's so much better. Oh, JC is live. That's so yeah, really just, uh, just, just to have a bit of and fun. PvP you know, we legacy. We got a lot of positive feedback from playtesters um, and, and players. And then we just thought, well, we should, we should put it out there. That is honestly like for me personally, I think that's really cool because whenever I was a kid, I did like animation and other types of stuff like that. Yeah, and it's like back then the technology you had was just like so much worse. So like going back and seeing what people are capable of doing. Back now, in my day, we only had like, Super Mario Bros. Kind of on the SNES. Finishing the unfinished is really awesome. So thank you guys so much. And How old is Asbin? Available right now on Steam. Is that right? He's in his thirties. Awesome. Okay, so okay, he's not, yeah. not too old. So then. if anybody wants to go and play uh, Catbox Paradox, you can go ahead and do that right now on Steam. Thank you very much, Mr. Bob and uh, Mr. Ben. I appreciate it, and uh, good luck with the uh, future of your game. Mr. Thanks, Bob's man. and Mr. Ben. What a name. What a duo. What a duo, man, indeed. Like, I think that is, like... I, I, I think that's really cool. Like me, me and a, a two of my friends, whenever we were in, uh, you know, like on summer vacation, we made these like. Yo, he he even together. talks like the way and I talk sometimes. I sometimes I know, when I'm trying to doll or when I'm making shit out of the top of my head, I just say, you know, you know, you know, you know. I say, you know, a lot. After so many years, is just uh, you know, very personal for me. You know? yeah. yeah, no, it's a great thing to see, and also when you start to look at the mechanics of it as well, that simple mechanic has a lot of potential to really just change how the entire entire game does work but we have one more game here in okay, our one more platform, platform, one more platform. we are going to be talking about and for this one i don't know what else to say besides the fact that my excitement is almost as huge as its creator's ego this one is made oh, by this kiff and it's called hey, what? unrooted huh it's made by this kiff what huh wait hold on that, that mixed me up a minute hold on yeah miss kiff made this
Oh, this is gonna be, um... Oh, I know what this I, um... I remember... This game's gonna be so fuck. This was, this was one game, it was like a golf one. And it, you were like a golf ball. Oh, so... And you get oh. to the final point. But you keep falling off and go back to the start. No, so it's just like, uh, the other one with the dude in the pot, but... It's a golf ball question. Pretty much, yeah. Everything with this game, you can follow him on Twitter right now at Unrooted Game, and we're gonna get to talk to the developer of the game just a little bit more, Ms. Kip. He's sitting with Asmin and Emeru right now. Let's hear about Unrooted. Oh, Ms. Kip. Yeah, uh, he awesome. definitely has made the game. The game. He's, got, it's obviously, the he's behind it, but I've been. Uh, I'm actually kind of nervous about this because I know people have been asking about this game. I've gotten hundreds of Reddit posts. As for, is like that, that really what you're gonna look like when I'm shouting out my game? Oh no no! no Reddit. Oh my God. <laughs> anyway, anyway, back to what I was saying. So a lot of people have been asking about this game, and I'm super excited to finally <laughs> talk about it. Uh, basically, how it happened is I was at an airport and I was playing platformers. I've been playing platformers pretty much every day for the past few years. I love Jump King. I love Oh, Jump uh, King so other platformers. annoying. Jump King is really good. And uh yeah. I always wanted to be able to make one of these games. I always wanted to create one and I thought the best way to do it was with my community. But it wasn't. Because what <laughs> happened was I hired a bunch of people for my from my community and they all lied about what their resumes were and they actually couldn't do anything. Oh yeah, I I I I've done that before. <laughs> yeah. So I had to rehire a bunch of people, and I was able to hire an amazing team from my community still. Uh, we have some crowd favorites, this girl named Courtney, she's in my chat right now, and we have Coaster Music as well, uh, who made a lot of the music in the game. And it's just been a crazy project oh, for the past know. two years. I never knew how expensive making a game really was. So speaking oh, of expensive, uh, how many expensive. microtransactions are you going to have in a game? Well, I was getting to that. So right now, you know, for expensive game, we will have NFTs available right after this. Okay. So uh, if you guys want to follow off. the Unrooted Twitter, it is Unrooted Game on Twitter, I believe. But yeah, it's just a passion project that we've been working on. The artwork is fantastic. So yeah, anyway, so, guys. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I think no way. Cat game? Yeah, the, I like the cat game too. Like, yeah, cool honestly, platformer I, I think it was like a really cool, like, back and forth where you could go in the black and white, and it was like life and death. Continues and talking about the cat game. It was a really, really new idea that just completely changed everything. Yeah, I like the I, zero gravity <laughs> stuff on the platforms. Yeah, like, yeah, you cool. go up in the air and you fly around. I mean, Miz, the cat box game was good, right? Yeah. Yeah, the cat cat box game was very good. I like the yeah. devs; they're very nice. Uh, my devs are actually great too. But the cat game is fantastic. <laughs> I love it. Uh, uh, I think Jessica loves this. What is one. this? What it's is happening? It's very creative, and the devs working together. It's, it's a very nice story. It's a very nice story. I, I certainly like it a lot. And all right, okay, no memes. That's the first time I really saw the trailer. It actually looks pretty good, dude. You right? Yeah, it looks yeah, awesome. It actually looks good. So like, yeah. we actually copied uh, Ori in the Blind Forest because that game sold really well. That's good because you just do something that somebody else does. Yeah. So it's like your stream. Exactly. You're talking to me. <laughs> I know you're going to react to this when you go home. <laughs> no, of course I will. <laughs> that, that is wow. true. That, was a good that is so that was true. Really funny there. Yeah, true. True myself. Exactly. Oh. Yeah, chat, for any of these games that you guys see right now, you can go go, Discord, just wants to watch the court case. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead over there. there is you see how many views he was getting? You can vote for all the games. A lot. Like he was getting said, like 200k every stream. It was insane. And second place gets 20,000, right? Yep, and they both get a, uh, a Razer PC that's got Intel inside of it, too. Intel stuff is powered by Intel. Uh, I, so? I think that's a lot, especially, <laughs> I mean, PC is getting a whole gaming PC now, especially, I don't know really how bad the clip shortage is now. But it's over a thousand bucks. That's a lot of money. So for people that want to develop a game and actually render it and make it work the way they want, uh, I think this is a tremendous bonus for them because you got to keep in mind, like for every massive game developer that are making millions of dollars because they've got. Well, so they all giving away 50k, but yeah, between three people. I'm not people. thinking about anybody yeah. in particular, but um, any of that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, so let's hope one of the games we really want, out there trying like to like generally, like, like, generally like we would generally buy wins, but then a game that. Really we, we feel like should also need it. Happen. So I, I'm, I'm I really want that card game. I, I can't cool. lie. And I'm well, I don't think it needs money. I actually think uh, it. I, I, yeah, I, so I think it looks good the way it is. I think these games are looking very good right now. And I also want to say thank you to chat. Uh, we are watching. Don't worry. Nick's refreshing live stream fails as we speak. 
we are seeing what you guys are saying, and the support <laughs> is absolutely unreal. Thank you guys so much for being kind to every game and everybody on this uh, stream. It is. Fantastic. Yeah, don't be like Summer Game Fast and say every game is trash and shit. <laughs> so it comes out winter 2022 okay. right now. There's an NFT uh, available. Uh, all right, so you oh my god, indie developer right game. Now, it's so better than Summer Game Fast. Do <laughs> uh, they need to put in their credit card now or is that later? Uh, you can put it in later. It's fine. Okay. Uh, that's don't great. worry about so. it. <laughs> Okay, yeah, just direct to you. Yeah, if yeah, that's okay with you. All right, that makes sense. Well, my ear is so itchy, what the frick happened? <laughs> Emmy, how excited on a scale of 1 to 10 are you to play Mizkif's game? Uh, like a 3. No, like a 10. It looks sick. Wow, a 10? <laughs> oh my god. Wow, a 10 after so she said 3? Wow. I was fine with the 3. I was honestly okay with that. What? Just play the game. That's all I care about. Oh, really? Yeah, it's fine. I'm sorry. It's whatever. Anyway, so yeah, um, thank you guys very much. I appreciate it. And we're going to move on to our next section. But again, guys, I want to remind you just Keep one my hat. last like time. Sitting on me with. Please make sure to vote in the Discord for the games that you like the most. There's $50,000 on the line here. On yes. top of two PCs pow made by Razer, powered by Intel. <laughs> so we're going to go on over to Rich and oh, continue well, the show. Well, the music. Uh, actually, when Mizkip was talking... Wait, did this cut? Wait, well, wait, 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 hold on. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it? No, they, no, 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 they probably meant that. Like, yeah, you know, they probably meant that. When Miss Kip was talking. <laughs> they meant that because it was rich. Oh my god, it's a liquid cooler. I mean, it looks clean, it, but. But I, I quite like the, uh. I forgot what the other one, the one's, one's by, but it's got like, you can see the, the bird that actually goes in the CPU, it has a little screen, and it looks really cool, and you can put whatever you want on it. Wait, there's one thing I'm a bit confused about. I don't really do yeah. like, Mux Reshocks and these things. Why do people get water PCs? Like, PCs that literally have water I in them? I think it, no, it's not actually water. It's like a special kind of water. It's like, a, it's not water, it's like a liquid, um, that like, Let's say it spills on your PC, it's not gonna break. It's not actually water. If that makes sense. Yeah, no, no, it makes sense. Um, oh, I think it, it's, uh, it's either Lux, uh, or it also I want to give the also biggest do, shout do, out to Razor right now. Them running that ad was the only way that we could get Mizkif to stop talking. But we got a brand new category coming up. It's <laughs> none other than one of OTK's favorites. Where's that pet here? I have left. Yeah, I've been left out. I've been casted to the side like some. Boom. Good, Lewis. No, Lewis, you know what? Good. You sit in the corner, Lewis, and you cry. We have a whole bunch of Wait, games. The reason why me, Monkey, and Ted are here is because we're Ted was the one that even told me about this event. I didn't know this event was happening until Ted told me. And Ted seems to be pretty hyped about it. See, he does. Does nothing but play indie games. He's an indie game portion. And I like some indie games as well. So, of course, it's natural for me and Ted to collab on this. What is this? No. Wait, uh, no, this game could actually be fun. I knocked these two type of games out of really fun. Now, Monkey's also here because it's Monkey. <laughs> I here. was also I was also late. Yeah, he was also, yeah, Ted was also late. I didn't think he was actually going to come, so it was only going to be me and Monkey. But then I got spammed by Ted, so, yes. Fuck you, Lewis. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Mini Game Madness? That's the basic ass name, though. I'm gonna there is an early demo available for the game right now, so if you want to check it out, you can play with a few other That looks like one of them games, games where your IP gets leaked. Play in chat. <laughs> <laughs> actually yeah, true. You can add that to your Steam wish list, so you what is this? Anything. Now, you, you missed it. Oh you my god! Look, hi god, look at the thing I put in your shop. The game is called... Yeah, I know, I see the shop. No, look, look at the emote. Yeah, no, I see the emote. But look, like, click, like, hover over it and look at it, like, what it actually looks like, and look who it is. Wait a minute. Is that, yeah. is that, is that soil? <laughs> what the right, it's a, I don't think it's soil, but it's, like, someone who looks exactly like, like him. But. Oh, did you? Oh, by the way, you, you, <laughs> you missed it. You missed it, Lewis. <laughs> They were showing some good action games. They were, they were showing, showing some they good some ass. Really good games. They, were, they showed Neo Dash, a cool ass racing game. They showed Otto, 
which is an amazing art art looks. oh oh it looks so good it's like an autistic uh like action top down like uh i don't want to say fighting gym because it's not really it's not fighting but you know what i mean there's action in it right it's an action gym. it looks very nice and what else did they show they also showed the uh the knights of the deep the fighting game that's like crabs smash bros yeah crabs huh. oh my god it's admin yeah. <laughs> 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 well it actually is Asmund's in this game, and a little bit more. Lee, you're the one beside Asmund as well, he's crushed. Did they add no way. I did not see that when we watched the trailers. <laughs> so, we watched these trailers before. It's new. It's definitely new. And yeah, church sure has changed since <laughs> last time I went. I don't, I don't remember the upside down crosses and satanic rituals. It's a lot, looks a lot more fun. <laughs> looks pretty fun to me, and if you guys want to make sure that you don't miss any of that fun, you can add it to your Steam oh. wishlist right now for when the game is released. I didn't have to and miss let's take it. Take a look at the next one. This kind of one is coming from Fire. What do you games. mean? Let's take a look. Lewis, your you fault for not yeah. tuning into the stream yeah. earlier. Yes. No, I know you probably mean, but I, you probably mean if I actually invited you, you'd be here for the entire thing. Why did you leave anyways? You could have just chilled in the stream, you know, like any good person would do. <laughs> Chill on what the street. Oh, you know what this reminds me of? You know that cooking game? It's a, yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's a four player game. Yeah, it's like that cooking game. I forget what it's called. High, high, high risk, spaceship recovery. Mitch Campbell add brick. Okay, Lewis. Oh, you get sucked off. <laughs> Are you dead? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, damn. Nah, this is not a game for me, though. I wouldn't get this. Among Us, does he? I think, I think action so far is the best category. Action or strategy? Oh no, that's for you, Ted. Screw you in your strategy opinion. Uh, fuck you. Oh, I could actually talk Lewis. about that one all day. Very excited yep. to see more You're if you are. Be sure to add it to your wish list so you don't miss anything. But there is it. also a download that is available for play. I was making a joke at the start, Ted, about how uh, before yourself, any games are announced, Toil just walks in and goes, I'm a member of OTK. Nah, he's stuck in Luton. Sunny Luton. <laughs> cringe for play, Lewis. Cringe for play. A known or oh, a noun? Once again, a game not for me. Bro, you've seen one fucking scene. No, you can you can tell from that one scene. That's what you said about uh, another game, the crab game. Yeah, I know. Yeah, no, this game is not for me. I no. Okay, yeah. Uh... If I want to play, they, they no, this could be a good game, but they need that like thirty k. Yes. So, like, in for better graphics. Because I don't mean it sound rude here, but if I wanted to play a game like this, I'd just hop on the Ox if I really falls. No, no, you'd hop on Frost. Ooh. This looks very similar to the uh, game uh, uh, Chivalry. Chival Only that's more fighting and not the. Uh, this. Building. Right, so I'm guessing you build your own like castle or whatever, and then you raid. Yep. I don't think there's anything else to it. I'm not sure if McConnell's watching right now, but that game seems right up his alley. Bro, I'm, ex I, I I'm really that. excited about that game. That game looks really cool. It yeah. really like, does. It, it looks really cool. I guarantee you, whenever that comes out, me and McConnell are going to be building a castle together in that game. Oh my god. Plus, it's and we get to talk oh. to these guys, right? Oh, are you right right now? Right now? Ooh, boy, I'm ready. Okay, all right, let's go. I'm freaking all right. right Jesse, now. Jesse, thank you very much for coming on and talking about the game Renown. I'm going to be honest, no man. No problem. It looks fucking awesome. So, 
Really? Guys, uh, Rust came out and it came out a while ago. What? But it's had like a massive. Well, I guess anyone. Everybody's been uh been playing Rust nowadays. What what made you want to do basically uh medieval Rust? Well, I mean, it's been oh, it started probably eight years ago. I mean, yeah. I went to RMIT, which is a school in Melbourne. Okay. And I met Charlie, who is uh the other co-founder of RDBK Studios. And it was actually the first Mobius game announced yet? Uh, uh, no, by an indie, Rusty. by an indie team, I don't and think so. It just sounded like the best definitely game not, ever. definitely not. Played it at night until the There's early hours in the morning, and from that moment, that game was just for me the best experience so far. Um, and also at the same I, time, I actually am so sad. There's no fighting, fighting category. And in the same sort of vein, the um. What's next after this one? Shoot us. So intuitive, and shooters. as we played, both and then after shooters, I can't remember what it was. Years. We just kept talking about this medieval survival that, you know, raiding with trebuchets and battering rams and incorporating a directional based combat system that it just eventually was. Well, I think they should get the 20k. Not make it. I'm oh, definitely not going to be playing that game, but I can, I, I can see a lot of people who want to play. This game with the right team. money could be really, really good. Not for me, though. I don't like games like Lost. No, yeah, but uh, you, you uh, know what I mean now. Yeah. It's I mean, the quality and the All right, speed. I'm gonna sec. Good. I'm gonna get uh, uh, a drink. When, when's it okay, gonna okay. come out, okay, so, so Mookie, it seems it's me and you now. I guess from now to release, oh yeah. Uh, Rick, tell the channel, funny, funny. Uh, the f uh, funny, funny. Uh, funny, funny. Uh, so very, very this is so sudden. I don't think I can do a funny, funny. Oh, in a way. Okay, okay. I'll try to do a funny, funny. I'll try to do a funny, funny. After that, maybe a month or two Penis. past that point. Oh, I said the word. I <laughs> said, said the funny word. Survival systems into a short sort of game mode. Keyblade. We're gonna give that to our back. Why is that my Keyblade? Uh, to to solidify those. Why is that my Keyblade? Basically, like a, a small game huh? where two teams fight. The Keyblade in your room. I know. Yeah, I know. Why are you talking about the Keyblade? Because the, the Keyblade is. All the systems. Uh, yeah, it is a Keyblade. Place. Girls will look at that and they'll go, oh my god, he has a keyboard. Oh my god. And you're gonna go, yep, ladies, come get it. And they're gonna run up to the keyboard and they're gonna get a hold of us. And then you're gonna smack him across the face. You're gonna be like, no touching my keyboard, you little bitches. I'm just trying to the keyboard. You have to take the keyboard off them and fucking banish them to the dark realm. Yeah. I love that they mention, get them out of there. The holy keyboard. To be this huge battle God, I'm cringe. We are cringe. Cool, Why are you sure streaming? People will make some servers where that's possible. Yeah. But for us, it was actually like the a core, like community, like a little close knit clan where you're allying with people around you, fighting over hot spots of resources. It's that sort of like social connections between smaller groups, which we want to capitalize on for sure. So you have like those small, like what are you thinking, like eight man teams, something like that, four to eight man teams. Exactly, literally, that's exactly what we're balancing to. And then we're going to be hopefully doing our weekly wipe cycles. We might go to bi weekly, but we think for the replayability, a week works quite well. Okay, so it's, it's going to be like it, it, you're going back and forth, you're building up, you're getting busted back down, you do it all over again. Is that basically exactly? It? Okay, exactly. yeah, I'm, I'm excited. So, uh, June, what was it, 13th? Is that what you said? That's correct. So, Steam Next Fest. Okay. Uh, all, uh, free to play for anyone for about a week. So we yeah, and also join our Discord and let us know what you think because we really need that feedback. Um, and yeah, we just love to know your thoughts, honestly. Honestly, man, I'm really excited to see this game. So thank you so much for coming on. Thank you so much for sharing it. No problem. I'm really excited. Thank you to so see much. Gonna go. Me too. Me too. Thanks. <laughs> thank you. Absolutely. And guys, again, Renown, you guys can uh, put it on your wish list now for Steam. But uh, we've got two very well-renowned uh, gamers here. We have S Fan TV and we have. Jay Schlatt on to talk Jay about Jay Schlatt. Oh my god, think? guys, Thank it's Jay so Schlatt. Much, Hold on one second. <sighs> what is he doing? Yeah, it looks good. Shroud, you look so good right now, man. Incredibly handsome. And look, Asmund, I mean, look, you see you see a lot of these game genres that go back in time. This is one with renown. I really feel like this mm -hmm. is the perfect hmm. fit for it. Yeah, no, 100%. I, I think, uh, I mean, Asmin, you, you and I were cut from the same cloth. We yeah, like yeah. knights, armor, yeah. big frickin' swords. Uh, I, I think Renown looks really, really exciting. You know, it's, it's just one of those games. I, I'm so excited. Like, I remember I first started playing Rust whenever they had that first uh, server that we made yeah, on yeah. Twitch with everybody on it. 
And like, I had such a good time. I would steal everybody's horse on that server. It was yeah. great. It was one of my favorite things to do. I uh, would take a day off a of stream just so I could run around and hide under somebody's base and break it down. But like this, <laughs> it's like especially, <laughs> no, really, that's what I did. No, uh, I, I, would, I would steal those things, I, I'd run them back to my stable. I remember, I, I actually, I was playing, I would log in, and I think the first time I encountered your, your stable, yeah. I was just running around like off the side of a beach or something, and I see this big house. And I and I open it and there's just horses lined up and everybody's getting their horses stolen. They have no idea where they're going. Mm -hmm. And it's just, Asmin literally has like 20 horses sitting in this stable and just you're a horse thief. I mean, you were collecting mounts even in Rust. And oh, in a way. Those horses, man. Uh, I never actually well, watched the like, like would, OTK Rust offense. I had to build a happened a while team. back. Because we oh, it's pretty funny out here. Just to feed all the horses. I've seen, I've seen a couple of clips. Oh, wow. Yeah, like that. We actually we turned this into an industry. So I'm really curious. To what <laughs> I know Jack Subject is in there. This is going to be like I look at the graphics. I look at the way the game plays, and it's like I mean I see chopping down trees. Yeah. I'm thinking of you know just that that new world late night experience sitting in the dark, and so I just am so so excited to see. Oh, this so game. I'm, oh, so you watched it then, Lewis? I haven't actually like, seen uh, it. Like from start so to finish, ones. never Which seen it. I've only seen like like. Funny moment clips, you know, those type of things. In space. I mean, that's, that's the yeah, yeah. Hello, Ted. Yeah. Well, I think, I think the big thing, too, is... Uh, back, we were talking about the OTK bust event guys, thing. That happened a while back. You know, and... Yeah. and because Asmin, Asmin was talking about the bust event that happened a while back. The OTK games, one. And, uh, even when we were going through the trailers... Remember? We were like, dude, we gotta play this one. We gotta the big one you were trying to get me into? You were showing me clips of it? really, but you mentioned Fueled Up, Minigame Madness, Matriarch. I mean, you name it. I was OTK. Even, unfortunately, some things that we didn't even get to show in the expo. Uh, there were just oh. so many good well, submissions. Well, how am I supposed we to know, Dad? We had to narrow it down for the sake of the show. I mean, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, you guys see, we've got a lot of the... Really I just know a lot of OTK here. members and were there. I have to say, I like Fueled Up, oh, too. Oh, they, well. they're like, all it there. It was a lot like the... Uh, and especially the OTK game night. Like, I am when so excited. The guy you guys playing gang beef. Delayed by, like, two <laughs> minutes in the morning. I'm tired of this, <laughs> man. Like, no what's going on? I, I want to play gang beef. So far, I'd wanted to play gang beef every week. Because I basically just get to go harass Asmin, which is one of my favorite pastimes. I literally throw me off the edge. Like, <laughs> but this defense is lasting longer than I thought. Yeah. I think it'd be over we in half an hour. Game night in real life. Yeah. Had everyone in like Antarctica. Yeah, and just pushing each other off cliffs. Yeah, and exactly. Yeah, why not? What could go wrong? Yeah. yeah. No, I, mean, I, I personally, I'd love to play mini game Madness with Ludwig. Ludwig, you down, man? Oh my God. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Yeah. Yeah. No thanks, man. No. We'll let you know. Yeah. I, I don't know. I'm. I'm. I'm I say, like, I am way. so excited about this renowned game. I think that this type of survival game, especially like team based survival games, where you know, it's like PvP. Do you want to hear how much of a potion I am, Ted? I am just how much so, of it, so, you know, so, so I know who Ludwig is, right? Obviously, because I've seen like him do crossovers with Jackson the guy and stuff. Like, uh, right? They've yeah, done videos. But when I heard his name for the first time, I had no idea what it was. Like, I just heard Ludwig. Like, there was no context of anything. It was just like, oh, hey, have you seen Ludwig? My brain instantly thought of Ludwig, the Mario character. One of Bowser's children. Ludwig. I was like, are you t I was like, are you talking to me? Are you like, are you like trying to talk about Ludwig from Mario? What are you saying to me, bro? And then he's like, no, the streamer. And I was like, there's a streamer called Ludwig? I was so confused. Because... You have people that, that that's just what they do. They just like going fresh and they like just from you the mean sleeping for three hours. Or yeah. we'll get your like, oh, lazy ass up, man. I didn't do well on the last wipe, and these are all my excuses. These are all my reasons. But this yeah. time, this time, oh, it's gonna be different. This yeah, time, yeah. guys. I'm they gonna just, they're in the cycle, back. dude. They're in the cycle. Oh, I'm gonna get all the sniper rifles this time. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> but yeah, guys, listen. The shooter games might be okay. Again, they might be pretty good games, sir. Go to the Discord. OTK is the best one so far. There is fifty thousand dollars in grants, mm. not pledged but that. grants. That's going to be going out to these what? different developers. Is it action is the best category? Yeah. The winners. So make sure to do that. Mm -hmm. OTK Discord, and on top of that, each one of the prizes yeah, comes yeah, with a Razer PC so. that's powered by Intel. Yeah, also you had. We'll throw it back over to Rich, and we'll start uh, going to the next section. Yeah. Uh, the crap we are game. going to do just that. Now, we've never done this before at an OTK Games Expo, but this category is actually dedicated to a pioneer, one of my personal heroes, and a man who, well, a very brave man, who has managed to Proud. touch all of Definitely. us and inspire all of us. A man with beautiful aim and uh, an even more beautiful smile. This category is Shroud. dedicated to Shroud. Shroud, Shroud, Bro. let's take a look oh, at Shooters. What a lovely guy. I love Shroud. Shooting category. Let's go.
<laughs> I like how Ted knows every streamer. He's so sad. Game. It's made by multiple hmm. games, and it's how do you not know Shroud is there? I don't. Squad. I don't watch Twitch that much. <laughs> how do you not know who Shroud is, nah? That name doesn't sound familiar to me. I might know them by face, but name? No, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. If you show me a picture of him, there's a chance I might know. Yeah. Wait, oh, you sent me one, huh? You know what this game looks like, Ted? What? The, uh, it, art style wise, like the pixels, it looks like classic Doom. You know, like, this... you know, classic Doom. That or the Wolfenstein games. I feel like you showed me clips of him before. 100%, you showed me something. Oh, I think I remember that. What? Isn't he the guy that did that, like, he jumped off his chair and he, like, did the cracky neck thing? Well, then, no. I don't know who that is. But we're going to take a look at the next game. This one's from Dids, and it's called Project Sparrow. Project Sparrow? Oh. Oh, this is a good game. But you've played this? It's already out, yeah. <laughs> I've not played it, but it's really good. Not played it, but it's really good. So I'm assuming you've seen videos then? I've, I've seen streams. It's pretty good, yeah. Mm. Oh, look at that headshot! Oh, these, these snipes are unreal! Let's take them out. Okay, those skins are pretty cool. Those are pretty nice skins. New map, oh my god, new map! What game I don't even know? <laughs> ah. Bro, this game looks very competitive. I feel like I would be very competitive playing this. It is a very competitive game. You can do 1v1s as well, so it's quite fun. I wouldn't be good at this game though. I, I can tell by looking at it, I would not be good at this game. I'd be pretty, I'd be, okay at it. I'd be trash. I, I've i lost my step in shooter games. Like I used to be really good at the Call of Duty games, but I lost my, I lost my skill with them. Two very different games right now to kick off the shooters, but they do have one thing in common. You can play both of them Probably because right I've gained so my skill in fighting games now. When you actually look at Faction games. Police Squad, you can play the early demo. You can download that right now on Steam. But for Project Sparrow, you can download the entire game. So if you want to check them both out, you can head over to Steam and play them both today. But we're already starting to see shooters are going to have a pretty large variety. A lot of things falling under this umbrella. We got two more games to check out, but we're going to take a deep dive on Project Sparrow. Asmin, uh, how are you liking Lee Ted Lewis on right now for an interview? Okay, I mean, I I'm going to be honest, guys. Like, I feel what? like this is the kind of game that I would get my ass. Say that loud and bored. Like, what do you say? It's, it's like you have to be uh, so to precise Project with Shire the shots. Day. No, I'm talking about I'm League. Really what do you what do you think of League? Kind of like, Lewis wants to know. Where do you really oh. where did this game really come from? That's alright. I mean, I don't really play too much of it. And only the tutorial, but making yeah, he's only done the tutorial. Yeah, so uh, about five years ago, I just really wanted to make. Well, there was no games that were had bows and arrows or anything like that, so I just wanted to make a shooter game that had bows. Just no, he can. He can turn back because so he hasn't had an actual problem game, around like, yet. I, there's like customizing your arrows and your bow. Play it and like, not what's like the kind it. Of stuff that you can do? Are there special? And there's also that. Like, what, what's what, what's really on the table here? <clears throat> yeah. So at the start of every round, there's you can be like a smooth monkey and be addicted to it for a day, but then say it's okay. Pick an arrow type. <laughs> so you've got like uh, fire arrows, shadow arrows, and smoke. Monkey's arrows. capping. So you can like shadow arrow, TP, shoot your enemy from behind. You've got uh, utility section as well that you can pick from, so you can. Choose if you want a smoke bomb or a satchel or a throwing knife. Just uh, pretty much help your playstyle rather than. Asman Gold has said some pretty funny things so in this answer kind of bar. A, just a game. Some pretty good things. Yeah, I mean, that's been a miscue for the of game, and he just seems like it's like so, so, so precise and so fast. I can't even imagine like other abilities. So you can teleport around and like what what, the, what does a fire arrow do? Does it kind of just like shut down a certain area on the map or what? 
Yeah, so you just fire a fire arrow, you just swap to it with your arrow type, and then wherever it hits, it makes a fire, like AoE. Okay. So if you've got someone who's 3 ping you and they won't move out of cover, you just yeah. fire arrow, they have to move, and then I you can see. shoot them. Is yeah. there a uh, <laughs> is there a team version of this? Like, I, I think a lot of these were 1v1. Can you do with the teams as well? Yeah, so there's 1v1s, 2v2s, 3v3s. You can warm up in death matches as well. There's custom games and spectator mode as well. So. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is the kind of game that- I got another spectating. If you're a fan of FPS and just like the finite, or not finite, but like the the fickle nature of like moving around and being super precise, this is a game for people that are aficionados of that, people that really like that kind of gameplay. Yeah, uh, unironically, it was never intended, but the movement in the game yeah. is uh, just been getting harder and harder, and it's really hard to master the movement in Project Sparrow now. Okay. But, uh, yeah, uh, through playtesting, uh, we just kept adding, we just kept adding new stuff, wall bouncing, and then dashes, and then being able to dash in the air, oh. and then it's just. It's really fluid. They really revealed their best games at the yeah, beginning. I, I, I no can way. see that. I think it's absolutely one of those games that no just way. becomes harder and harder to play the longer that you play it. So I, I want to say thank you so much for coming on. And uh, again, uh, Project Sparrow is available now on Steam. <laughs> is that right? Let's see the first train. Yeah. 20% off. There you the first go. 20 minutes thank was you awesome. Thank you very much for on talking about your game. And good luck on development. I should fuck the Thank you very much for having me. Cheers, guys. I, uh, I'm gonna be honest, like, if I ever play that game, I cannot wait for, like, my, the, the, like, seven people that I have that are under 18 that watch my stream to just, like, instantly kill me in it. Yeah. Like, I, I, I just, yeah. We're very similar. We both like um, playing shooters, but we're both terrible at them. Yeah. You agree? Say so what? Never mind. We got two more games left anyway. in the shooter ca category. Let's jump right uh, yeah. in. This one comes from Two Star Absolutely. Games, and this one's a little bit spooky. It's called Choo Choo Charles. Choo Choo Charles. Interesting name, and it's spooky. Oh god, it's really spooky. Oh, it's this game! I remember this game! Oh. This game was announced, like what, last year? It was announced so long ago. Hey, what fucking Thomas Horror game is that? Have you not seen this, Bobby? It no. was like announced last year on the IGN channel. Uh, the trailer was shown. It, uh, actually, no, I think it was more a teaser. But it was show. It was. It looks. It, at the time, I was like, "Oh, this game sucks," but it's pretty funny looking. I still have that sort of opinion. It looks funny looking, but I'm never gonna touch it. Well, this game—I didn't expect this game to be shown here. This is not. Fuck this game. I'm just gonna say it. Why? Fuck it. I don't like horror games. This is not even that scary. Oh, but no. You tell me you're just chilling. You look behind you, and you've got three more fucking chasing you. Yeah. Yeah. You see what I mean? Not, you see that? It's not that scary. Compared compared to what I've played in horror games. Yeah, that is not that, that scary. A little bit scary, but uh, have you played horror games before? Just that? a little bit more, but yeah. we have one more game uh, to look Captain, at. you probably only played five minutes. Oh, this no, one's coming from Anvil Game Studios. It's called Hold. I've played some of the scariest games out there. Yeah, what is this? Was it Nations of War? Oh, I think I know what this game is. Oh. Yeah, I might know this what the game is too. Oh. oh, this is a good game. XQC plays this. I want to sing. Yes. Oh, is this the game? Oh, this is the one Soil plays. Yeah, yeah. I think we're saying this is a Soil like clap, isn't it? <laughs> You're nah. like shit talking. He popped his head out. He gets sniped. Yeah, this is a good game. <laughs> I beg this clip here. Play. I hope it's there. Please, I want. Isn't it on Ewob's thing? Wasn't it an Ewob yeah, thing? Yeah. Yeah. In it? Why is that clip there? Please, I need to see. E <laughs> I need to see Soil just get sniped. It's such a funny clip. It's so good. 
Oh, that's actually C. Please. No, surely. No! Oh. Not sure if you caught that, but yeah. that was X Magician in the trailer. Pretty poggers. He might not know who <laughs> I'm, I'm a very big fan. I consider myself a juicer. If you guys do want to check out Hold Fast Nations at War, you can check it out right now on Steam. We're going to be talking a little bit more about it and everything that they are bringing to the game right now. Hey, honestly, shooters might be the, be the best. Uh... I've, wa I've watched the no. this game, it keeps going at like, this rate. No, how is it? What do you mean? Oh my god. No, I if it keeps it. going so, at yeah, this rate. Actually, you know what? This is the kind like, of game if, I if might try. Well, this is the like best it gets. Literally, Ted, all the games I've shown so far are okay. How many people are in the game and everything? No. No. Because that horror game, I'm not playing. It looks funny, but I'm not playing. That bow and arrow one, not going near. Uh, and well, then and, that uh, game, this game is that game is actually okay. That game's funny because it has proximity chat and it's a funny game. That's the only good shooting game. But I already knew about that. That's not a new thing. I want new things, Ted. Action is still the best category. And you can't tell me otherwise. Promoting player to player interaction. I mean, we support over 150 players per server in the game. And that's all in one server, you know, like it's bloody madness, so to speak. And uh, the third, of course, is placing community at the forefront, you know, like we truly believe that um, us being the creators, while uh, us being the creators, while the community is the creators. Yeah, um, I, I, I think that's really cool. I, I especially like the large scale of it, because I think that that's what really captures the essence of the, um, I, I mean, really just kind of the frenetic nature of of a war battle right i mean like it's not Indeed. something where everybody's just on you know even sides and they're shooting at each other you know there's crazy shit happening things blowing up nukes just appearing right in front of people it's uh <laughs> it's, it's pretty wild yeah, yeah, yeah. so the drugs, game indeed. the game's already out yeah, yeah the game's already out is, where do you see things going from here so um, um of course like with hold fast we have a lot more planned right i'm uh we have other titles in the making, if that's something that you are uh, also interested in, you know, if you've been following our studio, of course. But uh, we plan on continuing to support Hold Fast. Well, I so badly want to see that, that's why I can the show. Of support. Again, there's a great, great, great community following the game, and, you know, we want to continue delivering, of course. Um, we also have a very big release coming to the game's Napoleonic front in... Uh, I'm not using a Blue Yeti right now. The microphone is me. To look forward to that. Okay, um, so that, that's awesome. Yeah. And uh, if people, you know, you talk about supporting the players, well, yeah, what other players yeah. want to support you? How can they do that? No, it's okay. Oh, not for, oh, not for, just can, uh, join us on, not uh, for what I want to do. It's not good for what I want to do. But it's a good uh, mic for, like, singing, because that's what most people use for singing. And, <laughs> and it's also good for, like, can you have tanks if you're doing, like, some sort of, like, podcast type yes. thing and you want, like, yeah. audio Maybe. for people in the same room, it's a good mic. No, but but when you know. when you want to do something like I want to do, it's, no, I need I need a different I mic. I need an alt on this. Uh, I don't. I just think the blue. Uh, no, no, there's a lot better. But in the first um, board, that's well, there is a lot better. No, definitely. Right, so um, that's where the evolution of tanks begin um, uh, as landcrafts. So yeah, I think. Uh, but it's like the best yeah. one at the cheapest happen, price range. Yes. Like the best yeah, one, like just so it hits a hundred percent. Because this year is gonna be bloody busy. So yeah, now the hyper action. <laughs> I'll see you then. Thank <laughs> you very much for coming right, on then? and talking about the game. Yeah, very much. Actually, thank probably you very much. Thank you very much, Osman. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. So guys, hold fast. Nation at War available to download now on Steam. You guys can play it right now. And uh, honestly, I kind of want to try something like that out especially the fact that they have an open mic and you can hear other people talking that is uh it's it's probably one open of mic games and talking about chat games but, are the best uh, we'll type games and, uh, we'll continue the show you just inspire them to add tanks into the game it's funny that you do See how easy that was for you yeah man it definitely was and we got something very interesting well kagi just uploaded a video the shock suit and movie trilogy even more excited for what's coming next. And he's in a shock suit, monkey. And he's in a shock suit. Side of this, trailer. this one's coming from Winter Pixel Games, and it's called right, Rocket that. Bot Royale. Oh, Rocket Bot. What? I think this is the last game in Shooters. All Royale. Mobile game? Question mark? Oh, definitely. No, this is definitely a mobile game. 
There's no shot it's on anything else. I mean, no, it could be, but I mean, like, it's definitely on mobile, though. It's like worms, but if it was a battle royale, but like... And you didn't take- and, and you didn't take your toy. <laughs> Yeah. Like, yeah, everyone was just free for all going on. I know, it's mayhem. Actually, it could be fun though, this, you know. I guess, yeah, maybe. But, I don't know. It's been like the type of game that it'll be really fun, but only for like the first day you play. For, like a few times. Yeah, yeah like, I, I would get bored of this pretty quickly. Then my attention span is amazing. <laughs> so amazingly good. Yep, yeah, oh, Steam and the Google Play Store and App Store. I don't know. So we've gotten to check this game out just a little bit before, and one of the reasons we were so excited, we do this little thing called OTK Game Night, and this game seemed perfect for it. But we figured, why wait until an OTK Game Night when we have everybody right here in this studio? Why not just have a little tournament right now? Ladies and gentlemen, oh. allow me to introduce. I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this. Razor. I just want to get to the next event, I just want it all to end! <laughs> that music's nice too, I like that music. Coming to the stage right now, we are going to have two of the worst teams that have ever been created in esports. Bro, why is Tecton doing that? Welcoming why are they old in that? Intel made up oh. of Tectone, Emeru, and Mizkif. And then over on the side of Team Razor, we have your mother's oh, favorite streamer. What the streamer. frick am I watching? It's none other than Variety Gaming Expert Seer. Followed by Soda Poppin. He made your streaming career, and now he's going to make you pay. And of course, their team leader. There's no way team, the right team doesn't TV. win. TV. I got the two leaders next to yeah, me. Yeah, the right team should win, surely. And uh, I have a few questions to ask to you, S-Fan, as you see your team getting ready to get into the booth. Why do you think you're going to be able to win? Well, listen, I've been practicing with Jake and Bay for the last few weeks for uh, Rocket Bot Royale. <laughs> uh, a lot of time microphone's not connected? Dungeon. Is it? So, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be good. It's going to be great. I don't care. Where's Bruce? Where is Bruce? Where is he? Bruce. Uh, we'll, we'll find him. We'll find him. This is the best interview I've ever done in my entire life. And I think you might be the best team that I've ever seen. That's right. That's because I'm part of Team OTK Team Razor. Are you going to let him talk to you like that? We're sponsors. Oh, so yes, no way. I'm not going to say anything that bad, but I will say Team Intel will be beating you tonight. That's okay because Intel is also great. <laughs> I agree. Uh. Team, honestly, it's a good sponsor. Yeah, we should really just. Can we just hash this out? Can we just talk about this? Just give each other a hug and get the match underway. Yeah, Ladies and gentlemen, oh, it's going to be a best of what five are to the death. We have the two fiercest teams that Rocket Bot Royale has ever seen. And now it is time to send it up to our casters. It's none other than Asmongold and Tips Out Baby. Oh, my God. Here, go ahead. Go ahead. It's... I don't even know what to say. A lot of, uh. you know, heated tensions here at the OTK Games Expo between Team Razor and Team Intel. Rocketbot Royale Asma, we discovered this game a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. I've been personally playing it nonstop for the past couple of weeks. Super fun, super addicting. It's available now on Steam for no the ad free version, or you can check it out for free. I can on love the free website. So you're just rolling all around in the tank, blowing people up. You're just blowing people up. That's how okay. it works. Have you ever played Worms? Uh, oh, I, I played a game David, like this. They're talking about Worms now. game in like middle school or high school. It is very similar to Worms. A little thing would go up in the air and would come back down and it would hit somebody. So I'm actually curious to see who's going to win. I mean, to be honest with you, I. Uh, what the fuck is Tecton doing? I, I, I think that S fan seems. Man, this win. has that energy. I, I think hmm. that they are because like S fan is the kind of guy. And it's like, you know, you talk about, oh, it's a show match. It's just for fun. Nah, -uh. no, nah, he's going to he's going to put in 100 percent to beat him. He took that personally. Definitely took yeah. that interview. Personally. He's still shaking he in the cracking. And uh, uh, sorry, so oh. Poppin and see your practice yesterday against Tecton, Emmy and Mizgiv. How did those practice games go? I could have sworn it was team pathetic, Intel was man. It was pathetic. Like they couldn't hit anything. Like it was crazy. <laughs> you know, who the best player was <laughs> is Emmy. Yeah, Emmy, Emmy. You know, it's weird. I can hear Tecton's voice. I can hear it. So like, yeah, it's like she's probably gonna be carrying the whole team. 
Wouldn't be the first time. Yeah, <laughs> it seems that way. Yeah, that way. You can hear me anytime you call. So, like, basically, you can. So, like, can you have different kinds of tanks, or is it like different skins, or like how does this work? So there's a lot of different skins in the game, a lot of different tank types you can roll with, a ton yeah. of different items, customizations, power-ups that you can slow. <laughs> yeah, probably act of. <laughs> and then you can do either in solo, like a standard BR, or so you can do in squad, squad modes as well. Right now we've got 3v3 squads going between Chance, Seer, and the rest of Team Razor uh, against Team Intel, and a lot of customization in this game. It's one of those games that's super easy to pick up, but really, really hard to master. Like the but what is happening? Exactly. What like are we walking right now? Perfectly. There's like some physics element to it, but it's super smooth, super buttery. And as you guys hear, I would like to move on to the rest of the games, please. This is a battle royale, us but it's with tanks. Like I actually just want to—I want to see what this is gonna be like. Uh, and it I, looks like Mizkiss shares that upset. sense. Of... Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. Round is stopping. So, it's just in a traditional v VR sense, they just fly in on a helicopter. And it looks like they're about to deploy here shortly. They you know they have deploy. to deploy? Okay. And there it is, Mizkif using a couple of his missiles just to get better positioning on the map, as you can see on the bottom. He missed the coins. It's just like Super Mario 64. Absolutely. Very reminiscent of Mizkif's typical streams. You can see Tectone rocking the forklift there, Emru, with the base tank. And you see Tectone throwing out oh the rapid God. fires, they the nukes. So they're destroying everything around them. Full destructive environments in this game. s fan leaping up, trying to snipe Miz down, but Miz has the high. This actually kind of looks good. He's 100 percent dead. Oh, oh my god, he got deleted. I think that's the only reason why they did there this gameplay wow. thing because they know people from like looking at the trailer alone yeah. wouldn't have done it. So like, let's have a full game, and oh, then people so will know. Hit both of them right there. That's good. Oh, they got a support. But as I said, it looks fun, but it'll be like no I'll get bored if I play for though. I will. I can't see myself oh like playing this so long. And if I was to play it, I'll probably play it in Steam. Uh -oh. I don't think I'll get this on mobile. Yeah, let's see if our variety gamer can really do anything. He takes down Tech Tone at no way. He just did him. Did you see that? Yeah. I swear, I've seen oh it. Oh my god, this come on. Golem. I want Emmy to win. I want him to win. The grenade is it gonna land? No, it falls Please into the him. water as Please the... blow his ass up. The lake is rising. Please the match time off. is running out. Oh, she's higher than he is. He's dead. Seer with the miss. Oh my god. So oh. Emmy actually won again. <laughs> like, what is this? She was dominating yesterday. She's here to assert herself today. Wait, that game actually oh, looks fun. That's one and That don't, please. Oh you, you, you're already addicted to OC and you might what be addicted to League. Like, please, not anything else. Please, brother, please. Oh, please, 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 back me up here. Please, 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 please. Was. He's not ready for that. Not ready, not taking advantage. Although I would like to play for you at least once step. You know, I'll, I'll give you that. I will play this game at least on, once with you, if you know, want to. A little bit. Yeah. You saw Soda pop in, a little bit upset with s -Fan. Can they cool down for this next match? The best part, again, guys, is the fact that you have to keep in mind, they're probably actually mad about this. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're probably, yeah, they're, yeah, they're actually mad about this. Like, this it's, is, like you could think, oh, they're acting? Nah, -uh. no. Uh, I think, who was it brought it up after the match? Children uh, losing, getting mad at little Panky. <laughs> Maybe S fan brought it up. Probably S fan. Get telling me why he lost. <laughs> He's trying to get into the groove right now to redeem himself in this right, second matchup as we wait for the deployment here. Team Intel once again looking to secure the high ground. Oh, what's that? Yo, why are they all already like oh, near each other? Right what into each doing? other. Miz falls back, leaves his teammates to get. I like how Mizkif has the Trish logo beside his name. Seer is really good at this. This year is not. Seer looking to redeem himself that after that pre round. He is going sick of mode on a mobile game. Seer destroyed Think about him. It. Team Razor coming back here. Okay. All right, Soda popping, trying to throw some barrage out there. Seer just chilling in the back right now. Bro. Okay. It's over and again. I have the high ground. Trying to keep his position. This game is all about altitude. It's all about making sure you don't get. You say the line, monkey. The rising current. Anyway, monkey's gone. Looks like Team Green wins. Wait. So let me guess what happened. Monkey's actually gone right now. Wow. Can you believe that? That just went up and killed him. That's right. That is pretty sad. Oh my god. What's that? Yeah, that's how I feel too. Honestly, that's a that's a bad time for them. He knows what we don't know. He knows what we don't know. Oh my god. The score is all tied up one and one between Team Razor and Team Intel in this best of. Uh, Yo, he's so taking off. He's taking off his jacket. He Yo, he mounts on the Steam Deck. Uh, what? What is this? What's, what's this? What are you doing? Is he playing Diablo Immortal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think he is. That's not the cash on the Steam Deck. I don't know what he's doing. See, this is why we need this. Oh, wait, that's not Steam Deck. 
What you're seeing right now, ladies and gentlemen, Shut. is the world no. premiere. That's like, it's his phone, but you can buy no, it is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you kidding. can buy it controllers. Previously this week, currently the number one ranked player in the world. I know, because I almost bought one of those for my phone once. You should, you should the Razor see PC how much today. money That's right, we're premiering a brand new on Razor that game right here, right now, Thousands. at the OTK Games Expo. Check it out. It's their new uh, mobile compatible handheld device to allow you to mobile game on the go. Based on some of the mobile game developments recently, I've heard that Razer might be adding a uh, credit card swiper directly onto the key sheet itself. <laughs> might be necessary for certain games, <laughs> yeah. for sure. But not right here, not Rocket Bot Royale, as we've got match number three. Oh, Miskiff tried to redeem oh. himself. Oh, has shot a... off onto I already said this, but Miskiff has the curse. He's trying to so. launch himself back up. Mm. Miskiff plays very cautiously as he leaves his team to the wolves. Of course he did, because he got his ass beat before, so he's left. trying to hide we'll and run away. Line, oh, he's going to die from fall damage, right? No. That's who's got no chill. But the rapid fire barely missed him, and he dodges the rocket. see Tech Tone. What are you doing? He's on it. Like, what are you? Oh, you about to die. Yeah, he's trying to go for the crate. Picks up a rapid fire. As you can see, the item's down yeah. in the middle of the screen there. He's got a homing missile, rapid fire, and his standard cannon. He's about to go in the water. Yeah, good question. I don't know. He's going in the water. <laughs> Typical Mizkiff just stalling. Like, what? Yeah, what? <laughs> what? We can't shoot that. <laughs> he's literally stalling. This is a PvP game. Make funnies. You know, he's yeah, just afraid. He tries to do it. Hits S. Man is going to die. Missile, but it looks like yeah, no one's he's dead. He's lost a lot of elevation. I keep forgetting you can stick to the walls on this game. Yeah, we are. This is it. Wait, that's all his missile. Bro, oh, dude, they get high ground so quick. There's nothing we can do. All right. We, we, we gotta. How do we get higher ground? Tectone's freaking out. Just look at the look of intensity. How do we get higher ground? Face of Tectone right now. Team Intel. Trying to figure out where he went Miz wrong in this match. Miz yeah. stalling yeah. as Fire's always. Rising. Is he gonna leap in? It looks like he is. Oh, did you? Oh, what is he doing? Rapid yeah. pushing him back yet again. Soda popping on the high ground. There we go. This is just shameless. Oh my god. Oh. They don't even have a chance. Like how my face last not really, but my face is like pretty much covering Miz Kip almost. It's just right, Emmy left, if you and it looks oh, like Team so Razor's looking to hunt down no, Team Intel. She's that was got some one good. HP. Here's the bombardment okay. coming out oh, from no, Team no, Razor. No, the snipe from long range misses. Emmy goes for the homing missile. There's no way. Oh, there's no way she brings it back. There's no way. What? There's no way she brings it back. It'll be nuts if she did. No shot. The pool is rising up. No, Emmy done because she's gonna hit the hit the water. She's gonna have to try to leap over. She launches a couple of missiles. Nope. She's gonna make it. No. Oh wow! And that's a second victory wow. for Team Razor. Yep. Okay, that was a that was a good one. I actually that, that, that kind of looks that. fucking fun. I couldn't believe Soda Soda and Seer just looks sitting fun. up there. <laughs> but just sitting up there camping on that top one. You can already see them. <laughs> Should be a company too much as well. For OTK game it's a mobile game. It's probably free. That we discovered a couple probably of weeks free. ago. We think it's super awesome. The work that Winter Pixel it probably has. has it probably just has microtransactions enough. But again, it's probably Rocket a free Bot game. Royale is available right now. You can play. What's it called? Oh, Rocket Bot Royale. On Steam for two ninety nine. Oh, for two ninety nine. Never mind. Free version. The ad based version. Oh, that's not bad though. Pixel website. It's available right now. Super fun game. Wait, this is a free. This is this is. And we're in the middle I mean, of yeah, the Yeah, there's a free version of On the, uh, on the uh, website? What's the website called? Uh, 35. Okay. I don't know. Oh, well, good job, Dad. And uh, we're, look we're looking to queue up here in this potential decide. Because I'm not playing 299 for a game I'm going to play like probably five game. times and then I'm just struggling to keep his composure a little bit. Things are heated. Oh. Oh. He's actually mad. I could have used that 299 in <laughs> a DLC in a <laughs> game I play. They were getting so mad oh. yesterday. I think, yeah, I think he's going to, uh, I think he's going to try and drop early. He's into aggression mode. Maybe. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. He's waiting for the apex there. That's uh, some cheesy strats there. It looks like both teams land into each other, and Mizkiv abandoning his team yet again. Wow. What are you doing? Oh, going there. on an adventure. That's cute. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, S fan's got that concrete mixer. Man, that's sad. I almost hit him there. He drops the fuck. Oh, 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 oh my pretty God. Pretty clearly, like, uh. Mizz Whenever you're fighting in the air. Time here. This is it. He's about to die. Oh, yeah, like some no, action type need. stuff. He's trying to reach Soda Poppin. Bo, oh, that dog's in the air and then killed him. Bo, yeah, we don't know. Soda Poppin was not there. He's tilted. He mad. <laughs> but Soda gets eliminated by Tecto. It's Tecto versus Emmy now. Emmy low HP as Team Intel looks to re engage one more time and try to tie this thing up 2 2.
All right, let's see what happens. Like, so Tectone and Emmy are just sitting there. Like, I feel like, I don't know. I, I feel like S fan, like Soda and them. I think they're gonna win here, just based off of positioning and everything. Oh, that was a good shot. Oh. That's it. Like they're done. The big snipe. Like, how's he supposed to get over there now? It's gonna be tough. He's got to play the high ground game. There's a there's yeah. a little crate right there in front of him. Might be able to pick up a shield or something like that. As Tecto oh, Emmy died. Mob, as many missiles from his oh, no, she, oh, well, now he's dead. But he shoots into the environment, and it looks like he's gonna die. Oh, <laughs> El, El, what an idiot! What a dumbass! Takes the best of five for Team Insta. That's something. Oh my. What a dramatic end. Nice and losing. Couldn't have scripted it any better, Asmund. Yeah. Which, of course, we did. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, script, script the battle, totally. <laughs> and here we go. It looks like we're going to have some interviews with the team captains, or at least the winning team captain for Team Razor. Oh, my God. Team Intel is sitting in Razor chairs. Oh. Look, I know that this was... Just Raise our headsets <laughs> and raise the people with uh, and raise the world. Uh, uh, we're like too. I think the phrase it's just a game is such a weak mindset. You're okay with what happened? Losing imperfection of a crap? When you stop getting angry, Wait, this set's actually really cool. Sets, no, I just said it's very nice. I actually really do think it. It, 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 it is an awesome set. And, uh, I'm, I'm the type of person that kind of wish I, I could stand on that stage just, just to feel the presence of that area. Uh, of course. Oh, yeah, and, I, and I would run and I would like rub my sloppy, slippery, sweaty hands across the desk. Like, you're, you're like a naked snail. Like, of no see, those two de see those two desks there? I would slam my sweaty hands all over it just to feel them go. You know? Just to feel the presence of the room. Do you have a razor bed? That's your goofy ass. Honestly, not strong enough. And uh, if there is my God, word, I have a razor uh, face mask. Therefore, so <laughs> I'm, I'm a PC gamer. I'm ultimate gamer. Listen, the only, the only if you have bought the razor face mask, you are like the, the game, ultimate virgin. We did a lot of like we, we got to play like once or twice. It's pretty cool face mask. Yeah, of course you said that. It's cool. It's cool though. Unlucky. This is the truth, right? You You're have not people cool, like eh? myself and so No, I'm not saying I'm cool. I'm saying the face mask. Look, for Razor is cool. I wouldn't actually get it. I personally would not get it myself. It's, it's Wait, Lee. Right. Whenever you hit 40 followers, that, like... I think that that what? is all that needs that to be. Really, does that mean you get like a... Uh, right uh, I think... Now, I actually think it's 50 followers or 60 followers. I just wanted to make 40 the goal. Oh. Yeah. Cause I think it's 50 or 60, and then uh, you don't instantly get it. You have uh, to like, lie, I'm actually you have to stream every bad, single day. Reality, like you have to stream actually, seven uh, days. The two best gamers like one well, hour seven days, you have to stream on Monday, stream on Tuesday, stream on Wednesday. And, uh, Finn. Finn has and then good to see you, have over, I think it's over three viewers so per stream. So like just yeah, over three. If you have... Don't touch me. Oh, consistent free viewers during all the streams. Awesome, uh, uh, as well, join we the seven days and the culture FBS follower games. goal. You can uh, get we watched, uh, your uh, We got to see Fashion Police Squad, yep. Project uh, Barrow, uh, Choo Choo Charles. Whole probably like half an hour. At war. You said that um, half an hour ago. Uh, you literally uh, said that uh, half an hour ago. Okay, yeah, but I didn't know they were going to actually play you know, a game. First. I want to hear your opinion. Me? Yeah. You, I'm supposed to just... You I feel like the fashion game fits you, you know, what? I thought that would be your favorite. The fashion game was great, uh, it was a 2D game, you know, it was, you know, fun, lighthearted. game using, like, 2D, like, pixel right. art, so it's kind of cool. The art exactly. style in that game stuck out to me a lot. That's, that's more a Finn's alleyway. Yeah. Was that it? They should have. I see the Burberry. I like, the, Burberry. Like, that oh, I like, I like, it. I like the graphics, and I like the gun. The gameplay is just fluent. You yeah. did say that. Uh, the, my favorite thing about this is actually the golden toilet because the the best time for me is when I'm able to use the bathroom and you know recharge. You ever used a bidet? I used to. Crazy. Yeah, I used to, but I had to stop using it. It just I spent too much time on it. Not not a bidet <laughs> guy myself personally. <laughs> Uh, yeah, what are they on? Nick, help me with the name because I was down there preparing for battle. What's a choo-choo game? 
Choo Choo Charles? Yeah. You, so Choo Choo Charles is a game. It's actually like I, I was watching that. That is scary. a game I will play. I actually am af yeah. I'm afraid of playing horror games. What do so you think I, about the choo choo with the spider legs like <laughs> running? So <laughs> when I was growing up, uh, Thomas the Tank was like scary. my thing growing up, and this I just, can tell. So you was one of those. Yeah. What's that? I, I can, you can tell, can't you? Yeah, what I can tell. What Thomas the Tank? That's like the, so, one of the worst shows. Yeah, it's just a personality trait. You know. so I'm more of a Chugginton type of guy. I never even heard of that. You see? Too old. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but so Choo Choo Charles, it's a scary uh, train game. You, you know, it's a FPS game. You can, you know, level up your train as you go, as you can see here. So I love games where you, you basically build up the armor of the train. Yeah. And you also have to make sure the train keeps going, right? Uh, I don't know, but you can you can. It looks like bad guys go. will get you if the train doesn't yeah. keep going. Yeah, I'm not even sure how you win this. This might be one of those games where you're just surviving. As I long think when as you, you get can. to Ohio, that's like a surviving type. Yeah, a little game. note. There seems to be a navigation element to this game too. That's really interesting. The integration of the map feature is really fluent. Yeah, seems compelling. Yeah, this uh, this this train is horrible. I definitely got jumped but yeah. absolutely scary. Any scary shooter game. game needs a good antagonist and that thing is not even a scary tag so uh finn how'd you feel about uh holding the missions at war that's well, just new the train breaks down uh and okay. has don't an tell me I, you'll that's have a little skin mark i've spent <laughs> hours watching uh gameplay <laughs> videos youtube all no, i trust you i was go ah i'm dead is, is yeah, i'm a little good so, uh, i i love hold fast well this is not hold fast but it's also a good game how I felt about Hold Fast. I'm not really a fan of beans <laughs> on toast and shit like that. Me neither. Beans on toast. It's but I like the game, you know? It's Wait, a pretty cool what game. What do you mean I beans feel like on it's toast? A, it's UK. Is that what they eat? Beans on toast. Surprisingly. Oh, I think, I think, yeah. That's uh, How do you Have you ever eaten beans on toast? Absolutely not. I don't eat, no. Okay. <laughs> I, have, now, I don't even eat eggs. I have a question. Yeah. Do you think that Nick you only eats chicken nuggets? Food? Personally, and I mean this. What are you on about? What are you talking? Why are you talking about chicken nuggets no, now? No cap. So the guy he's saying he would never eat zero one percent of every single beans one of these and games. toast. He would only eat than chicken nuggets and burgers. That's all he eats. There you have it. Fighting words. Okay. Fighting words. Okay. Fighting words. Um, not a Nick. Those are fighting words. Hear that, Shroud Shad? On laptop. Yeah. He knows. Yeah. I like shrewd. Oh yeah, cool. you also need to answer. Um, so, uh, Wait, did he, 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 did he say what I think he just said? Project Sparrow as well. well. We haven't mentioned that. Oh, my shipping. No, I'm shipping. Well, what, 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 well, no. no. what do you think he said? Well, no. No, what do you think he said? No. And projectile combat. What was in this thing? I can hear my own cheering yeah, over this. Seems to have I just miss all it. It's looking fun. That's what I'm good mm, at. Any game where That's all I heard. I heard Weedos. That's all I heard. Every time you eat Weedos, Weedos. I'm not even, I'm not even yeah. eating Weedos, bro. I used to be a trick shotter. Like Coco I used to, you know, when I was like 12 years old. Coco so I like the, the high rise, <laughs> you know, things that they could jump off of and also like spin around. I like seeing that. It's interesting to me. I yeah. Like if you want me to be completely honest, if, uh, if I actually played this game, I am not good with arrows and projectiles. I'm this is the one game that I actually want to jump in. In fact I would probably be the worst at this game. I, I just don't know how to like live lead my shots and things like that. I'm just never really You're like that it. with guns Sky. and games. Right? So yeah. you're more of a sit down a P type of guy. Yeah. How do you how did you know that? <laughs> I do it too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I'm all for it. <laughs> Finn, how do you think you do at uh you know what is this about? What even is this thing? I think I do great, Nick. I think I do super better good than Midwest based game, and I think I uh, would 360 no scope you take you out of the game immediately. Yeah. I and mean, then it's Betty by time for Nick, huh? Yeah. Okay. Take it right yeah. to bed. <laughs> it's probably 6:30. <laughs> All right. Some game fast release that'd be uh, really you good. A mid. Um. Okay. Um. <laughs> Let's get back to Rich. That was awkward. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, thank you guys so much for whatever that was. Whoa. Uh, so, obviously, when we're here in this beautiful studio, uh, I'm, I'm here with Tips Out, baby, by the way. When we're here in this beautiful studio, you see there are a lot of lights, and I want to give a big shout-out for the sponsor that helped us keep all of those lights on. Let's get a big round of pogs in the chat while we watch the trailer for this game. It's State of Survival. Oh, uh, here we go again. You think you can search the house for something that can help us? Oh. Or nothing. Yeah. Yeah. 
Literally porn acting. It is. Oh my god, are you literally watching porn by yourself? <laughs> no, he I'm just, just appears for an hour, comes yeah, back. Wait, Mucky, where have you been for the last <laughs> hour? I had to do something. For but an like, hour? For the... No, 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 I, was, I wasn't actually gone for an hour. I was just like really quiet, I was reading something. You know what this reminds me of? Um, I don't even know the name of the game. But, uh... It's like, uh... It's like a sort of dating simulator game where, like, you have, like, yes. a few choices to make. Yes, and it, but it's, like, real life, though. Yeah, it's, it's real like, life. Yeah. And the choices you can make are, like, really funny. Alright, when it's commercial done, I'm gonna put this away. Do that. That was a... Uh, it's called Super Seducer. Yes! I know exactly what you're on about. I know, yes, that game. I'm pretty sure it was a... Uh, Handyland, who was the girl in that? Oh, if I remember. Hey, put your hands where I can see them! <laughs> That's a weird game. No, I'm gonna you believe. <laughs> what is this, uh? How long is this? Okay. <laughs> how long is this? Oh, never mind. It ended. I was gonna say how long is it? I love that trailer tips. Uh, you know that part it where ended. it says leave your girlfriend or not leave your girlfriend behind. I would leave my girlfriend behind. She gets stuck all the time, so it'd be very. You were like got those mobile ads where it was just like it's just a completely normal ad, and then fucking zombies appear, and it's just like the you know that um mobile game. That, uh, uh, it's just like a mobile game strategy. zombie ad and you had this big tycoon. Show. We really appreciate them. And guys, for those that don't know, State of Survival is a zombie-themed survival oh. mobile game. It is free to play and available both on the Apple and Google Store. And as of today, Rich, I fucking knew it. On Windows. And to answer your question, okay, we already talked about this game before. We talked about how it's a mobile yeah, game about building the other thing that I wanted to talk and fighting about zombies. Were you not there yeah, during the first time? Absolutely. So, That's not a thing. guys, if you're that was like that was like shit. Now we're going. You were gone an hour. You were gone an hour. You can win awesome prizes. Love you. I mean, I did. I was reading something, so I probably wasn't listening in at that time. S O S and download the game. The giveaway event will last for 10 days. The higher the power, the better the rewards, including, check this out, an iPhone. Whoa. Wow. AirPods Pro. And an OTK, an exclusive OTK hoodie and in-game goodies in the gift pack. So go I on would over, like check a it hoodie. out, exclamation mark, state of survival in the chat. And, uh, no, I'm yeah, actually really good at this. Download it on Windows. Yeah, you can download it on Windows. It runs great on Windows. It has really smooth operation. You can enjoy battles with an even bigger screen. I love bigger screens. I do a lot of things that I would do on small screens on bigger screens, and I go, wow, I like this even more because the screen is bigger. And the bigger the screen, the bigger the enjoyment, as everybody knows. We should. We should. One hundred percent, totally, yes. Yeah. Definitely should. But there are a lot of other games that we're going to be taking a look at now. So I think we're about ready to start to get into that next category. But tips, we should do this more. I like actually sitting down and talking with you, man. I do too, guys. I just want to say this event has been absolutely phenomenal. I want to give a big, big shout out to We Play, uh, and everybody else on the OTK team. Presentation-wise, this, this event is actually done. really sick. Like course, the stage is awesome. State of survival, guys. Uh, it's all on the first, uh, and these guys are pretty good, obviously. You know, you I want to do it. Bigger screen, wider map angle, multi roll simultaneous. So it's a good event presentation wise. Like, presentation is top notch. Cross platform, essentially. And you can I think that the, the event is mainly the most building in the giveaways. So. Yeah, yeah. An iPhone, that is. Pros, which I quite like. OTK merch. I hope to see you guys in the game, and I hope to see you guys as we watch the next category. Some people say that life is even in this Now, this is probably going to be my too. Let's take Action. a look at simulations. Simulation games. Actually, no, strategy games is still my least favorite. <laughs> nah, simulator games can't be good. I hate strategy I like games. So. I hate strategy Hello, I mean, I'm back on the strategy oh, games. Let's take a look at the simulation games. Let's jump right into the action with the first one. This come. Oh. oh. What is happening? Never mind. We're not jumping right into the first one. Asmin, 
We're gonna be. I went to the wrong left. Yeah, you did. Thank you for you're covering. Supposed to go the other side. Yeah, I was supposed to go the other side, man. Yep. I make mistakes every now and then. I'm a human. But if there was a <laughs> yeah. game that simulated life, I could play it and potentially get better at real life through a simulation. And that's exactly what we do have as we start to human take a look at the, yeah, he is human the first game is coming from Filament Games, and it is called Roboco. Huh? In a way, oh my god, warehouse is what we did! <laughs> Oh, it's beehive. Be nest. It heckin' looks like a Roblox game. It actually does. <laughs> oh, Smith Monkey, the... the Roblox guy says that. I do not fucking <laughs> waste my life on Roblox. Well, anytime I see you on a game, it's either Persona 5 Royal or Roblox. I only play it because Ben plays it. I only play it when Ben plays it. Lies! It's happened to me right now. Cause I've seen you no, play it by yourself happening. before. I've seen you playing it by yourself before. When so, is the last time you see me play it by myself? Literally, like last week, bro. Last week. Literally, no. I was playing with Ben last week. God damn it. No, you won't. He wasn't in the call. You were playing with <laughs> No, I wasn't. You're uh, lying. Uh, I'm, telling the truth. I'm telling the truth. So we can all agree this is a mid game that they're currently showing us. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <Anything. laughs> uh. the models look like uh, gang beasts, but like humanoid in the kind of way. Q four and shit too. So I don't know. I don't know that. I'm gonna be honest, that trailer definitely took a turn that I did not see coming. You guys can actually check out the gameplay right now. There is a demo available for download. And Action is still the best category. List, so you can see all of the new developments for the game as they do arise. We're gonna hop into the next one. This one's coming from Randwork, and it's called A Briss. This. Oh, I've seen this game! I've seen this! I think I've seen this too. I saw yeah. a TikTok on it. I saw a TikTok on it. I saw a TikTok. I think I also saw a TikTok on it. <laughs> oh. No, wait, don't get me wrong. The demolition destroying things looks so satisfying and cool. But the building aspect is what's going to give me massive aid. The new LEGO game looks pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, the LEGO, <laughs> LEGO game busted my now, monkey. <laughs> Your ass wanted to play Roblox so badly, I know I did. Oh. <laughs> I don't play Roblox so <laughs> often. I really don't. Uh, you keep telling yourself that, buddy. I really don't. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to put this in the in the edited version of my channel. Uh. <laughs> The game is now available for download on Steam, and also it, it just seems like a very unique game. You actually get to build stuff just to destroy it. Have not seen many games like that before. Excited to check it out. Uh, and my Lego. If you do actually really love one of these Roblox? games, oh my god! <laughs> onto the OTK network, <laughs> and do a reaction to those games and help them win the fifty thousand dollars in grants and the Razer PC, which is powered by Intel, to help them in future game development or on the game that they're currently working on. We have another game inside of the simulation category coming up right now this one comes from ncb games and it is called steel guardian that also sounds familiar no actually i don't, I don't think it is no, i don't think it is yeah. i just announced gta 6. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come take gta 6. no i mean gta 5 but like a, another like dlc or something but i mean like they'll be advertising like it's a brand new game yes Oh, it's Fiogium! Wait, did they say that and I was just listening? Uh, I don't actually know. Yo, you know what, I'm there for it. I'm there for it. Fiogiums are cool. I enjoy Fiogiums. VR is the best way to do simulation games. I don't care what you say. I'd agree. Because obviously, VR is obviously the literal embodiment of simulation. <laughs> oh my god, heckin' Portal Knight VR. Oh, when they showed the new Walking Dead Sin Centinos game at the PlayStation event, 
I was actually nothing. It so good looking. That must be really fun fighting them little goblin motor. <laughs> yeah. You know, this, this actually kind of looks good. I feel like I would play this. Generally. You know what kind of looks like though, if you think about it? It looks a, a bit, it looks like a more polished Rec Room game. Yeah. yeah. Imagine it's made by the same developers. That'd be kind of funny. I don't think it is though. Excited IO, Steam Fear, and Oculus! Probably a quest too exclusive though. Nah, nah, nah. nah, nah, nah. Surely not, surely not, surely. Because a lot of the good well, games have become fucking quest game, too exclusive. Uh, like, angers me. I mean, it angers me too, Monkey. Resident Evil 4 VR, oh my fucking god. <laughs> so excited too, and then I learned this fucking quest exclusive. Was I not the one that told you that? I I'm pretty sure I was the one that actually told you that. You're like, I'm feeling um, good. You told me it like the day after it came out. <laughs> Yeah, you're like, I can't wait to get Resident Evil 4 VR. I was like, Muggy, that's a quest to exclusive. It says it, it says it on the trailers. <laughs> no, it, it, it literally said coming to the Oculus Quest. It did, never said anything about it being a quest nah, to exclusive. Nah, 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 nah. World weeks, experiencing said nothing. As they live, your villagers will develop this game and personalities is not for me. Beat them nation games. Assign your villagers to and sleep, sleeping. Play mini games around town to increase your villagers' skills and boost productivity. When they aren't developing the village, your villagers will embark on text-based adventures that add to their life story and leave lasting impacts. Uh, However, yell for the fog. Every story must come to an end. As they pass, their souls will enter your town's spirit tree, and their offspring leave a legacy as your town's history. I can love the spirit tree. Craft your town your way. Go from a wide selection of buildings and props. I can love rotating houses. You know, my favorite simulation game is, guys, Simpsons, uh, the Simpsons Tap Game and the Family Guy mobile game. Simpsons Tapped Out and Family Guy Quest for stuff. Trade for the resources you I know the name. Oh, yeah. Those are good. Those are good mobile games, though. Yeah. They were fun. <clears throat> Um, is with Family Guy, a quest for stuff, all the waiting stuff is just kind of like gone out the window because you can literally just watch ads and it'll just like chop the entire thing down by two hours. The spirit tree definitely sure. got me interested and if you're interested you can add it to your Steam wish list right now. Now with Ages of Kataria there's a whole bunch more that I want to dive into and really want to just learn more about the game. As you can see from that trailer there are a whole bunch of different avenues of progression and a whole lot of moving parts. So Asmin is standing by for an interview with the game's director. Hey, what's going on? Uh, can can they hear me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hi. Uh, okay. Well, this game is quite interesting. I'll have to say, it really is. Uh, Look at the little piggy. I didn't even have my sister in there. Well, right so, that, uh, <laughs> I don't stop. Uh, I was writing yeah. about how to clean your gutters. <laughs> um, and what were you up to? Um, I was bartending at the time. Obviously, neither of our jobs were really that fun. Um, and we were both looking for a way to get back into a creative industry, somewhere where we could work with a team of people and create something fantastic and amazing. Um, and that is how Ages of Kataria was born. We decided to start our own company um, because we applied to all of these game companies and they rejected us because we had no experience. <laughs> so we decided to just do it ourselves. Well, yeah, I, I like, like that. <laughs> what was missing from Colony Sim Games was really connecting with your villagers and seeing them grow. Yeah, I, I think so. Can like okay, so whenever they die, their spirits go into the tree, is that right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it makes the tree bigger? Yeah, so your your tree kind of symbolizes like the growth of your town. So okay. over like the months that you play, as people pass on, they'll go into the tree and they will be able to talk to your villagers who are there and give you items and stuff like that. So it's not like they're gone forever, but they're That's quite a cool concept. How yeah. How big does the tree get? This, um, this that tree that you saw is like our final. Uh, this game it's is like making me boss. want to uh, okay, so talk about right a very he's controversial a topic. Oh, he's a big boy. Okay, all right. Uh, <laughs> what is that? What yeah. happens when we die, so boys? Can you tell me a little bit more about the game? Uh. Yeah. I actually spent. I actually stayed awake till 1 a.m. last night just thinking about that. Literally last night. I don't know why. It like yeah, you you have this sudden 1 a.m. thought 
and that was mine last night. Just what happens when we die? And I was like, no, brain, stop. I want to sleep. We go to the Nether. <laughs> oh, we go to the no. end. Uh, we go, no, even even worse. We go to fucking Roblox. <laughs> Well, even I worse. swear to God. Even worse, we get respawned in France. <laughs> yeah. nah, that is scary. <laughs> we get respawned in Brazil. Ah, uh, uh, France. And, worse. and if you and if you're an extra naughty person, you'll be respawned in France as a Genshin Impact player. <laughs> but you have to live in Marseille. <laughs> 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 Do you want to add anything to Google? That was perfect. So, okay. so you have a lot of stats, and he's like the, the best guy, right? Oh, yeah. He's like Jeez. just mining away, and he's like, I am that's... the miner of the town. Okay. Oh, that's funny. That's All right. Yeah. I got that. Yeah, that's... I, I don't know. I think that's pretty cool. It's, I've never seen a game that really does that before. So I, I, I like to see it. And if people want to support your project, where can they go? What can they do? Yeah, so you can find our game on Steam right now. You can wishlist us. Um, we are also just only for the next month. We're going to be doing some crowdfunding exclusives. Um, this is the last month we are going to be doing them. Things like getting an in-game void unicorn or some exclusive cottage core textures for your buildings, that kind of thing. Okay. Um, you can also find us on Discord or on Twitch where we connect with our community every week. Well, thank you so much for coming on. I really appreciate it. And I find the game, it's... Uh especially with the generational aspects. I, I, I think it'd be so funny, people that get like emotionally attached to one villager and then I they know. just, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's me when my Minecraft <laughs> dog <laughs> dies. Yes, we are here yeah. to Bye. shoot you In to a your core and then lift you back up and like pet you. Next yeah, I like that, okay, that's <laughs> ideal. Well, thank you so much for coming on. I appreciate it and thank good you. luck with your game. Thank you, nice to meet you. You too. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, we got ourselves S Fan and Tectone here to talk about the simulation mm -hmm. games. How do you guys feel? Dude, just first off, I don't know if there's something wrong with me, but I, I looked at Ages of Kataria and I just came thinking to myself, I want to build a big village and I just want to build the biggest, baddest tree that I can as fast as possible. <laughs> but I that asked. would mean I would have to kill off the whole village. <laughs> 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 well, Max, you're going to see no more of the villagers. Oh my god. In a way. Well, that's why I asked about how big the tree can get. Yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> yeah you got to know what, what it is. All, all right, Tectone, what did you think? Dude, I love simulation games. We get to You get to relive the pain of, like, the real world, but as a cute anime cat girl. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, or cost, like a the host girl, Tectone right? yeah, says that. Story, yeah, that's <laughs> For me, the game I really liked a lot was Steel Guardian, the VR game. Yeah. Like, oh it, yes. It didn't like really. Steel Guardian, I'm very until interested. Until that dude popped up and he was fighting the skeleton, that was so cool to me because like how far can that go? Because like a lot of the first person like medieval combat games, sometimes they can not really play that well, but in VR, I bet it would be a completely different experience. It it is. It's a completely different experience because, like, as you're standing up for hours on end with the remote in your hand, eventually you start to feel like the weight of yeah. like the shield and sort and like real world fatigue yeah. starts to like come into play for these VR games. It's, it's, cool. it's cool. It's good. So both the immersion is crazy. I've never played a VR Yo, game. You know, you know, what'd be very interesting I mean, on like Xbox yeah, Plus yeah, difficulty yeah, yeah. Right, right. and Beat Tuba. A nice wee yeah, Timothy yeah. yeah. I heard, yeah, once you start doing VR, you just get lost in it. girls that you already like, but imagine yeah. if you felt that they were real standing in front of you. I, uh, one time I saw a Soda Pop in the stream, and I yeah. almost had that experience. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's about right. Yeah. You know what I really liked was, uh, I, I really liked both Avarice and, uh, and Roboco, right? Because I, I like uh -huh. a lot of puzzle games, like the, the thinking games, stuff like that. And uh, I, I feel like Avarice, it, it looks like... Well, there's two parts to this. One, I was one of those kids that I would like to build up Legos and yeah. I would build a building and, and then I would just, just smash it. Smash it. <laughs> so, yeah. so Avarice kind of reminded me of that, but it's it's like physics based. It's they're physics based yeah. puzzles. So um, it, it's it's a game that like if you play GTA, I, I know like the newest GTA, GTA 5, it's new, but it's like 10 plus yeah. years old now. But um, I I always like to run cars into stuff, and I really enjoy seeing like yeah, ragdoll mechanics and physics. Yeah, it's it's fun. Yeah. So uh, being able to take that and have these physics-based puzzles, I think, is really cool. 
and also with Roboco, you had um, Did you, you see build whenever he was robot. shaking the vending machine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought he was going to pull it over on the dude. Yeah. <laughs> I thought for 100% yeah. like, he's like, this dude's about to get got. Yeah. yeah. It no, got. I, I love it. I love it the got. puzzles. I love the building uh, little things and, and kind of uh, seeing how they develop, so I'm. Uh, I, I thought uh, both of those looked really, really good as well. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was really into Steel Garden and Ages of Kataria because oh, when they, when it introduced the concept of like getting older with like real, real time like weeks. Yeah, that's so cool. Like aging with the game, feeling I the would pain get of the so loss. Stressed out if like it was a guy I liked a lot. Yeah, and he died. Because I remember one time like there was a I had this little, these little back in the nineties. Like, it was Fortnite Battle Royale. Yeah. Take care of a cat. I don't want to listen to you. And like eventually I came back. And my mom was like, "Okay, Zach, <laughs> oh, no. we okay. gotta talk. We gotta talk about your talk." Osu, Dan, Osu, don't forget Osu. Like, I did my best. They announced Osu too at the Games Expo. Let's just say this: this game. I think, I think Ted would cream. Yeah. I had the same experience with Neopets. I've gone through like three grandos. They're all Osu, Osu yeah. expansion Osu. pack. That's great. I I, I don't know. I think that the uh, the puzzle games Aww. and like the simulation type games like that. I, they I introduced really new cool. mechanics. And also, oh. especially the VR ones. I'm really excited to see mm. like basically. That I was the very first VR game to be shown. Be and so we can play art in real life. <clears throat> like that's really. Yeah. I mean, the, 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 that's that's there. my. The, the, Ew, that's sort of online. Okay, guys. <laughs> like yeah, that's the grand prize. Let's get to that. Let's take an indie game to another level, though. Making a VR indie game. That'd be fun. I would love to make a VR game. Although yeah, it'd be no, much harder to make, I feel, like than making class. like a regular game. Honestly, we're, we're I, I do think we're close. I say yeah. 10 years. Yeah. But it'd be fun though. Are you crazy? Sure. Yeah, no, 100%. Okay, Lewis, okay. okay. shut up. I I I only ask us. You're saying this is so long, you haven't even been here from the beginning. Me and Ted and Monkey have been here literally when it started. Which was like, what? Three hours ago? Yeah, three hours ago. We've been here for three and a half hours now. This is something that you all can get involved Where have you been? If you want to be part of this, if you Yes. Really You've only been here for a, an hour and a half now, I believe. Yeah, an hour and a half. Yeah. What were you doing too long? The Discord. It's the UK Network Discord, and you can vote on the games that you think. Ah, oh, Lewis. Fifty thousand dollars of developmental grant money, and on top of that, a Razer PC powered by Intel. Mm -hmm. So make sure you guys do that, and we're going to be announcing the winners of that at the end of the show. But anyway, I think we're about ready to go on to the next section. Fuck shit, I made a yeah, statement. We'll, uh, we'll oh, I'm like really joking, Lewis. That, this game, or this category rather, is going to have four games. And right now, we're going to be jumping into a brand new genre. This one is puzzles. Oh, uh, now I found no. my least favorite section. I thought strategy was my least favorite section. Puzzle uh, is my least favorite section. The same, right the simulation now, one was. By Mythic Owl Studio, and this no, the VR game, game is what popped it up for me. That VR game was out there. Yeah. Trash. <clears throat> well, I like the art style, but puzzle game, so it's an instant turn off for me. Don't Spot the it. difference. Yeah, nah. Fuck that. That's like. Anything to do with pu everything that makes me feel dumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. <laughs> that's why I don't like strategy games, and that's why I don't like puzzle games. I feel dumb. Although I, I really do like the art style, though. The art style is pretty nice. It's a bit mm, like it's not my favorite. It's a bit like the uh, what do you call like game moving out? It's a bit like moving out. The game where well, you move out of people's houses. You you, know, you grab their furniture, you put it in the trucks. The yeah, style is closely similar to that. Oh, they were playing against each other. Hmm. Can I wait the stream? You sound like you breath more. In that one, I love the art style. It's cuter than yeah, the art style is nice. Actually, someone in chat, and when you actually do look at the gameplay, it's almost like a multi dimensional Rubik's Cube, right? You're trying to actually get the buildings to come together. I, I think that there might be something wrong with me because I always think about these like puzzle games and like especially the city building simulation games, and it's like, how could I like make it to where like, I love this event, like how it's done, mm, yeah. 
Yeah, like that's the main but thing. A like, lot of, I mean, I know it's an expo, uh, but, but the, you know, different yeah. from just events, like PlayStation events and Summer Game Fest and Game Awards. <laughs> but they they just fun. move on to the next no game. They go, oh, that's that game's cool. Let's move on to the next so, game. The next one, we're gonna head over to something made In fairness, I've already half to though. Because imagine they didn't. Imagine how long this would be. You know what I mean? Um, no, I'm not talking about. Oh, no, I'm talking about. I'm talking about. No, unless they talk for a solid minute after each. Oh trailer. right. No, I'm saying like game awards because there's like, like there's like 50 or so games shown. They don't just like talk about it for a good two minutes. They just go, "That's a cool game." On to the next one. <laughs> like they just they just move. They be moving, and they still end up being like two hours, one hour long. You know, like oh. I would love to stream the game awards, but every single year. It's like a day we have like school or college. Like it's always like a day where we have to come in. So gross. And they always stream at like 1 a.m. Oh. Okay, I don't like this game. I know what Monkey's thinking right now. Oh my god, it looks like the GameCube logo. <laughs> Monkey's thinking right now? Damn, that reminds me of that one Roblox game I played about. Yeah, it reminds me of that one game on Cool Math Games. Oh, oh, I know exactly what you're Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not talking about Roblox this time, huh? Okay, Monkey, I saw it. Yeah, I'm not talking about Roblox. I didn't even hear what the game was. <laughs> oh, so. Wait a minute. An escape room. Wait, do I know this game? No, it's brand new. No, um. No, no. I, I need. I need to see the characters. I need to see multiplayer. If I see and if I see what the avatars look like, I know instantly what game this is. Because uh, Smitty and YouTubers I watched have been like playing uh, escape room games recently. Okay, no, this is new. No, okay, no, this is new. Yeah. Escape room games are, you know, interesting, fun, but once again, I feel like they are better in VR. Escape room games. Uh, looks like the computer from SpongeBob only the male and not female. I know I I don't like escape games. I'm very excited for this one. Some are, some, just some are good, some are bad. That's literally like that's literally just what it is. I I just don't like puzzle games. I don't like puzzle games, but that much is puzzle games. So. On July 14th, so if you guys do want to check it out, as I said, it makes me feel dumb. Release date, it's a little while away. Go ahead, go on to Steam and add it to your wish list so you actually do get notified when it's available. I think this is the last category. So badly, I am with me. No, because I'm pretty sure they said shooters and then puzzles. This one is very relatable it's from insanity oh no because they did shooters and then they did simulation so no wait so when is this ending they said simulation was going to be the last one but then they actually just puzzle l l Yo, why is the soundtrack kind of going hard right now? <laughs> Headless Jeff 3! 3! There's another 2? So it must be good then. Oh, they're not good, but like, you know... Also, I mean, it must for be Hellish popular. Jeff, there be... is actually a demo available for download right now, so you can check that out on Steam. I had a chance to play it a little bit earlier before we actually got the game's expo started today. And, and it's a really cool game where you're actually dropping your head in different places so you can try to see what you're doing to complete the puzzle. To talk about that game and everything that we've seen in the puzzles, we're going to jump up right now to our professional variety gamers. Okay, right, thank you so much. <laughs> like, oh. uh, we are back, and this is perfect puzzles. 
and uh, we got the smartest people around here uh, to talk about puzzle games. And Chance, uh, how do you feel about this? Um, well, Rocket Bot Royale champion here. Yeah. Um, I, I, I feel really good about a lot of those games. You know, <laughs> oh. puzzles, a lot of games we have seen before, but it looks like they're taking a new little twist to it. Um, I mean, I'm excited. A lot of them seem like my brains can't handle it. You know, so definitely I'm, can't. I'm, no, no. Neither could yours. Like you're done. Like you're, you're not. Damn. It was a good carry, though. Um. All right, Sear, how do you feel about him? I, I, I have to say I love the last cube. Uh, dynamic Tron-like visuals. Last cube. Stunning, intense. Uh, it looks like there's very, very satisfying results when you actually solve a puzzle, uh, which to me is great because, to be honest, Chance. I used to always have one camera in each scene. That's just like mega shaky for them. So when I actually do solve something. I love oh. to have that satisfying, like, I did not know. Everything gets colorful when you solve a, solve a problem. Well, Probably because it's on the desk and they keep, they keep putting their hands on it. Unfolded entirely, it's a cube. I wish I did. Like a cross almost. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, well, either way, you look at this, it looks, it, my head starts to hurt trying to land the symbols onto the right, you know, what the fuck? things on the floor. It just seems like you're a, old. you wouldn't be able to do it either. Shut I your could. mouth. Bruce, as you're the younger, <laughs> as the youngest up here, Bruce, how do you feel about it? The last All cube. Of these games have in oh my god, did what? they make this in Roblox? All of these games okay. are the type of games that I will You're gonna stop talking now. You're gonna shush. Right <laughs> <laughs> you know? But being a pro Telltale gamer, it's all about making the right choices at the right time. And I feel like the last cube, I used to play this in a computer lab too, but they added different elements. Wait, uh, what, I really like that. What is that? You see the way it's moving? The d d d yeah, the little diagonal. Like that's, I don't even know what's going on. Wait a My so mind is getting fucked right now. And yeah. us three have I'm not even paying attention to the puzzles because I know if I even try to pretend you should, I'm going to feel stupid. What is that maneuver? I'm just pretending so, I don't see it. This game is interesting because it, it, my head hurts and I'm just watching someone that seems to know what they're doing. I, I, People who make puzzle really games are actually How like another intellectual. Like they actually, their brains are so big. No, they're weird. You have they're the weird, robot, but the brains are big. The head point of view Out of all the game you choose to make, you've decided to do a puzzle. His head without his eyes, I think. Like, well, you know? I think what's going on there. You're weird! Ah! It, 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 it seems like you take your head off and you right. place it down and you control where the perspective is. Okay. So you can't, it seems like maybe you can't solve the puzzle right now. You need to put yeah. your head down oh, like man. it's a camera. Oh. And then you see, and now you solve it. So yeah. it's a Wait, fun what? control of perspective and... See, he's gonna pick his so head up, you, pick up the camera. Can you oh, that's actually quite head? cool. I don't know, maybe. And um, you have to use your head as a problem-solving tool, probably multiple times. Maybe. Yeah, it looks again. It looks like a really fun, unique puzzle game. I'm cool to see this here. Looks yeah. like the movie Robots too. I like that movie. Yeah, uh, Robots cool is a good movie. As well. And how do you guys feel about? I've uh, never seen that. Yeah, I know you haven't seen it, Ted. Uh, we had this conversation before. Like you need to watch it. Puzzles and brain teasers. No. So so that's that like Bruce. classic spot the difference situation. Ted's never watched Robots. Chat. Never watched Robots. Yeah, and taking my what? No, and chance that happened. No, no, no. I made the observation that it was a classic comparison game, and I told that to Chance. I had to explain it to him. I think you might actually just be copying everything Chance does. <laughs> Are you guys comparing notes? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, should I be here? I don't think so at this point. Bruce, what do you Wait, think about this game? I think you should be here. And I, also about Thank this you. game, <laughs> I like the fact that it's like something that you can play with friends. You want to get your friends involved in the late night. You know what I'm saying? How do you get yeah, those? Put it on the monitor. Is this the last category? Not. Or yeah, is no, they said simulation was going to be last. They said it was going to be shooter and then simulation, and then they didn't say anything after that. But now they're talking about puzzle. So it might be, it might not be. I don't know. I think it is. You're, you're praying on for the shooters. To be, no, I mean, the fighters, to be honest. No, it's not going to be. I, I, I already know it's not going to be. Because they would have shown it a lot earlier if it was. That was scary. Unless. No, don't unless, because they. No. It just reminds me of one of those games. No, I am aware. I am fully aware. Being in one room and being that only level. Yeah. That's why I was really interested in it because sure. Japan, Greece, you could go to different places in the world and go to Japan. Yeah, of course. Awesome. Oh, yeah. that's what that was. Yeah, this game, this game is already the game called we top here. of my bucket yeah, list. Yeah. 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 Like no, it's not. It's just not. Really in-depth story. Actually, number one, it's an escape room. You know, it's it's nowhere in near my book of this. That fun little take on it where you gotta escape the room with a fun story. Um, I, I, I think a lot of streamers are gonna be playing this game because oh, yeah. it's very fun games to stream. Okay, oh, streamers so like streaming puzzle games because they like show how smart slash stupid they could be. 
You can do it at home. No, yeah. be flexible. Yeah, oh, uh, this game's easy. Absolutely. I can do it. And then, the, and then they take the everything wrong. And then you go, you go to play it, well, and it's just you. a nightmare. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank thank you. Good. So we'll have an eye. Uh, making friends, meeting friends. That's what OTK is all about. Green These puzzle now. games are absolutely awesome. Oh, my nose is Guys, sick don't forget to go vote in the Discord OTK network. Uh, vote for your your favorite here, and uh, guys, we will be right back after this. Motion break. break. Oh my god. Oh, is this a different? Oh, it's a different ad. Uh, to Razor. Huh? Hey -o. Oh my god, I need these headphones, guys. I need these headphones. No, but like the headphones they look kind of cool though. How much are they? Probably like a thousand quid, thousand pounds. No, actually, realistically, how much do you think these are, Ted? Uh, probably a hundred quid. Cause they actually look really cool. I can't want them. Man, those they'd be better than these ones. These ones suck. Eight. I actually have a friend who okay, yes. I, I think he's watching right now. I would love to watch him play those puzzle games. He used to be really good. But it could just be because I had these for like six years now, so maybe they're just he finds not working as good as they used to. Games. Maybe he'll be able to beat them. But now it's time to look at a brand new category. This is what? one that I think all of the people who are on it right now really kind of met each other through games like this. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be taking a look at RPGs. Oh. Could be interesting. RPGs mm -hmm. are definitely a pretty broad category, so we're just gonna dive straight <laughs> into the action. The first one they announced that when I was drinking water. Games, and this one's called Nightcrawlers. Oh, I know Nightcrawlers! I know Nightcrawlers! You're a Nightcrawler. Fuck oh, shut up. <laughs> <I know. laughs> yeah, I saw the, uh, I saw like, I can't remember if it was a trailer or a teaser. I saw something on the screen though. God, it looks like I'm not watching Harry Potter tonight, boys. Fucking Harry Potter. No, 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 no. I have to watch it tomorrow <laughs> night. Oh, Harry Potter. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> why, why? Why are you laughing like that? <laughs> so bad. That's a big it's ass board. Yo, that board is not. I just got the heck out of nowhere. What the heck? Wait, stop in now. You can add night crawlers to your. I was. Re I just realized I was on mute the entire time. I was like saying like an oh. entire, an entire thing right there. Oh, okay. I was saying uh because Lee isn't watching Harry Potter tonight. I, I said he's probably gonna message me later tomorrow saying I'm such a Harry Potter fan. So. <laughs> Shut oh my god, Harry oh, Potter is oh. literally the best. No, I'm, I, I don't know if I'll actually like it or not. Like, I actually have no idea. Lewis says I will. Lewis says I like, generally. It's so he's, he thinks it's Lewis says he thinks I'll enjoy it, but I don't know. I know I'm like your typical Fogian, but I don't think I would let, like, I would really, really enjoy something like Harry Potter. I might find it okay, but I won't, like, be obsessed with it. You know, it's not Star Wars. Star Wars is the better one. But then the new trailer rolled in. The Corporation for Lightning Heroics wants you to join our adventure. For those who think clicking on trees all day is relaxing, watch your every accomplishment well, this is down to a number. And then Why is he a Slowly. An ever-expanding world for people who love to watch numbers go up. We keep discovering new areas that we were sure weren't there last week. A cozy adventure filled with plenty of side quests to distract you. But that's not all. Spend dozens of hours picking just the right color shirt to wear. So many items you'll run out of bank space. Hundreds of hand-drawn monsters, all looking to kill you. Play alongside dozens of other adventurers. Join a world where most people stand around in banks all day. The corporation is seeking... It rolls, but I'm not buying this game. We'll get it. <laughs> I'm not getting it. That's perfect. Random GSE? 
Yeah, the story of that one definitely spoke to me <laughs> uh, with a lot of the games that <laughs> I've played over the years. We got Brandon a Jesse, lot going just on a head. with the games inside of this genre. The next one is definitely going to be a curveball for a lot of you, and I'm particularly excited for this one. Let's take a look at Kinfire Chronicles. No, of course, all over. Kinfire Chronicles. What should we want? What come on? What's happening? What? Arcane? Arcane? Wait, what? Huh? Wait, what's happening? This? Wait, I saw Arcane, Arkham. I saw the Witcher, the Witcher I, yeah, too. I, I saw the Witcher. What's happening? I'm so confused. No, no shot. This is made by a big company. That's sweet indie. Nah, 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 nah. Surely, what was that all about? I missed the first sentence. I think that's what mixed me up. If I saw the first bit, I would understand. I just thought Arcane in The Witcher. Uh. How's the chat going, Ted, on, um, as, on the Asmin stream? They go nuts. Uh, they also have monkeys. Oh. Six player characters. 20 plus unique locations. 100 plus unique enemies and NPCs. What is this? 500 cards. Oh, and I got turned off immediately. I heard cards. Seven. D and D? How was it? <laughs> nah. What is? It? Oh, no gameplay. Oh no, okay. As you can see, there's a lot going on there that's different than anything that we've seen so far today. I am very excited to dive into this because I want you guys to hear all about Incredible Dream and to hear about Kinfire Chronicles. Some of the people working on it made some of my ex favorite experiences in gaming, but. I don't need to do the talking because we actually do have an interview right now. It's going to be Asmin sitting down with the CEO and co-founder and talking about everything that's going on. Hey, please do, to the please. Uh, thanks for coming on. Oh, they're here. Yeah, thank you so much for Absolutely. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know, this is uh, CEO of a... Uh, of, uh, What's it called? Incredible Dream, am I right? Sorry, I almost messed that up. Um, Jane Chung Hoffaker, is that right? Yes. Okay, yes it is. And so could you tell us a little bit about kind of your journey before this and like kind of what led you to starting this company and making everything happen? Yeah, sure, thank you. Uh, so I, I've loved games all my life. I think everybody here can relate to that. And um, I can love you gaming. Know, I've, I've met friends in, in games. I've uh, escaped in games. I met my husband in games. And I've been in the game industry for about 12, over 12 years. <laughs> you met a husband in games? And um, you know, basically, well, where's my husband, husband in games too? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no I, I've seen someone like say in the chat, like all caps, married husband, man. <laughs> <laughs> married. <laughs> it did, it did Is she it. real? Um, Female interaction. Well, give her girls, so let's go. Well, if that guy can get a woman online, surely, boy, surely, there's a chance. Uh, talking to a girl. Hog emoji. Uh, what if we just went off and did our own thing? Husband, so, sad um, Pepe. You know, I, I Real woman, Pog. With some, some folks that I really liked, <laughs> and we just really wanted to make it. Pack it up, boy. Uh, really based on the experiences that we've had. I know what I'm going to be doing tonight. Going online. A bunch of other uh, rich experiences that we've particularly had over the last. What's that supposed to be like? Yeah, I bet. Going I online. Bet. Like, online, going for video games. Going to play some online video games. Talk to women. A little bit harder Game than move. reality, and now it seems like almost anything is possible. But what you're doing is you're going back and you're making a tabletop game. And so, okay. what really is the uh, what? What is it? Why? What, what's the tabletop game? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think like if 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 you guys are like me at all, then you probably spend a lot of hours in front of a screen uh, for work or school, or and yeah. you also probably also spend a lot of hours in your personal time playing games on screens. Um, so my thinking is like really when you meet with your friends in person uh, Chances are they probably like games too uh, Why not play games offline with them through tabletop through board games, right? Like um, Kinfire Chronicles is a really special. It's a different kind of social game Friends, what's that? With <laughs> uh, we have a card I know what friends is, but I don't know what grass is. is. I've, I've, I've heard of the myth, but like what is grass? What is the thing they call outside? Video games today. <laughs> 
What is sunlight? What's the V light? What does social mean? As one guy said in the chat, Mr. Lewis Kelly Hill, Kill Kill Kill, Kill Patrick. So it's mainly a focus much more around the social elements of the games rather than the graphics or anything like that. It's just all about kind of how to make that experience that you know, a lot of us grew up having. Uh, Someone in the chat just going, is that Asmund Gold or yeah, Keanu exactly. Reeves? <laughs> okay, well, that's great. Well, how would someone uh, support the project? It's, it's and the child. Can fire I can't, I can't yeah, tell. So Keanu Gold. Be, uh, <laughs> Have you seen the memes that, uh... And you can sign up right so, Lana Rhodes had her a child, right? For exclusive yeah. Free it's keys, a guy, right? Invites to join our play test, Have you seen um, the memes? It's so funny. Like... Online to play virtually. If you it's can't, so uh, good. You know, uh, find a copy of the game to play. For when does Mavant show up? Moto new QD 2D. Uh, Sorry, Lewis. Yeah, so what? You definitely watch the hot tub streams. 100%, Lewis. Yeah. You watch them. Lewis. Lewis, what? Lewis, you definitely uh, bought the fart jar. So this was the game that we just <laughs> <laughs> have a guy to do that. There's a fart jar. Oh yeah, Amber yeah, has fart jars. Yeah. She sells her farts. What? Remember when Belle Del Pain sold her bath water? It's like that same energy, same vibe. Does that, does that also give people herpes? You definitely bought the bath water as well. I do. No, no, G, no, I'm saying that to Lewis. I'm saying that to Lewis. Alright, good. And it have you seen the uh and so you have like the pre -made He says level uh, one out of one hundred and do different things. Have, have you seen the Bel Delphine uh, condoms? Yeah, exactly. It's I have oh yeah, my god. I have this journey with your friends at the table and yeah. Yeah, the games Lewis are, definitely has a packet of those as well. Obviously not from experience, but I've heard that they do not work. Uh, like very like, bad. I, I bet there's like fucking holes breaked inside of them. Yeah, it's like a, um, like a sieve. <laughs> it's like, oh, uh, it's got like just holes everywhere. Yeah, I'm excited to talk about that just a little bit more, because as you mentioned, we did get like a flute, just big holes in the top of it. Uh, How much of that in Baldafine's porn to you? They used for condoms as like fucking advertisement. I mean, now it. I mean, pretty funny, but it does. It does sound like something Baldafine would do. It's gonna be very unique to any <laughs> would be able to play. And what course, game on game of the year? What are you on about? This isn't game. This isn't the game I want. I know what he's trying to do. He's all good. So maybe we'll actually he knows exactly what a fantasy is. Such a goofy, uh, the RPG such a goofy, uh, Asmund will actually probably ban me in his chat for saying this, but I'm kind of bad chesting IRL. This is one of my what? favorite genres in games, <laughs> and the next one's actually got me very excited too. It's coming from Bellular Studio, Coffee Box Games LTD. Let's take a look at the Pale Beyond. Pale Beyond. I see a boat. I'm already on the off. So you're looking a job, eh? Let me tell you. Oh my God! So Pirates of the Car Caribbean, the video the game. Board, the Temperance, a rescue vessel sent out to find her. We should already is a video game, I think. Mean. For real? Yeah. Second in command, you'll be responsible for twenty-four enough. crew members. Well, oh yeah, I'll say that. Actually, count as lead dogs. <laughs> I suggest you study the crew manifest, get to know everyone, and try to keep them on your side. I could save lives one day. Goes for a bit, the crew takes me or the ship. Not to leave you. Oh, these past few, like, uh. John must have been. Life in the ice yeah, just me. they really showed all the good ones at the start, didn't they? Will you make the they showed, like, all the action and cool ass games at the very beginning. Promise me you'll do right for the crew. Uh, it's an open island access. Uh, one PC of thieves looking at. True, Lewis, true. Let's just hope it doesn't come to that, shall we? Although it's not very one piece looking, I get it. But actually, boats. So, Asmin, I'm not sure. Have you actually gotten a chance to play or deep dive anything with Pale Beyond yet? Honestly, I haven't seen anything about it. And uh, so, this is, guys, this is Bellior's game. And I, a lot of people might. Wait, I think it's this, actually a Northern Irish uh, company. Premise, it's actually very, very close to something that happened well. in real life. 
Uh, it was a ship that got caught in the Antarctic. They were trying to go all the way around the world. It got iced over, and uh, they did have to eat the dogs. Oh, but, oh yeah. the Titanic. No, it was no. Uh, what? before that. Oh. Yeah, it was before that. And uh, I think pretty much all of them survived, but it was a massive undertaking. And I think that's really cool to actually take something that actually kind of happened in history and then make it into a, a legitimate game. Yeah, and also, you know, one of the things that I'm pretty excited about, yeah. you know, with Bellular, uh, you, you kind of know that uh, the game's probably going to have a very different monetization scheme than we've seen in other games recently. I, uh, I'll i be curious, you know, like, what if it had, um, you know, a dozen different loot boxes? You What's know, it going to do? Play all the way into it, whatever. And You're I don't know. I, I, well, I really like, the thing that I like about a lot is that it takes, like, that, uh, that you know, like, grisly aesthetic of, you know, going and being... You know, out on the sea, back in the. I would be sleeping right now. I could sleep and wake up, and they still be talking no about this. There's no cell phones. There's no GPS or anything like that. You're just out there surviving. And I, hey. as somebody who's like, I've read some and these way. stories. That's how but I it's not even called fast. It's called expo. I, I, I think Mid expo. It's badass. Nah, uh, uh, I, no, definitely. Game fast. Uh, no, at the rate this is going now, game fast is gonna be better. To talk to Belly no, no. no. The game. Maybe we get him on all craft or something. Ted, you even agree? Uh, the first thirty minutes was the peak of the show. You have action. Nah, first, so the first yeah. hour and a half was awesome. This one is called Ethereal. I'd say honestly, but first two hours. No hour and a half. Uh, that's as far as I'm willing to go. Hour and a half. Can't wait. In fairness. It's more because we don't like the genres. If we liked the genres, we'd probably be chilling right now. Can't wait until the a crew, crewmate from Among Us comes out in the expo to greet Asmund Gold. I love Among Us. Oh. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I cried like so hard at the Among Us love stories on YouTube. Um, see him. And it was so sad, especially the one video where the the roommates got killed by a fucking imposter. Well, <laughs> oh. oh, you guys are making me sound like a child right now. That's your <laughs> version. Of... <laughs> there's like uh, there's like a fucking meme I seen of like some fucking sad anime music being played over like a fucking Among Us an <laughs> animation. No, I know exactly what song it. You're talking about the fucking Poké Girl opening. Yeah, it was like the fucking, uh, it was like the fucking, uh, the two crewmates are getting married, the fucking imposter was fucking stabbed for And no loss. <laughs> and fucking the, the, the red crewmate is like, crying and shit, and he fucking stabs himself. Loose, I got your ass. Pod 4K, 4K. screenshot of them, I know the way. <laughs> and you can't delete what you typed. And I'm tricky though, so you got full on full card. Please don't think you can. Uh, I'm really excited to unpack that one just a little bit more. It, it definitely, I can tell it draws a little bit of inspiration from one of the oh. games that really drew me into gaming, where uh, Asmund actually, I think he's one of the only people who knows the story. Funny, okay. Just uh, how much I loved it, and how kidding. much I dived into it. And lucky for us, I see him smiling over there. But now we're going to throw the camera over there as well, because Asmund is ready for an interview with the lead designer from Ethereal Echoes of Yore. Hey, what's going on, man? How you doing? <laughs> what is that background? What's that background of his game, bro? I've uh, saw this game over the past like month or so. Oh my so, god, Skylanders is in the background. Me, and it's <laughs> I love Skylanders. I love Skylanders too, guys. I want to see all 500 of them in this little game. <laughs> <laughs> I love spending thousands of dollars so, on Skylanders. We started working on Ethereal eight years ago, and oh we'd kind of gotten tired. Well, the amount of money I've spent on Skylanders is nuts. I need to buy. I have to buy a new bottle for each game. Because the past bottle doesn't work. You know, and, and okay, like funny enough, the, um, it literally so was a legitimate game started, at the beginning, but over like the the new games, it legitimately became more of a cash grab uh, every single time. Learn, and we yeah. just took our time with I remember I, I bought Skylanders uh, in Pound Stretcher. My what? My last my last Skylanders game was Swap Force. The one where you can take them apart and then like, swap the Skylanders and it makes them. You were definitely in the Skylanders. You're like a little Skylander kid. I what I literally just said five seconds ago. I said, "Hey, I love Skylanders. Do you want to see all 300 of them in this box? I literally have a box. Look, 
together. I yeah, you definitely like Skyland walked is, around. Skylanders Giants. Yeah, so Giants. I don't care what anyone says. Skylanders Giants is the best Skylanders game. Skylander Skylander Look at this nerd. Look at this nerd. You definitely walked around like with the Skylanders characters in your hand. Like, oh my God. Look at these guys. Skylanders Spyro's Adventure. First game, classic, very good. It's what started it off. But Giants is the best one. I want to hear it. Um, the and then Disney tried to get in on it and Disney, did, 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 yeah, Disney, <laughs> and then the Lego tried to fucking get in on it. Oh, but Lego Dimensions is actually like uh, so yeah, a lot of people very, call it cramped. I actually something feel like the building aspect of it is a very big part of the game. I, I oh, know, it's just like a fucking really Simpsons cool. chapter in it. See that. And you're talking about the soul of MMOs. What are some of the uh, design philosophies behind this game? So, the, all of like the core mechanics of Ethereal, like the craft. I, I played Lego Dimensions. Uh, I did play Lego Dimensions. They're very like. It's all right. Mechanics, but in our opinion, it doesn't <laughs> Although I remember I watched Stumpy play it. Tied together. So, Who did I watch? I, I watched Stumpy play because I didn't get all the DLC crap because I my money was already gone. So. You should impact the server. Uh, um, okay, you should have seen it, right? On Monday, in the, the later classes, everyone was playing, uh, fucking... What was it? Uh... No, it was, uh, Smash. Oh, no. yes, yes, no, yes, it was Smash. Yeah. It was Smash. Yeah, it was Smash. Lee went fucking sweat mode. Like he literally four was not talking. Games in a row, four games in a he row. won four games in a row, and he didn't even—he wasn't speaking. I was like, I, anytime I got a kill, I was like, "Ted, look at that! Look at that!" That's what I was doing. Every server on Ethereal is different. Like, and then because people didn't like playing with Dylan and people didn't like playing with me, when we did the tournament mode, they kept swapping the thing until me and Dylan eventually landed on each other. So we were forced to fight each other. It was so, and then I got clapped. It was so because no one wants to fight Dylan and no one wants to fight me, so I'm forced to fight. Like a macro Look, I actually don't think you understand. Like, when it was everyone playing against each other, like, Lee literally would not speak. He literally wiped the You're controller off his sweat. Oh, that was for jokes, so I was like, like no, but I no, 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 okay. okay. I want to wipe the I generally want to wipe the first I want to get back to him with the pure good sweat. One. On the good sport. one. It was only for so jokes. For yeah, so I would have left a sweaty for him if it was for the jokes. I would have cleaned it for him. I'm a nice guy. Up to this, it could be like, say, they're trying to, a cult is trying to summon a demon boss. And so crafters will be involved in this because they need to gather magical materials that enchanters and blacksmiths will create like wards, like... This interview is still going on. What have they even talked? We haven't even been listening to them. Actually manageable or easier or what? I guess people will care that it's a puzzle game. ...are not only tied to the best combat players... Oh, that was funny, though. ...tied to having the most dedicated crafters and the most dedicated crafters... Imagine, like... Smash is fun. like a lot, and I gotta ask, like... What do you think really is gonna separate... Surely there's not another... John Ron. <laughs> Surely. Like, I gotta go to bed now? Jesus Christ. Yes. I never thought okay. it. <laughs> it's, it's half turn. Yeah, another, another funny minute. I gotta watch Harry Potter. <laughs> no, I'm gonna bed in 20 minutes, not watching Harry Potter. I'm just gonna go to bed in 20 minutes. Isn't it Thursday? Isn't it Wednesday though? Isn't Thursday? I have, after? To, I have to go on He's Thursday. going in. I have to Cause go. he didn't get his work done. I tried wow. to do it. I literally have 15 minutes left. How can I do five I don't sheets think, in 15 minutes? I don't think you understand the speed running I was oh, doing. Oh, you were going fast. <laughs> Lee, you lost the follower. Unlucky. I do a blipping way. We lost the follower? It was Lee. Yeah. It was Lee. It was Lee. It probably was. Because <laughs> you, you probably, like, humiliated him on stream. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what class. team of four we created in three days. Oh so my it god. Took, it took nah, you... she deserve it. ...to creating the dungeon, which is quite interesting. <laughs> what? How many players can be in a dungeon? Oh, you mean, I was a bit confused. Uh, so we have anything from 5 to 20 man dungeons. Oh. Uh, so dungeons in Ethereal are what you'd expect from, like, um, like traditional MMOs. Like, you just go into an instant zone and you clear the up and all the bosses. Okay. But then raids are a separate thing where, like I said, that involves the entire community where, like, crafters are involved, oh. and gatherers and traders and so on. So that's the separation between dungeons and raids in Ethereal. Okay. Yeah. Why do you want me to Honestly, check your Discord? Seems pretty exciting. So when do you think it's gonna? Right. Ah. So I, I love OC, man. Same here. It's, so it's under a year for Actually. And, uh, yeah, it's a good game. 
Have we played it recently, or have you not played it recently? I, I played it, uh, last time I played it was around two days ago. What are you talking about? Osu, Monkey's play, played it. Oh yeah, no, I haven't. What, uh, what's, what are stars? Where you at? Like, the rank? Um, currently I'm working my way up to fully, uh, I think it's either two and a half or three and a half. Oh nice. Working my way up to four. Yeah, I, I'm trying to uh, get good at seven stars, but it's like my fingers like just don't move that fast. You see, when you get if well, if you get to four four stars, right? And we have the gap of four and five. It's actually like quite a big gap. How you guys feeling? I'm feeling good, but. Soda pop and I can love Osu, guys. You guys. Have that on one of them. It's your Twitter. Don't you have that on YouTube? Not Are you telling us the truth? I do. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I like the game. I just get right. bored of it quickly. Not, <laughs> not the Twitch. Okay. What, what do you, What do y'all think? Uh, you go ahead. I mean, I I, I think it all looks great. You know, yeah. what, one kind of. Uh, I think one of the big themes that we're seeing across all these RPG games, they they all kind of harken back to like, uh, the old school feel. Right, they're like, oh, like we want like an old school MMO feel. We want an old yeah. school RPG feel. I just realized and, uh, the E3 the reason for that 2022 recap the website, it's going to go nuts. They're going to have like 50 base, plus games yeah. on the site just instantly. Like, oh, well, I, I want to have this. I want to have this that, that I played in that game. I think it was, uh, uh, I think it was uh, Genfanad that had, uh, it, it was, it was, uh, it drew inspiration from RuneScape that I talked yeah. about before. Yeah. So, um. No, it's it's very very cool to see uh, that that's kind of a focal point for a lot of these studios, for a lot of these developers, and uh, I'm excited to see going forward what they come up with. I'm kind of excited to see where this ethereal game goes because mm -hmm. one thing that's really interesting to me about it is the fact that this they game, have, like, this is not interesting dungeons, to me. This game, but the difference it seemed is it wasn't my type like of game. super fast paced because whenever you're my talking about these dungeons, game. oftentimes it's just shut up, right play. Action time, move out of this, move out of that, mm -hmm. move out of this, move out of that. Shut up, so fucking Fortnite player. Oh, what do you mean? Literally asked me to play Fortnite the other day. I'm looking at you know, there's three types. Yeah. And you know it's I true. That's why you're laughing. Because you know <laughs> it's true. No, I you did. Fortnite not kid. the other day. I did when I was starting to play it again with Lewis. But I didn't do it like like last week or the week before. What do you mean? You Fortnite kid. Oh, Lewis wants to know if you want to play me. Like how many of these games we have? And like I've watched how many YouTube videos? Oh no, wait, no, I started, I had a stroke. No, oh, it's like wow. you you want to play League, Ted. Yeah, that's that's sorry, sorry. Oh. Years, they've developed a picture of a 3D model. Yeah, Ted, you want to be a League player? Of How do you feel about that? You know, it's not exactly very promising with the hey. stars. People worry right. about this, but the thing with Ethereal is League was the person trying to get me on that game. game. No, <laughs> I just mentioned it because I have played it. No, and I no, liked no, it. no, no, I enjoyed no, playing no, League. No, no, I enjoyed you playing League. Said to Lewis yesterday. I enjoyed playing League. No, on Monday. Thing, as you're trying to get me addicted to league so, and they're just making a content maybe right? yeah. things i noted when you were doing your interview there great <laughs> yeah. questions by the way the uh, question I is who would lead me in in league building, you already know big. well you fled with me DPS i know i know you play jinx but, but like jinx and lux I, I, jinx and lux yeah. Um, Sky. You already know I played Lux. I played Lux all the time when I was playing with you. I, I knew it was Shakes, but I couldn't remember it was Lux. It's been like so long since I played League. I would have asked how many and since then, my life has like been a lot better. I am like Palpatine. I went up to Ted and I was like, do it. Do it. Like, as soon as I uninstalled League of Legends, I went outside and I sniffed some grass and it smelled lovely. No, what you did was you started your PS5 up and started playing Persona 5. <laughs> no, that was a few weeks ago. <laughs> that's, why, that's Persona 5 Royal. You, you hopped on Persona 5. To all the servers, right? Well, so I was playing. I was playing. Uh, no, 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 no. A lot of the games that we've played growing up is individual servers would have their own culture, <laughs> and not every server was the same. So that's exactly what uh, what you're talking about. Uh, I think it's it's totally. You know what's a really good happen. game? I, I Among Us. Oh yeah, I love Among Us. Really nice Among Us. Uh, fan art is the best. It was great. And so love I, Among I think us. that's definitely true. Um, and, and like so do you I'm a guy. Like occasionally there are those servers where all of the uh, pr 
the professional players. What are your favorite on tasks in Among Us? Um, another game that well, my favorite you know, task is definitely connecting the wires. That is yeah. so yeah. fun. I love that task. I know. Mr. Green, what is your favorite task? And the med base to keep my You are sad. That takes out the fun. Okay, no, realistically, realistically, though, my favorite task. It's the most aid sometimes. But I do like Simon Says. Simon Says. I, I like the one where you get all the rubbish out of oh, the ship. Oh, yes, but that also includes your initial so. No, uh, I like yeah, doing that fun, because you know? anyway, I like to think it's Lee and I'm just it the putting him in the space. Like <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, I, I find yeah, that okay, quite funny. Ironically, my favorite yeah, task is the right. admin so card swipe. The what? The admin card swipe. That is the easiest pack ask in the game. No, no. There's two ways to do it. You either grab it and you do it slowly, and it does it. Which you're clearly not doing, you're probably doing it fast. Or the better tactic, which if someone like you should be doing. You grab it and you just go, yeah, brrr, you go like mega fast, up, down, up, down, up, down, and it counts as you doing it slow for some reason. Like you just go sycamore on it and it's a glitch and it, you did. No. Yes. No. No, no. It's an easy task. You just don't know how to do it because you're dumb. Uh, no, you said I don't know how to do it. You literally said it's your least favorite task, so clearly that means you have to do it. It's a, no, it's, I said it's my favorite task. No way you I said know. it's my favorite task. Yeah, I mean, I said, unironically, my favorite task is the Adam and Carp's life. I don't know why. So left my body to go to Mochi Tower 7. 30 minutes, like an hour and 30 minutes, somewhere around there, of like play testing of mm -hmm. it. And like, of course, you can't finish anything in that time period. So oh. I'm kind of curious to see what's going to happen whenever the game's actually out. And it's like how expansive. I'll bring your cheeks 16 times you over. Is it so, what, my cheeks? I think it's going to be great. We, we had two other games that we yeah. got to watch. There was, um, um, I'm looking at the picture Ben sent with him and his fucking dog. I mean, it's kind of how look at his dog. He's like looking at him. And to stare. People. Like I don't remember the guy's name. They had made a number of like books. And, uh, I haven't looked at the basement gang. Chat a while. What are you talking about? Like oh my god! And, uh, you know, that is just a meme picture. That is a meme. Make that. Make Bailey a meme. Make Ben's dog a meme right now, boys. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Course, Fucking miser. <laughs> just like it's such a yeah, so odd-looking face. That's one thing I thought was really cool. Kind of based on something real. Yeah. But you can move it around and change it up a little bit. So. Uh, I thought that was cool, and also the the Genfinob. What I liked about that is that there was never any sense of like, oh, like it, it's like they just said like, yeah, give us money. Yeah, we need money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, yeah. So you guys are gonna you're, you're gonna pay us money. That's yeah. about it. No, I think oh, there's a fan to, to, to talk about. What is it over? And you yeah. mentioned this earlier. That's Bellular's game. Yeah. You know, and Bellular's talked about it a lot, and Bellular's he's a friend of ours, and we're fans of his, and uh, it's just cool to kind of see like the uh, see it all kind of come together, you know? Oh, see, seeing a friend's game, you know, kind of like see it on the big screen. I, 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 uh, I don't know Bell you are personally, but I saw the voice act or heard the voice acting. And I was like, oh, this trailer's pretty cool. And mm -hmm. then, of course, I saw the art of the boat. I was like, this looks kind of grim. And then you tell me it's a real story. I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, oh that's even more grim. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, and I saw there's probably going to be some serious decision making. You know, oh, what's happening? What did I just do? You're the captain. You're yeah. probably going to send people off to die. Otherwise, everyone dies. And it's even you call fighters bad. Uh, that is me, Ted. I think Spider is game, not Spider. Was... Wait, hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, You thought Fighters yeah, about the set? So you talking about Fighter games in general uh, or Dragon Ball Fighters? Okay, so oh Jesus I Christ! I must know. I must yeah. know your context. Yeah. How do you say it? Uh, I'm assuming you mean Dragon Ball Fighters. Oh, you're such a nerd. Uh, wait, am I correct though? Am, am I correct? Yes. You for the first said it's supposed to be Dragon Ball Fighters. So, um, <laughs> it's, 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 you're such a nerd. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, that, that's just how you spell the game, bro. Sorry, no, it's not my, not my fault. Right now, does that make sense, or is that a phoenix? Oh, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. You don't know, bro. It's not my fault. You don't know. What is this? Game. Move on. Time sync, you know, it's like uh, RuneScape inspired, you know. What? The the start of the stream, right? The start of this entire event when they were showing uh, Neo Dash, the racing game, and they were also showing off the crab fighting game. 
and Otsu, the art type game. They're so good, such good games. And now we're looking at this. What is that? Farming. What's that? What's that? And they even said they're like, yeah, level up useless. I am fed up. Oh, I'm actually. Okay, good. You know, I like that. Fed up with Ted. No, no wool bullion pulled over. I'm not sure. I'm lucky saying the blocks. The blocks. This is what it is. And I. When did I say Roblox? I did not say Roblox in the last like half an hour. Wait, I. Y'all were. I'm just talking. I'm not going. I have college tomorrow, but this is a fun Yeah, yeah, I bet. We got schedules. Uh huh. That was fantastic. Well, anyway, I, I, I have to say, I'm very excited about the Ethereal game. But anyway, guys, listen, what you're excited for, <gasps> let us know on the Discord. Oh, I'm excited for the stream then. Please then. We're going to be announcing the Please. <laughs> the games that you vote for are going to be getting a 50,000 grant, $50,000 grant, and also... Ted, how would you feel doing all nighter on the stream? Stream. Just watching this event all night. Back over to Rich and, uh, hey. yeah. Anything for OTK? <laughs> oh. It does look like RuneScape. Oh, here we go. We got we got the Razor headset. Now we got the Razor mouse. Oh my god! I love Razor! I actually need to get a new mouse, so this mouse is... No, it's beyond, no this mouse I have is beyond cleaning, Ted. I need a new mouse. Don't get the mouse of holes because your sweat will just kill the mouse. Yes. Agreed. You, you weird guy. Oh. Because if I get one of holes, you can't even clean inside it because it's like the point you get. It will be uh. dead. So, I fucking love Razor. This this stream is sponsored by Razor. Yo, how you doing? So, we are moving into the last category of the day. Yes! This one is all world premieres, and I don't even think we've really teased it yet. We have some huge announcements that are going to be coming up in this last category. Let's Fighters. kick it off. It's time for some Fighters. exclusives. Dragon Ball oh, Fighters no, too. Nope, it's just, it's just exclusives. Exclusive. Interesting. Okay, now time to look at the stream. Time to look at nothing else. <laughs> when we started OTK, we had one goal, and one goal only. And that was to buy Smite. And now, I'm Wait, going to throw it over to Mizzy Wizzy for some interesting developments. Buy Smite? Imagine playing Smite. Ladies <laughs> and First of all, I would like to thank Mr. Smite for uh, representing us out here. Oh yeah, I'm pretty this sure this is sponsored by Smite as well. Crazy announcements. We have only exclusives from now on. Oh. So, as you all know, OTK has been a Smite family for decades now. We uh, uh, are with Smite. I know about that one, Chief. I play Smite all the time. And Smite's fun. I wouldn't know. I would love it. Bigger and bigger every single year. But what if I told you that we are about to announce Smite's family getting bigger? That's like what? That's right. Wait, are they gentlemen. sponsored by Smite? Tonight, they are. Hey, the world premiere of Smite. We are going to announce. We've already seen Smite's been out for like what years now? Roll the tape. Lancelot. Trailer. The words I speak <laughs> of a night. I dedicate myself to lives beyond my own. I will embody humility. The only thing I know about Smite is they had a teenage mutant ninja turtles collaboration. That's all I know about Smite. Wait, what? Yeah, you, 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 didn't, you didn't know that? No, I don't I don't pay attention to Smite. Well, neither do I. I just came up because I like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is the oath of a knight. The round table. Oh my god, Elden Ring. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> <Round table. laughs> Lancelot is coming to Smite in June 2022. It is very soon. It is June 2022. It's here. Lancelot is coming to Smite. He is the newest god that is going to be available. And you just saw the world premiere of Lancelot. 
Night of the Round Table. Night of the Round Table. But we're not done with Smite news. Oh. We have another thing coming to Smite. Smite. So. By two. We the sequel. Have not a new god, but something that goes with the gods. A new skin. Ladies and gentlemen, this should be an OTK the world skin. premiere of the OTG Athena <laughs> skin. I was, uh, yeah. Oh. Oh. I mean, I was just the same tool. I didn't know. You get an extra hour to party. Daylight Raving. Daylight Raving. Up, OTK Games Expo. My name is One True God, and I'm super excited to announce my collab coming out later this month with Night Mode and Smite. Features two of my songs, Addicted and I See You, and a One True God skin for a theme. I just, it's my actually good though, because I always thought about playing it, yeah, and, but uh, I never I, did though. I never did. I haven't. I haven't played it. Uh, I don't look bad. Yeah, because it doesn't look bad. I just never really like my brain was just like, ah, I'll download it someday, and I never did. Yeah, that name sounds awfully familiar. OTG Athena <laughs> skin is going to be released, uh, chat. It is coming out as well. It is a brand new skin for Athena, one of my favorite ooh. gods of Smite. Honestly, I love Athena so much. But there's one more thing I have to announce. Remember, these are all world premieres, chat. Now, this one I think you guys are going to absolutely love. And I think the people who are going to love this <laughs> are people that have been banned from my chat for the past three years. <laughs> so, anyway. Smite has been a trendsetter since the dawn of time right we've loved smite how many it's people does great. he actually ban like a day in his chat a smite didn't do it alone they've been having multiple crossovers with teenage mutant ninja turtles oh what did i say otg athena skin they do crossovers with everybody pretty much yeah but what if i told you there's a new crossover that's about to happen that is level 99 in their scale I'm ladies and gentlemen OTK. The world premiere announcement of the RuneScape we... crossover for no way. RuneScape crossover. Yeah, no way. I love this song. <laughs> I say it, but like, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what the heck? It's just what am like... I watching? Wait, that's it. High poly uh, smite okay. people I with the fucking low poly runescape characters. That's actually it. No. One tap hey. for making that and grabbing Whoa. the Whoa. I appreciate it. Oh, you didn't get it? You, you, didn't, you, didn't, get it. you didn't get it. Smite, we're all very excited uh. about it. I know you are. But I still have more. <laughs> Lewis I said, what is that garbage? I have like five pages of it. My god, what is this day? So, <laughs> currently I'm doing smite month, where I play smite a bunch. People get skins, it's a great day. But I'm not just doing Smite Month. In fact, these next two announcements are for my channel. Boys and girls, I'm it is a, a privilege to announce that I will be oh, doing smite. a Smite invitational on my channel. Oh, we still talk about Smite. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. There's only one yeah, nipple. I had to bring in a tailor for Where's my nipple tape? Whoa, what's happening? I'm a smite player. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have the statue on the left and everything. I know, Blue Boy. Just shut up. Oh, dude, that's so hot. Holy fuck. Wait, what is this, then? Right oh, Osu... No. No. That can't. I mean, technically, that can happen if people just, you know, add the song in the mod songs. Wait, wait a minute. That's a different game. That's Cyberpunk. Oh. What the fuck? Here we are. <clears throat> Welcome to the OTK Smite Invitational. <clears throat> Eight teams, four <clears throat> of your favorite creators, will fight it out for a one hundred thousand dollar prize. Bam, one hundred thousand dollars. June twenty seventh, live at twitch.tv slash miskiff. How long is this event? But I think it's ending soon. I, I do you. I mean, do. Yeah. No, no, because they're doing all these announcements. They did say they did say it's the they did say this is the last the category. Uh, I no fighting games, but sad, so honestly. Me a huge favor, but hey, not everything's a massive W. We had a couple of cool games shown. Whatever, but go to the tweet 
and just comment on I'd like to post that one and a half. Uh, it's pretty decent, be... pretty awesome. What? Are you... Uh, stream. Don't lag at me now. Are you gonna compete? Are you gonna compete? No. Well, then I'm not gonna do it. What do you mean? Why can't you compete? I haven't played the game yet. There's a smite god for everybody. What What would be my smite god? There's a BuzzFeed quiz. Oh, that, I thought that was for Harry Potter. Yeah, you could play. Who do you think? You yeah, you can do it. How's you in? Oh my god. Give me a cap remain. Uh -huh. You might like Ares. Oh, the God of War. Okay. God of War. All right, yeah. I like that. God of War. Zach, Zach Rar might be attempting. We don't know. But and my, my spiritual pet is an also. Because I'm cute and cuddly and tiny. Say, please play. It will definitely I also travel in packs. Uh, that's not why I'm I actually do not want anybody that, that is right. Smite. So if you played Smite before, you're probably not in the tournament. It's kind of just a fun tournament that we're going to be doing with some of your favorite creators, and it is not serious whatsoever. So if you're a Smite main, I don't know if that still exists. You're not in the Smite tournament. I'm sorry. So there's one more announcement. This announcement some people have been waiting for for months. Now, it's I have to my phone is freaking out. To Hello. For this announcement. Hey, okay, chill. This she's is, she's uh, a step too. This is crazy to me because it's actually a dream come true. I never thought something big, like this big would happen. Big, big announcement. OTK, you're up and coming. <laughs> but chat. I can't, I don't know how to say this. I've been playing this uh, one god on Smite. His name is Thanatos. I have 22,000 kills with him and like 200 pentacles. Taggy films voices in Smite. I only play Thanatos. <laughs> and I am so honored to say that I Wait, what? will be <laughs> the Nados. I have Let's make some What is that? <laughs> so bad. <laughs> that was some good smite. He's in smite. No way that's it. Hey, quit staring at my box. What is that? <laughs> he's, a, he's a skin. He's a playable character. Yeah, no way. In fairness, the eggs are his logo, so... It's Miskiff! <laughs> it's Miskiff! <laughs> it's Miskiff, everybody! Is it done? Wait, it's been done? You wanna, you wanna I, play it again? I literally took a week off for that. That's an excuse. I literally took a week off. I'm sorry. I took voices. I, also, uh, well, I can't take one hand. Wait, there's more announcements? Sit down. Yeah, we just got a call from production. I'm sorry. Your skin's really cool. I worked on that for like a, a month. It's really pog. Well, you don't you get it, Miz? It's like, you know, the egg and it's his head. I mean, that's cool, right? You think Seri it's cool? Seriously, that's you got it. Cool. You got to sit wow. down. Wow, it's like the egg and they're telling me. Oh, God, I'm bobbing. Wow. Oh, God, it's going everywhere, boys. June 14th, it comes out. Chad. You're dying. Wow. And we're going to take Maybe a look I am at so what? else that High res has to offer here. Thank you, Miz. I'm sorry. I didn't hear that. It's OK. It's Thank okay. you, security. All right, moving along. So next up, Paladins is going to. Oh, be it's Paladins! Very interesting. Paladins is going to be. I used to be so addicted to this game when I had my Switch. This is the first game I got on my Switch. Everything Paladins and Ruby. I I think Overwatch is better. Paladins is just a, like a essentially a ripoff of Overwatch. It's the, yeah. But it's so fun at times, though. It is fun. I was getting the kill streaks in this game. I used to get like 50 kills without dying. I was nuts. What is this FPS? Yeah. Well, not. What is this crossover? Bruh. But I haven't played Paladins since I got the Switch back in 2017. So a lot of things probably happened in this game. Like, for example, I, think it's, I think it's a wave crossover because I see a lot of Ruby. people like saying we win. I know. Oh, is this Ruby? Ruby. Is this Ruby? Yeah. Yeah, it's the very shitty show that's been probably animated on fucking Miku Miku Dan. Mark your I hope Ruby's so good though. I mean, it makes sense for all the crossovers. Like, there's tons of crossovers for Ruby. I heard the story's good, but uh, from what I've seen of it, the animation isn't very good. Take a look at that. Well, that's a lot of anime nowadays. It's very buggy. Also, we have some announcements coming out from Rogue Company. I actually played a bunch of Rogue Company Rogue back Hokey when you first were able Whoa. to play it. But let's take a look <laughs> at Ooh. their trailer. This is one of the first looks at the cinema. Maybe Shrekshin starts to too bad of an idea because I have not moved at all. At this launch cinematic. Ted, how about you stand up for me and stretch even though we can't see you? A little oh. stretchy. Rogue. This is what I think it is. Situation. Broke company. We've saved the world. Yep. Broke company. But this 
this is like nothing we face. Who was wasn't it you and Monkey that wanted to play this game? And I said I'd try it out. I don't know. What if you said you wanted to try it and I said oh, I'll try it with you one day? And then that never happened. Rogue Company cannot let Jackal win. Who? I'm not gonna lie, the last hour and a half has been pretty mid in this event. It was so good before though, it was, it was really fun. It paid. What are you even doing, World Company? I don't even know what you're doing. I have uh, no clue. All I know is you shoot each other. Oh my god, it's freaking Mike from the VR YouTube channel. Nobody's gonna get that, by the way. Unless you watch Mike, the YouTuber, who does VR content. You're not gonna do it. Oh, I am totally going to do it. L. L. I'm actually missing a dummy. Aim better. Oh, well. They were blank for it. They have added so much new stuff since the beta. So if you did enjoy Rogue Company when you first got a chance to play in the beta, definitely check it out now. They have new maps, new rogues, everything. Wait, so the game was never actually probably out, and it's just better? That, they are having a little bit of a thing going out. on in game for oh. the official launch, and you're going to be. My brain is so fried right now. Rewards if you do check it out, but high res is really kicking it into high gear. We just haven't eight in hours. I've just been drinking. This gives new skin and smite, but <laughs> they have one more. It's going to be a brand new game. We're getting to look out for the first time, and this one is called Divide Knockout. Oh, knockout. Knockout's in the name. Ah, uh, that's not what I thought it was going to be. Okay. <laughs> is that all? You're not going to show us anything? I don't want to. You're going to show us a bit more. And that is the first look that we've had at the game. It's a third person physics brawler. And I, I believe we might actually get to check out some words from the devs. I've just been informed that we actually have a video from the devs to talk about. It's not going to be a live interview with Asmin. So let's take a look at everything that the devs had to say about the process of actually making. You play mod check. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Asmin got so excited. He's about to get an interview there, but then never mind. Hi guys, my name is Alex. I am Alex. At Moisty Thetics. And I'm not. And we're from Red Beer Games, a new studio from Hi Res. Well, not that new. This is true. Also Why did he speak French? In Atlanta to give you a did he not say he's from Brighton? Brand new game. Wait, you could speak English this whole time? Are we? No, let's check Am I bugging? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, no, Ted, I'm, my brain's already fried for talking to you, monkey, for three and a half hours straight on this event. Welcome to Divine Noko, a world of myth and Anything that man. happens now, it just makes sense to me now. It's just, it's, it's just, it's just the way it is. And brawl, a small brawl, free brawl. Yo, I'm gonna kick everyone's ass in this. Divine Noko doesn't even look that bad. I'm kicking your ass, Ted. physics brawler. It's kind of a Fucking new thing. Blob your insides, we pull out your intestines. We you wish. I'll, I'll turn you inside out. out. Yes, I'll do Ted. I'll do the worst thing imaginable. I will remove your glasses and then snap. Oh, uh, the way you don't go for my long. Yeah. Boy, that's the pussy move, man. You don't go for some of my long. You're going for my glasses. I wouldn't be able to say. This is a world with expressive characters and destructible environments, full of hype moments, impactful abilities. <laughs> He's still fighting though, he's just blind. No he's like, Felma, where? Jinkies, where's my glasses? Yeah, but if I punch you along, I win. Game over. But, but, but I don't win if I hit your. If I hit your. If I break your glasses? Hey. Hmm. It's about who wins, isn't it? Oh. Whoa. Literally a one pump knockout. This game actually looks pretty cool. No, yeah, no, it does. I, it does look pretty nice though. It does. You yeah, adventure sure, across yeah. different game modes and maps with your friends. Mm -hmm. We want you to be juggling 3D foes, Smash. Not oh. struggling with controls. <laughs> I mean, kinda, yeah. Foes with controls. Uh, ça sonne mieux en français. 
DKO's launching. You, you know what's gonna be better than this Xbox game though, Dad? I want you to guess. What's gonna be better than this game? We'll see. We'll see. Nothing sounds better in French. Right, no. I want you to listen. What's gonna be better than this game? Come on. Multi is me multi forces, baby! <laughs> and even better, you won't need to wait. I can love multi How do they release like a whole new, like, but you can sign up uh, like a few characters on multi on this? this. Oh my god, better than Midfest. And be sure to follow us on the video game for more updates off. as we head into our Stop bullying my Jeff Keely! <laughs> my wee Jeff. Oh. Summer Game Fest is good, it's just sometimes it's not good. Medicated. Oh, he's saying it now, boy. Speaking of playing, I'm very excited. Do you want to fight? Of our show because oh. Asmund's actually right. going to be playing something and we'd yeah, like to see him mauled out live on stage. Uh, we do have a trailer ready for this one as well, so we're going to watch. Did you time? know? Did you know? About what? That you were going to play? I knew I was going to play. I didn't know there was a trailer. Yeah, I believe we get to actually look at the trailer right now, too. Well, how about that? <clears throat> let's take a look. What's Ladies happening? and gentlemen, let's take a look at Crow, Crow Swan. Swan. I actually don't know what's happening. I'm so, I'm so lost. POV, you're in today's gaming room. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shut up. But my gaming room's not that bad. It's a bit... <clears throat> it's cold, it's cold. <laughs> But it's uh, and it's a bit moist because it's sweaty. But other than that, you're good. There's nothing. <coughs> Wait, what is the game? I actually didn't even listen to what they were saying. I'm so bad. I this. can't remember the name. <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks cool though. Oh, it's Smooth Monkey. He's the fucking plague doctor. Yo. We all know monkeys picking this game up now. Yo, yo, another, another, uh, Hollow Knight? Another Hollow Knight type game? Oh, I like the animations. We're having another Hollow Knight type game, baby. This one's from being mid again to being oh, good. Oh, these animations are making me cream. Yeah, <laughs> Wait, what did you say? Animations? Animations. That's kind of the same art style as well. It yeah. is. No, yeah. no, it's like Biogon. Do you see that when they, like, Knight? go Morbius mode into the lights? <laughs> you see that? Yes, I see it. Dude, this is kind of sick. This is like, have a nice death, Biogun and Hollow Knight. All these three games together. This is nuts. Wait. It's Morbius, like, one of Brothers. Oh my god, yeah. It's Morbius. No, 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 you're bugging, you're bugging. Mor Mor It'd be so funny, Mo uh, Morbius versus Shaggy. Like, so explain. You're a vampire. <laughs> Wait, is that one? Oh. <laughs> you see a little abs in the Is it time? Is it finally time? Do I get to play this game? I can't hear anybody. Oh, it's not working. <laughs> they should have tested it beforehand. Hey, oh, it's, hey what's it's up, working man? working there. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, I absolutely can. Ah, how you cool. doing? Doing well. Doing your, how you doing yourself? Uh, I'm doing okay. All right, so we are here with Crow Sworn, and my understanding is you have a boss fight. This game actually looks really nice. Me? Yeah, well, that's uh, exactly <clears throat> it. I'm uh, an expert in Elden Ring, and I beat all the Dark Souls games. I think I'll have to flex that. Uh, moving around, I, I actually really like this a lot. It reminds me a lot of uh, one of my favorite games, Bloodborne. Uh, I so, like the aesthetic. I of oh, it's actually the, uh, nice. I actually yeah, do like Bloodborne. Really, really oh, yeah, well, 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 <laughs> Bomb bands back. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh my god, it's best of bombs in the band. They said I couldn't try it. What game? Wait, what game today? You want to get a knife? Oh, the cat game. The cat game. They want the cat game. Yeah. Well, actually, look good. It looked rage inducing. So I go up there and let's. Oh, 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 oh. Beat all of the Elden Ring, my ass. Alright, alright. So we're. Oh, done. Thing when he dies. Yo, like, that is actually kind of sick. That was good. That was good. Bro, I think the game's bugged. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is it supposed to play like this? Uh, yeah. There's a. You're missing the farming component, but it's working. Okay. All right. All right. All right. It's fine. I, I try it again. I try it again. We're gonna beat his ass. All right. Here beat we go. Beat his ass. So, um, is there like a cheat code the I can seed. use? Or do I have to actually like? 
actually the the last um, the last demo update they sent you was literally the thing that took out the cheat codes. Okay. Um, yeah. That's not looking good. All right. So I jump over here and then, oh, man, bro, how you? No, I, okay. All right. All right. Well, if I go right here, okay, good. And then oh, go over there. Yeah, oh, I see. I know I did it right. Okay. Wait, this game looks good. I know. All right. All right. So watch good. out. He's dead. Oh, yeah, you're also not using Yo. your healing. But how much is this game on uh, Steam right now? Uh, Give me. I don't know what it's mapped to on yours. Probably. Uh. Let me see. Keyboard. <clears throat> uh, heal is A. Okay, heal is A. I got it. Okay. I feel like uh, I can't remember that. Let's, let's, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. Let me let me try and heal. Okay, we're good. All right, guys, it's it's all right. I I beat him right here. Here we go. Oh. Let's try this out. Yeah, there it is. Come on, fuck on. Yeah, he's just, he's just trick right, acting. Right, he's right, just trick acting. He's actually not as bad. He's just trick acting, guys. Okay, all right, jump over. Jolly. Good. Good. Jolly. Shit. Okay. Uh, oh my, dude, how you avoid that? Oh my. Yeah, you didn't jump right, into right, it. I, oh, it's in the middle. <sighs> okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I jump this. I jump this. I jump. Okay. I jump over here. All right. What's he gonna do? <laughs> What, what, Ashwin is getting destroyed. Okay. All right, all right, jumping. All oh, the jackets coming off. Yo, Mo, you are ahead of me by like 15 oh. seconds. Here we go. It's like, I'm you said the jackets back. coming off, and he had me. Okay. He only uh, just so took it off. This is one of the hardest bosses, right? It's one of the hardest ones. Uh, it's it's like yeah. Let's go with that. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. That's good. Yeah. See, I mean, it's one of the hardest ones, guys. Yeah, I'm not even worried about. it. All right, all right, here we go. I'm, I'm gonna take it seriously this time. So I run up on him, I hit him with the with the scythe, I jump over him, and then he does this bullshit where he jumps up, I go back down, I hit it, I jump away, he jumps right See, there. He's only trick acting, guys. He's actually really good at the game. See, there we go. All right, I jump. There's no way, bro. There's no way. Okay, all right, I got that Damn, one. Damn, that's when gold is Gaming. dodging. Okay, all right, move out of that. Good. And then I jump. Okay, it's, just like, it's just like it's just like Elden Ring, guys. Oh, he's too deep. Okay, mate, he's actually getting kind of fiddled here. Well. What is that? He was doing so good. Now he's getting destroyed. He's doing so good. Now he's getting destroyed. Move away from him. I know. <laughs> well, how do you know I was gonna be up there? Yeah, you're also there's a dodge roll in this one too, so you're not using that one. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Jack he won. And there's an air dash to help you just like hover in the air a bit. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. All right. That's that's gonna help. That's gonna help. All right. So. Oh. Oh. And then the air dash. What was that again? Uh, it, should, it should it should work if you just press the regular evade in the air. I think. I get it. All right. All right. Now that's it. See, I I just didn't know how to play. Now I'm gonna beat him. Yeah, yeah. It's Here all good. Go. It's all good. It's all good. First try. Surely. First try. No, I think no, Lewis, I think this is the last thing. This is the last thing though, surely. 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 Okay. <laughs> it's yeah. Lewis. That not yeah, uh, right. Like oh my god. No, this right, game's right, pretty right. cool. No, you all can admit that. This game over. is oh, pretty nice looking. Cool. Jump over. See, I knew that was gonna happen. I actually had no idea. Okay, alright, that's good. And I'm right here. Okay, good. And now he's gonna do the thing. I jump. He didn't do the thing. Okay, and then you did the thing. This, and then I God, you get away from me. Come <laughs> on, man. I did, did, did. Okay, all right, all right, good. I, I'm actually good. I'm at, no, uh, what? No. Okay, I can beat this right, my right, first try. Right, this is, uh, nice. what's the name of the team? Bro, I, I beat him. I beat him. He's 100% dead here. Wait, oh, Rose no, worth. I gotta do this again. Rose yeah. Wolf? Yeah. yeah. Okay, easy, was, easy Wolf. Fine, easy Wolf. It again. That's what it is. is. I'm gonna turn off damage. Is that my monkey? Easy Wolf. Okay. Wait, no, it's not Crow's Worth, it's Crow's Worn. Never mind. Oh, what? Easy one. Easy one. Easy one. Probably. Was I... Was I close? How long is it? Do, is he playing this until he beats the boss? In that case, I don't think I'm going to be sitting around. Okay, probably. okay. Alright, yeah, see, yeah. I, it was like one yeah. hit. It was uh, one hit. Okay, almost there. Alright, we do it. We can do it. It's fine. Okay. Wait, oh, I hit the wrong <clears> one. It's uh, okay. Yeah. I did that on purpose. That's right. Style. Yeah. He's not healing. Okay. Hey, it was a heal. All right. <laughs> and then, okay, that was. Okay, he's getting hit by the things oh, he shouldn't be getting hit by. <laughs> okay, what? Well, I think it was A. Oh, right, uh, so, at least you got some back. Yeah. Stay getting clapped, wasted a heal. Yeah, I got no. Wait, he wasted two heals? 
this easier whenever you yeah he uh he healed and then got like hit as he was healing and he healed again that's no how many heals is he on good i think it's uh okay 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 oh yeah the stuff under his health bars must be his heals all right this is where i went this is where i went Mind keeps jumping into them. Nah, Stay in the middle. Oh no! Last time. Oh we my did god. Uh, Oz, Oz, we go. You, you like right, suck at this game. I, I can even I can minutes, see right? what you're supposed to be doing, and I. Guys, how much is on the clock? You have ten minutes. There's a clock. Bro, I'm just saying. The only reason he beat Elden Ring is because he had high place armor, and he had two of the best spears in the game to just like cut through his enemies. What? No, I'm not. There's no way. There's no way. All right, I beat him. I beat him right here. Hmm. Wait, did, did he just say he's three minutes over now? Man, I, heal, I'm, heal, I'm, heal. I'm at. Heal. Bro, I, I think, heal. I think, I think, I think. There's oh. sometimes you gotta know when to hold them. Sometimes you gotta know when to fold them, man. You gotta know when to fold them. So, uh, th this is so this is like the last boss, the hardest boss. <laughs> in the game. I'll be back yeah, in a bit. Okay. 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 Yeah, clearly not the first boss, boss you fight. Yeah, clearly. 100%. It's getting a bit too into this game. I mean, to be fair, it does look very nice. She couldn't get me I remember back when I, I wasn't actually really into the games that were like Hollow Knight. I was never really into them. But then I played Hollow Knight itself. And then every time I see a game now that's like Hollow Knight, I just like... Oh. I just, I can't wait to play them. Okay. Alright, heal. He's actually fine. doing bits. Uh, dude, dude, he's doing this cheating shit, man. Oh my <laughs> cheating god! Cheating Okay. No, it just. Oh my god. Heal! Yeah, no, heal! I, I didn't think he was gonna do that. Oh, heal! Oh my. Oh. Okay, alright, alright. Wait, how many balls focus, that do? Focus, focus. focus. Uh, you this have a dodge button? Yeah. Alright, this is where I went. This is where I went. <laughs> uh, you have a fade button in here? I hit the wrong button. Oh no. It doesn't matter because I'm gonna win anyway. No, you're not. I got one life. I got okay. I'm about. This All is right, hard to watch. It's okay. This is hard to watch. Why I messed that fucking up? Oh my god! All right, all right, all right. It's okay. I got, I got, I got. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Here we go. What Let me try this again. Happening? Okay. Okay. What? What are you? Oh wait, I don't Man, think... trying to mess me up. Stop. You know stop. What I, I think I have my notification bell. I'm about to win. I mean, I'm about to win. I'm about to win I right think now. I have my watch, watch, watch. Real quick, watch me. Watch me. I, I'm not even gonna get hit. Like, anyway. like, I, I, like my following and all that other like, stuff. No, straight up. Like, I didn't mean to do that though. Like, I can't check. I can't check them on the phone. Now he's doing this bullshit, man. Okay, that's. Why he was there? Okay. Okay, alright, alright, now he's doing this. Okay, good. Alright, we avoid. We avoid. We avoid. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, that he was hasn't great. used his shield yet, though. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, well, why did he waste it? Okay, alright, 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 alright. Big dick on him. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, he's like, not even halfway free. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it, 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 the boss has changed into its second phase. Uh, yeah, 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 oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Got him, yes, dude! That's the hardest, that's the hardest the boss in the game. And then that's like a normal boss. Like oh a normal mob. Like, yeah. okay. Tutorial boss. <laughs> yeah. Tutorial <laughs> boss in the Elden Ring bean. <laughs> okay. okay, so now what? That's cr Wow. Thank you, S fan. I appreciate that. Okay, alright, man. Uh, when's it, when's it going to be out? Uh, we don't know. We don't know when it's ready. Okay. I came prepared for that question. That was, that was, that was a hot question. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, man. Yeah, it's on I Steam like at the moment. You can't buy it or anything. I, I, I really, yeah. really but... do. Like, this is a super fun game. It reminds me a, a lot of the type of like, like frustration that. that I get with Dark Souls type games. And it's a 2D one. I, I love it. Thank you so much for showing me this game. I'm just and checking something real quick. I, I, I'm probably gonna play this when it comes out. Like, straight up. This is really cool. Nope, okay, Sweet. nope. Why is that happen? Yeah, Didn't happen. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, but Lewis followed the channel really 53 minutes ago. Say that, Lewis. But again, Lewis, hearing bot in 4K uh, once again. That's uh, two uh, times this evening. Wow. Wow. Can I say one thing before you bounce? Please. 
Uh, there may be some Kickstarter people watching. I get notifications for when you follow so on, the, on the on the left side of my screen. Uh, this will be a demo we'll be Dang. sending to you guys soon. This is why I need two really monitors because then I don't need to keep leaving this thing. I need two monitors, Ted. It's, it's I have no room. Like oh, yeah, well, no... Kickstarter. Imagine that. Okay, yeah. Show me the Thank left you side. So oh, your PC is on the desk, isn't it? Yeah. This game's really cool. So no, no, my PC's on the desk, my PC's on the floor. Wait, show me the left of your monitor. For like, sure. Take a Literally. Take it the, I'm telling you this now. The PS5's sitting there, and oh it won't be able to move from there. The, the leads the are too short so to go crazy. from where to, like, to there. Like, literally, the leads are too short. Show me a picture on Discord. I have an, I look I have an idea in my head, but I don't know if it'll work. Because we have... I'll send you a picture anyways, but... We have, like, a hole there. Of course. And my mom wants uh, to we'll put a hole guys. here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna do a commercial break. Then afterwards, because we, uh, uh, Robin coming. For you guys. <laughs> and she wants to put a hole there because there's leads there going through the hole. And she wants to put another hole here for more leads, so that you know we can fit more leads. Uh, and a wee picture for you, Tim. I don't think Soda's gonna be an OTK because he actually uh, owns a bit of uh, an RG. Oh! No, you could fit one in there, right? What you. You could probably fit a monitor in there, you know? Uh, but there's a hole. Like, see, see, the, see where the extension lead is? Yeah. There's a hole there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a hole. No, but you can. I, like, I, know, I know I can put it in front of the hole. But then you're gonna have the whole tire lead thing. It's gonna be eight. Cause you know me and my cable management, Ted. It is awful. Not fun. Not fun. You could do something like this. Obviously not as nice, cause. But like, see the monitor on the left. Yeah. Oh, like a monitor like that. It's back. World premiere and actually checking out that demo for the first you know, time. If I got a monitor like that, Ted, that could work. As well. yeah. a but of time to be I, I like, like the script. I like the actual Pokemon. Has so. to offer when it fully is released. Mm. But, uh, this next announcement, we didn't really tease <laughs> it down. or anything like that, but I have been so excited for it all day long. Because realistically, other than other when I'm streaming, to what? Why are you me? Big announcement. Hi, I'm Chris. I'm Cole. And I'm John. And this is Notorious Studios. We're a small game company that started last year and we're trying to make a game. What game are we making, John? I don't know. I don't know what our Obvious. game is. <laughs> <laughs> Project Honor is a class-based online action RPG where you can go on adventures with your friends or on your own to get loot and resources to gear out your character. The game is still really, really early and we're still trying to figure minutes. a lot of things out, but really, the guiding star for us is class fantasy. We want to sell that character and class fantasy through every single aspect of your Wait, game. Like how you open a chest. Sounds you know, interesting. How you walk, how you talk, how you interact with different creatures and characters and stuff like that should, that should be all through your class. Other than class fantasy, another big pillar for us is player stories. A big compelling thing with games these days is just you play an experience and then when you come out of that experience you have like a story of what happened. Something the team does right now, one of our rituals, is we do this weekly Thursday play test and I, we know when the game is doing well when outside of the play test everybody is just kind of talking about a cool story or a moment that happened, right? Yeah. And so that's really kind of what we're, what we're shooting for. The third pillar for us is we're building a new world. You know, a lot of us came from the World of Warcraft team, and so we're all really Warcraft. world builders. You know, one of the coolest things about starting a God, studio no, this is gonna be so cool, out, right? They've worked the on WoW. From, They've left WoW. Wow. Really They're now gonna a lot of be the WoW killers. For us, you know, to block out spaces at large scale, and wait, this could be really cool. To kind of just try something now. Nope, that doesn't work. No way. I knew nothing about WoW when I was younger because obviously I was too busy watching Jack the guy. Yeah. So what exactly do you actually do in WoW? Like what exactly is it? It's like the same John as Lost Ark. No, I know that, but like what what do you do in it? Like what is the actual point of that game? Why is it so big as it is? 
to I'm not from it. And Pers I don't really know too much about it. Wait, what? Huh? Mets fan, uh, senior paladin, the people's paladin, grand marshal, scarab lord, uh, gladiator, esquire. I'm the acting CEO here at Notorious, and I'm incredibly, incredibly happy with the development of the project so far. I can't tell it's not the stream, or is his mouth delayed? Really carrying out my vision for what this game is going to no, be. No, it's fine. I think it might just be you. For me, it's fine. Because the reality of it is, it's it's not just an experience. What's this for? Yeah, I think it's delayed for me. I was just... the, ca the There's cameras. Hey, what's oh, yeah, up, that guys? is delayed. It's Tips, and I'm the Chief Operating Officer at OTK. Flash. I'm very excited to talk to you guys about uh, our new partnership with Notorious Studios. Are you just freaking out? I hope you just flip in. Why not? But it won't even refresh. What is this? So it's not refreshing, it's stuck in the loading screen. Huh? Uh, for the goal to create a brand new high fantasy we think be so cool that this is OTK this is actually a little over a year ago when Chris Kaliki hit me up on Discord, wanted to talk to me a little bit about this new project he was working on. Now, Chris Kaliki, if you guys don't know, created the Monk class in World of Warcraft, longtime class designer on WoW. He's been there, you know, for years oh, and years and years. And as somebody that really enjoys playing Brewmaster Monk, I thought it was a tremendous opportunity to get to meet Chris, learn more about his project, and really just pay homage to somebody that's helped, you know, create some awesome experiences in my life playing games. We're longtime oh MMORPG players. We're longtime high fantasy enjoyers. And what really makes Notorious special in our eyes is their origins, is their humble beginnings as originally an MMORPG guild full of friends, cohorts, people that enjoyed spending time together and over time decided they want to work together. Sounds a lot like OTK. So from their beginnings, it was clear that there was a lot of alignment between our organization and Notorious. And the more and more we talked about- Wait, the Everyone said in Giga Chats. <laughs> the more we realized that- There's a Giga Chat moment. Want to be a part of there so is, I like this. Wait, like that actually sounds really cool. Tim, is this game going to take like four years to develop? How do you feel about that? If it's good, I don't care. If it, <laughs> that's if you remember it in four years time. time. Oh no, no, I will. Welcome, the, the, it's gonna to be, the it's gonna have constant hype around it. I, I am just so astonished. Like we were, you, know, you guys came down to Austin. Like oh, maybe my mouse stop. And we just started talking. About <laughs> His and mic's remember, muted. Like, we stayed until the place we went to. He's like, they, they kicked us out. They got he these into it. Yeah, yeah, I am yeah. so excited. Oh, there I go. So, yes, now. This is Chris Kaliki here with me from Notorious Studios, and we are going to be talking about the game that they've been creating over the past about year or so. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, What's up, my thing at the bottom me. left? Um, man, this is this is really. I mean, this is. Epic, I mean. Like this is like really cool. Yeah, there's like, like a white flicker right? thing in the bottom yeah, left. Yeah, stop now. I was gonna say. Let's say. Team come from a AAA background. No, when you said it, I instantly left the my stream rather than the stream, and I saw it in the for like a second. Make a game from scratch, and then also, you know, how much work goes into like the announcements and trailers and all of that, and you know, everybody here, all the other games I saw today were just so awesome, and I'm just you know, well, all the energy's out of me. Our moment of when we can show actual gameplay footage. Some of the games are just screaming at each other, and you know, screaming at the game. About how early it is, and, and I kept getting up and down off my chair. Of uh, the game, you know, it's kind of unusual for out. a studio to, um, I think. You know, show concept art and show, uh, you know, talk about the game this early just because, you know, if uh, you, you could just set expectations just so, so high or whatever. But, you know, a lot of us from the team and me especially just kind of see the, the value in involving the player in the game development process. Or in, and that's, you know, you guys and other influencers that I've talked through and interacted with through the years has been kind of my way to like connect to the player and, and uh, you know the best we games. We on Discord. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So the best, the best uh, games I think are uh, involve the player throughout its whole development process. So we're trying some new things here, trying to being you know going out there and being risky and kind of showing some of the stuff early. But uh, yeah. I'm actually, so sad. I mean, I, I'm sure S fan and and Tips, you yeah. all went out to the uh, the studio yourselves and you got a chance to take a look around. What do you think? How do you feel? I I thought it was absolutely incredible. I mean, just just getting the chance to go out there and 
I mean, I'm gonna sack. It, you know, to toilet. Video, we're, we're fantasy enjoers. Oh, Tad, please, right? we're all, I can't believe I said that. Hey, we're enjoyers. That's what it is. And uh, oh. we're all cut from the same cloth. And really, from the first time we met, and uh, I mean, you, you made a video uh, really before Notorious and everything got started. I uh, reacted. Maybe, oh, maybe publicly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, as yeah. we reacted to it. <laughs> but uh, I remember watching that video, and I was like, this, this guy gets it. And it's not just you, but it's 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 a whole um, it's the whole culture at Notorious. It's it's all the same, and uh, it it was a perfect fit. It's exciting to see that you guys are uh, looking at games the same oh. way that we look at games, the same way that a lot of people look at games. And um, I uh, I mean, well, to be fair, this game does look pretty interesting. Now, experience, I would even say. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's I don't know if I'm about World of Warcraft, it's already, but it's uh, by the same it people. Has a lot of World of Warcraft has so a lot of hype around it. So yeah, I mean, you're there during this what game I is going to have a lot of hype, our, our but the game has a lot of potential. Game and giving feedback and and uh, yeah, I'm really happy that you and uh, Rich were able to be a part of that. So, yeah. yeah. Well, it was funny. We we went and I, and I don't remember how long we play tested exactly. Maybe maybe it was like an hour or so. Maybe maybe a couple hours. I don't remember, but. We play tested for maybe an hour or two, and we sat there and talked. I think for four hours, <laughs> just just yeah. talking to everybody yeah. on the team and just hearing what people's uh, vision was and in gaming in general and just how people look at games is is it, it was the one of the most fun experiences Yo. I've had and I was Yo. supposed to be working. So I don't know, maybe, <laughs> maybe I was cheating it a little bit, but doing? it was it was a lot of fun getting to getting oh. to play test the warrior and stuff too. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I know we. After the only speaking of like really though? long several hour conversations and you had a flight to catch i know rich oh. he st stayed around stayed around long are your audio so low now what happened man, rich, uh what go, oh, there you go. go i don't know how yeah, rich can crazy. just keep talking <laughs> the audio is so low that much it's just insane so yeah but uh, yeah so much good feedback and it really energized our team you know one of the things that we loved about game development is you know, um, we work on a lot. We have worked on a live game for a large part of our careers, and be able to like get stuff out there and get feedback. It just energizes us and gets us, you know, gets us. Yo, going, so. And we appreciate yes. it. You know, we're yeah. not give me mod. Not, we're not always used to developers <laughs> opening up doors <laughs> and, and working. Why do you want mod so badly? Uh, content creators to you know give collaboration and feedback Bye. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And so just to reemphasize, guys, we have officially partnered up with. Hey, come on, uh, tell, tell me your reasons. I need to know. To what, what, what is the reason for mod? Feedback on their new open world rpg game it's a cool looking barge on. we're super excited you know the second we heard Fair that enough, their but philosophy uh, when it came to class design whenever you can't whenever a main character and so on and so forth uh just completely you struck a chord with get it 100 percent and so i just want to say thank you to chris no and the rest of the team at notorious we look forward to uh helping usher in the next generation of, of high fantasy and i was so confused my brain like feedback as we my brain actually you blue screened about the game like kind of what it is what it's not Green blue. anything like that uh yeah i mean we uh, talked a little bit about it in the video i think it's challenging to talk um, wait, specifics wait. about what are the you guys an account it's, every, a lot of things are in flux and yeah. you know we kind I'll of type. view it as yeah. an, a new genre why are you on a new account but some of the elements in the game like we talked about i'm too old accounts you know, I, I've so that is a streaming account. A this one is actually got my dad's so email on it. Of, <laughs> right? Is part of so, culture. you know, there's yeah. like an elf emoji I'm... and all, the, all of this. And so <laughs> it's like we're trying to take all those ideas of all these. Oh, that's just an interesting that's fact. Really what the, the, the heart Wait, I know I'm like trying to think really messing this up right now. People are going to watch what's happening. Are you typing moles in my channel? Oh, moles. Yeah. Page, you know, and uh, and everything comes around. How do you actually give mod? I don't even know. You know, everything springs from I'm like it's left like on my profile. No, that's what I was doing. How they interact with each other. Screen uh, share to me. Sure they have very the distinct shunk. differences. Oh, screen so a mage won't play like Bitch. a warrior, and a warrior right. won't play like a priest. And Bitch. so, um, yeah, and you know, we're spending know a lot of work on, you know, making the different uh, characters. You know, based essentially. I can pull them by me. Oh. So <laughs> they have their own kind of character model, their own kind of uh, aesthetic, their own gear, their own. Look. I think I, I think and I have so to do like an actual Twitch because so, I'm do, I'm kind of for the OBS chat thing. Oh yeah, 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 I think it has to be on Twitch. That, um, you know, we're always well, I don't have to chat open on Twitch. That, that, that makes us feel more like the class that we um, oh, resonate with. Like, I think we all kind of play RPGs and have a class that we always try to play I'm in every RPG. Right and, um, and so, yeah, we're trying to, like, take that core idea and just drive it to its ultimate, right? Yeah, so. for sure. Uh, I mean, and, and you, you can stop me if I start saying too much, but I 100% uh, felt that way. And, uh, I mean, we, we all have it, right? Like, Asmund is, is the warrior guy, right? I play a paladin. 
Um, but I, I, got to I clicked on your thing like said, earlier, again in Twitch, uh, and there's still no mod up there. John or Cole about this, but um, what? Exactly what you said. I wanted to when I'm playing a warrior, I what want I to feel like I'm playing a warrior. Whether it's the gear that I'm wearing, the buttons I'm pressing, uh, what the ability oh. to do. And, well, uh, in chat, right? Yes. Uh, do slash mod. Tactility from whenever I press a button. And then add, I, and then uh, uh my uh, my uh, username. The ball and chain skill. Can I talk about this a little bit? Yes. Yeah. Okay, go cool. go for it. Yeah. So so there, there's a and everything is is a This is gonna be a three minute thing, probably oh. right. Uh, like. I can spell the second It's just my brain is sure. actually okay. five miles per hour. Okay. So there, there's hey, an ability, now? right, with the ball and chain where you essentially throw out the chain, you hit Ain't the no guy, way. you pull him back, and I'm having that asking. sort of feeling of, uh, I'm throwing out a heavy ball of metal oh my on God. a chain, and it hits that guy, and sort of like, boom, oh, what the heck just happened, and you get ripped forward, having that sort of feeling in the game, and the player experiencing that. I actually don't want to stream this anymore, I just want to go to bed, honestly. What you were saying about feeling like you're playing the class that you're Why is it lasting so long? I generally thought it would only be two hours, and maybe two hours and a half with Max. Yeah, like with the warrior, right, we kind of view him as just like a walking... I mean, like what, almost four hours now? ...body as a weapon. Five hours? And so a lot of, um, it allows for a lot of like different kind of experiences and abilities to spring and build off of that concept. I have to go into college? The one you're talking about here, and we're putting typing many different abilities and spells and that's like one of my favorite things to do in game design is come up with abilities and spells and so uh one that we just have for the warriors he just um you know grips you like like you said that we're just playing around with and it allows for a lot of interesting moments of uh <laughs> in uh, in gameplay that creates like different stories that come out of the match and mm -hmm. that sort of thing i think i like that a lot especially you know like what what is my aesthetic of a character it's like a big badass warrior with a massive two-handed sword or some sort of massive weapon oh i'm not gonna lie ted like the, you know like this the is definitely the most boring part of the fan like things around like the very well, the... and forceful game uh, uh, i think that's something that a lot well, not really the, uh, this interview kind of specifically <laughs> it's so long compared to the others closer and closer Please, oh, no. stop and you forget about like what makes each class special this would be the last game <laughs> please be the last game no totally and i think all right moving on to the next um you know i know we told you guys this is our last code category but surprise category <laughs> oh i'm gonna try this that'd be cool but i'm too tired i'm actually too tired i'll be getting to them too bad you can't do part two of streams like that, right? on my boys around with a lot of different, wait is, is monkey here or is he still gone uh he's right come from that um kind of pillar i guess wait like a way away like he's not coming back no already no, 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 no. back. Uh, looking to build up their I can't remember what he said to me. <laughs> Dude, that that long has been going. An incredible journey with them. And if you guys want to join the Notorious Studios team, work side by side with us as well. Check out the open roles right now on the screen. They're hiring an environment artist, HR operations. Oh, Ted, let's go. Artist, environment artist. I mean, new Ted. Woo. Continue to grow. And, nah. you know, Wish. there's also something that we're doing very, very special today. We are in celebration of this partnership we are announcing a five time custom pc giveaway oh if you guys want to win a custom pc, PC giveaway. go ahead and check out the link in chat right now we're not pc our now of our partnership no. we're going to be giving that to Where's you guys the link? in the chat right now make sure to sign <laughs> i don't up. need link in the we'll screen guys the winner next week that is on all craft so next Big week Jeff, we'll be joined the one by chris only. on all craft on asmund and rich's show we'll be announcing the winner there so make sure to sign up and get a chance to win a pc Oh that's my god. Yeah, that's I, awesome. I didn't know we were you were doing that. Craft next week? I, I guess I guess so. It's been right. a year probably in the making, isn't yes. it? Generally. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. As much as I'm uh, as much as I was loving this event. Because of it being shorter and showing not as much games, but just as much. Some of those games fast. It's gonna be mega good. Well, I unless the game is bad, of course, but I mean, uh, in concept, it should be pretty good this year. Because E3 was cancelled for Summer Game Fest to take its place. E so that, therefore, Summer Game Fest should have a lot of E3 titles, which means there's going to be a lot of cool games. It'll be fair one, though. No. Are you live, bro? Oh, no, I'm dead. Alright, good. Okay, good to know. Also, be able to reach our target audience, which I think your audience and our audience is going to be so similar and so i think that's going to be a big part of this and um, actually yeah well, like my mouse stopped you don't see a lot of studios kind of talk about the I'm concept actually of the game this early and then 
um, you know, um, go through the development journey uh, in the open. And so I think there could be some cool opportunities for us to this is still going collaborate. On? You know, we've only talked about three classes today, and we want to have, you know, more classes in the game. We may unveil those later on, and so we could do that. You know, on stream or something, yeah. or like, I like this. Dude, I've always thought it would be awesome to have like a jam session with uh, the community. Like, let's brainstorm. I have entered the giveaway. I don't know. We could like figure some cool stuff out. I think. Have well, I, I've thought of that. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, making think, subclasses yeah. for a warrior. You know, why? Yeah. Classes like a. Why would you not want to enter the giveaway? I mean, yeah, fair enough. But like, or, like yeah. you know, the chances of you winning, like, yeah, or Mac, or and, like, being there's the like thing. It's not the chances of you winning that. Head. Do it's still low. Yeah, but you never know unless. I mean, this is going to be yeah. again a fifty thousand dollar grant for these games. That are the winners? What is the Make link? Sure the OTK That's the can vote on those games, and we'll thing. Be announcing the winners. I mean, like, no, I know what it is. Like. Website I, I just want to make sure, yeah, there's only one minute. Oh. There's only w literally one minute left. 60 for seconds. This. So, yeah, 60. Well, now it's 58. <laughs> and so, yeah, make sure you guys vote on that real quick. And um, I just am so, I'm so excited because I remember whenever uh, we, we met up with you guys. Totally and, like, this in. Showed some of the artwork. And I was just like, oh, my God, finally. You know, I was yeah. so happy. Yeah, I think Cole even like drew you. Uh, like he was yeah. in the hotel lobby. I was like, "What are you really? sketching?" And he made like an image of you. Yeah, oh my I think God. that was just I'm an gonna... undead. Yeah, yeah, it was like an undead Asmongold. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, so it's just Asmongold. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's yeah. about right. Okay, yeah. I mean, I am just I'm so excited, and just the whole thing about it is is really cool. Like what we've talked about with the game and where things are going, and uh, I hope this really is the future of game development because more so, so we we see more studios. Uh, you know, the separation between the community and the developer sometimes becomes even larger with like social media and people trying to avoid, you know, re realistically like some of the more vitriolic people but it's really admirable and impressive to see people like you and, and your team sit down and actually try to talk with people and give them an audience and really involve them in the whole process yeah and i think a big thing we like about oh. you know influencers or otk is yeah. just you guys are all about authenticity oh, and I say to what you really believe and that's how we are and that's how watching you in in the studio and um, imagine so, yeah, what a world I mean, we live in that's never happening that. and you know my luck I you know how insane hear, like, my luck is right now i want to hear like what you really think you know i don't need, on this planet you know, i'm not looking for shills or anything like that and so i think both ways right because <laughs> yeah, if i would have attracted that i'm the guy kind of who had surgery Went out so two weeks ideas, later. Best, I came back with another issue. Well, I think that's the best way to make a game, right? Is so my luck is feedback actually than, amazing, you know, kind of amazingly bad. Yeah. And I think that's definitely been kind of a problem with game development over time. And so I think this is absolutely a breath, breath of fresh air. Yeah, um, this is turning into the all craft already. Like. <laughs> I, I, so here's the thing: like I, they, they've been telling me, like, all right, all right, stop. I just can't stop. I, there's like a million things that I want to say. We'll talk about more about this on all. Craft, Chris Kaliki from Notorious Gaming. Thank you so much for coming on. No, thank you. <gasps> can't wait to it's work. over. Oh my god. Awesome. Thanks, everybody. Oh my god. Okay, thank you. Go to a commercial Appreciate break. Finally. Oh, that. commercial break. Don't be encumbered by history. Go off and do something wonderful. My name is Ratika Hansen, oh, I'm dead. and I'm a market development manager at Intel. One of our founders, Robert Noyce, inspired us with these words many years ago. And it is that inspiration that fueled the creation of Rise, Shine, Inspire last year. This program is a collaboration with our partners what? to equip their communities with the latest Intel technology to help them rise to a challenge they face, shine brilliantly as they succeed, and inspire others Intel. to do the same. To date, together Good with power. our partners, <laughs> we've given more than 20 <laughs> brand new systems in front of 4 million I love Twitter. They're awesome. No, we, we are so excited to work beside Razor at OTK Expo and do it again. In front of all of you. I say a joke OTK and I get fans. any askers out of we it. Wish the recipients um, of Bundle as they rise to like you, Ted. and inspire. All the best. You know what you should Thanks. say to that, Ted? Time them out. 
Gentlemen, a great idea to have a long time, <laughs> been a long time while, loose. And I Less? am just astonished. And I want to say thank you all. Oh, you know how your timeout set to go. We have had yeah. a tremendous first OTK Games Expo. <laughs> Pretty crazy day to say. Oh, you're on time. It's you, Mark. Especially like it, I'm going to be real like the notorious <laughs> thing. 600 notes. So glad is so not down. I can talk about it. I can take some seconds. And it's like I no way they go about it, right? That's so good. I can't believe we didn't leak it. We leaked NMPs announcement we leaked everything, everything. Like, but... i've been just sitting here oh, waiting on this hey. thing oh. and uh guys we're gonna be getting the winners of the uh giveaway in just a few minutes oh. voted on you by discord and uh until then what do you feel like was like one of your favorite games wait oh, man it's tough to pick there, there were so many games that i really liked uh, yeah. actually this is kind of random but dwarf romantic yeah. is not the welcome type back. of game i typically uh -huh. play. Welcome back, uh, getting to sit down and relax and just actually build up a town yeah, is something chill Experience. Yeah, and that's not something I usually do. Oh wow, we actually get to look. Yeah, I love that. This game, you uh, like? Just pointing at me, saying, "Same game, same game." Yeah, yeah. Can I get to do it. Can I hang out in your closet again? It was just time I love to this kid's new game. It's what I've been looking I had the for for such a long time. Oh, what do you do? You can follow them on Twitter right now. Just being a toxic motherfucker, <laughs> so I had to show him the that's hammer. He said, "Any askers." Straight up, like I. Ooh. I was impressed. Like, I actually think Mizgif's game is pretty good. Like, I was expecting it to be way more of a clown show. <laughs> I, I, mean, I mean, let's be honest, right? I mean, let's be honest. It's Mizgif's beautiful. game is kind it of really funny. Is. Like, I, I was not expecting that to be, I'm gonna be real. like that. One of the games is like that game, like Damn. the whole expo, I knew I was going to play I wasn't expecting Mizgif to have a game. I was like, man, I want to play the game, but I can't play the game because it's not time, right? And like, as soon as I got in to play it, oh man, like I am... I, I want that game to come out tomorrow, man. I felt I so bad because it was like, taking so, you so long so to good. beat it. It was taking you I so they long. Call it the it production a said, yeah, you gotta get off the stage. Wait, we no, went up. No, we no, were no, actually that, gonna a, take you off the no, stage, and then you was did. that why you guys went behind me? Yeah, we were actually gonna physically. Y'all gonna roll me off the, the stage? Computer. Yeah, and then we weren't sure. S fans already yeah. beaten it twice. Oh, practice yesterday. So we were gonna maybe have S fan play it just to make sure that people could see what it looked like when it was actually beat. You know what else I'm really excited for too? You know I love board games. Oh my and no, my god. All right. Too. Yeah. I, I Should we end it? Kind of alluding to the Wait, fact man. that some of the people working on it Should made like, some of my favorite board games. Yeah. Like Arkham oh Arkham. my god. I want to go I, Minecraft. I, I want to know who the winners are for us. So I, I was we had talked. Like for anybody who doesn't know. We oh true. I won't listen to like the ending of the stream, but the moment they they mentioned the winners, I'm all. And they knew a lot. Like I was impressed. Like they've got. That mean that kind of depends how long they talk for. If they talk for ten years, then I might end right now. Try it out. That, that's and, uh, a stack team. Oh yeah, I'm sure I'm not stopping. S tier team. So, I haven't done a lot of board games. Because I've been streaming for four like, and a half hours. I was stealing Monopoly money from know. friends, and we just stopped playing so Monopoly because we couldn't stop stealing each other's money. I have a board game night every Sunday with Will Neff. Oh my! Wait, really? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. why am I not surprised? And Shroud. No. Of course. <laughs> I love Shroud. Yeah, I mean, there are just so many games that I, I, I feel like they were. They were really, really fun. Like, oh my god, I forgot about this one. The racing game, Neo Dash. Yeah, Neo yes. Dash. Let's oh talk about Neo god. Dash. That, like, I, I just, I cannot wait to play that. Like, Dude. that, that is we'll the kind the of game anymore? that you just play on stream for three hours I accidentally. Mean, yeah, the other you know game I mean? that looked really good as a stream game was yeah. Ribotri. Because, you know, Benifati made a lot of those games like Quap, oh, and then he also made Getting Over It. Oh, and Ribotri looks like it's in that vein. Oh, I can see yeah. it's freaking Yeah, I can't wait to play that game. Well, I can't move my... I'm walking like this, you know? Like, Look. I'm going to fall off the edge, and everybody can laugh at me. I'll have to, like, take a day off a of stream, write a twit longer. <laughs> the whole thing. Yeah, I know. It's going to be great. Dude, the other one uh, that... It was the first game that was announced that I was yeah. super into was Knights of the Deep. <laughs> Knights of the, yeah, Knights game. of the Deep. Crab game. Yeah. yeah, the crab game. I, I thought this was like, this is the kind of game that I could 100% see, see us playing on OTK Game Night or something like that. I feel like this is like, this is the potential to be Soda Poppin's main game for like a year. I, I could see that, absolutely. And, and it's I like, love Soda Poppin. The thing with this game like is that. just, I mean, bro, yeah. it's so ridiculous that it's good. That's yeah. what I like about it the most. The flamethrower with the lobster. I, mean, I actually can't believe I it, said I, I was thinking like, of skipping this game. You kill one of them. Like, I hope whatever, wrong, like you, you kill one of the lobsters, wrong, they like explode, you know? Just like kind of pop. Yeah, yeah. Or, or they, they, they turned into like 
Uh, you know I can wow whenever you kill a turkey. It, it is still technically a fighting turkey. game on my ass, yeah, but I'll fight you guys. Yeah, you, you kill him, it turns into him into a, turns him into a lobster dinner. I feel like I you didn't see as much crab gameplay yeah. as lobster gameplay, which kind of upset me. Um, Maybe these guys played a little bit too much Elden Ring. <laughs> True. Yeah, I, I mean, the lobsters. Most this is this is getting into like uh -huh. I, I could get really nerdy right now. Crabs yeah. are just they, they're more efficient movers than lobsters. I I, I don't really know about that. I mean, every it's time like I've watched case. like a nature video, it's always the crab that gets eaten. Every yeah. single every single time, it's always the crab that gets got. Dead. That's not true. That's pretty oh. much is true. Like let's be honest, uh, it is. And like yeah, I I really like this game a lot, but again, <laughs> like I just. There have been so many, and that uh, ethereal game. Yep. Uh, the MMO, like that was like I, people were like tweeting it at me like maybe a month ago, and I was like, ah, you know, what is this? And I saw it coming up in OTK Games Expo, and I'm like, okay, I've got to really look at this and see what it's yep. about. And like I remember whenever we were looking at all the trailers for the first time, and I was like, mm. and then whenever it had everybody building stuff together, oh my god. That was cool. Yeah, it definitely is, and it's gonna be tough. But everybody already did vote, yeah. so it's about is time it, that we actually, actually announced. Time. Yes, let's go. Okay, I can end stream. Alrighty, gentlemen, want to do second place first? This is the first time I've actually been happy to end one of my streams. Yeah, we're, we're doing this. Right <laughs> I, I, I'm usually so sad to end my streams. Oh my god, what do I Is gonna be getting thirty thousand dollars. Yo, Neil Dash. A Razer PC oh. powered by Intel, and second place. Neil Dash got the money. Yeah. Oh, yo, what? No, Neo Dash came second. Yes, yeah, second. Dude. Yeah, yeah, still got money, Ted. Neo Dash is getting second place. Congratulations right. to Neo Dash. Congratulations. Wow, I thought the game was fine without the money, but damn. And as Let's go. As been mentioned, they also oh, are going wow. to get the Razer PC powered by Intel so they can continue. If the game in first place is also a game that was in the action section, proves my point that action was the best section in this thing. Congratulations so much to Neo Dash and everybody who made it possible. And thank you guys all so much for voting and being part of it. Now, time to see who actually gets first place. All right, all right here we go. Hi. Now, yeah. like for now, O'Connell was in the chat, probably now. telling them. Oh, oh that was the uh, that game. was the like, that Rush was the medieval oh, one. Yeah, yeah, that was the worst game. Out. Yeah, yeah. Like, Wait, that's that good. That's good because yeah, they can get money. Yeah. So they needed the money. Like, yeah, they so need like, the money. With swords, you know. And Wait, I, that's like, good. I think what really sold me on that game then the game can look better. The whole siege happening. For Ted's sake, not really for my sake. I'm not gonna play anyways. But Ted and everyone else's sake, that is a good investment. Good, like, good money to get. So, so excited to see where that game goes. I, I saw people talking about it in chat long yeah. after we actually looked at it, and we got to deep dive that game quite a bit as well. It definitely looks like one. I, I'm not surprised at all that it managed to grab that first place grant. Oh, but all either. of the games today were fantastic. We and Asmin, th thank you for what having me on what do you mean you carried the show you did uh, amazing you man <laughs> oh. the thing i'm upset about right now is you're standing a little bit further like closer to the camera than me so you're kind of making me look short oh right okay yeah we're at the same height guys it's there we go oh uh, that's it that's a bit much okay yeah that's Okay. By way. So yeah. Um, anyway, guys, uh, I want to say thank you to all the developers who made this possible, who submitted their games, and who were willing to have their games shown in front of our audience. Thank you Clap all so much. Head. I really appreciate yeah, I'm it. Clapping. And also a huge it. thank you to Razer Intel. Okay, didn't hear you ask Clapping either. Longest sponsor, Mountain Dew Game Fuel, and we play for our first yes. event that we've ever done in their studio. I am. You see, I was clapping. This Woo! is a lot better than S Fans Garage. <laughs> it's a lot better. Oh my god! I still can't believe we had two game right, events in the same week at the same time. A year and a half. We're in yep. a giant studio like this, and look yep. how many of us. Oh no! <laughs> oh, he fell and a and a little hole and a little way. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's it's a bit better. Actually, you know what? I'm I'll, I'll be in the back here. Yeah, yeah. Let's close for a picture. Why not? Thank you guys. Go ahead, tips. His mic is pretty low. Come on, Jeff. <laughs> Yo, we just found out. Uh, 
<laughs> I'm pretty and sure Grayson. you were muted the entire time. There's everybody. <laughs> yeah, there's Grayson, of course. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Grayson! Uh, it's the whole squad, boys! No way! All right. That's lovely. Well, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And for everybody here at OTK, thank you so much for your support <coughs> for all this time. <coughs> thank you to everybody, the developers, the sponsors, and of course you all, the viewers. And let's uh, go. As I said always, the best way of saying thank you is better content, and that's what we hopefully have done today, and we will continue to do. Thank you all so much for watching, and until the next time. This was actually a really good expo. It was just very long. Yeah. That's. No. I'm a still, I'm a still sick of it. Better than uh. You haven't thingy. seen, you haven't seen some of Game Pass yet. You can't see nothing. I haven't put them all. Okay, all right. Compared, compared to you know, the last uh Game Expo uh by Bingy Game First. <laughs> How does this one? You yeah, having a show for them? No, cause last year I can't even remember half the games I was shown. But that's because Summer Game Fest is usually a smaller thing. This year, it's replacing E3, so there's gonna be some like big ass titles to be shown. It's gonna be like creaming over Summer Game Fest when they announce so, like Arcane Season Two. So, so I'm I I I think that I and I I said that this would be better than uh, Game Fest, right? Now it it probably it could be right, but Lee will. Just say it. It's no, 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 I won't. I won't. I will generally say if I thought it was better or not. It depends of the games I see. Anyways, that does it for the stream. If you all enjoyed this stream, uh, wait, I, I, why am I doing this like a YouTube outro? Well, I do too much YouTube. I was gonna do this like a regular YouTube outro. I was gonna say if you like the stream, don't forget to press that like button, but you can't do that. Oh, no way. Oh, Lewis, they come in the chat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the stream. Uh, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to check out Ted and Smooth Monkey as well. Finding Ted will be easy enough. You have to type in Ted R J H on Twitch. And Monkey will also be very easy. Cool. All you have to do is go on my channel, Old Basement Gang, and you'll find them there. Even though he doesn't upload. This was an amazing game expo. I'm uh, getting tired. I want to sleep. And we'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye. Say goodbye. Say, say goodbye, guys. Bye.